whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces, have heart and see them through. There are no premature endings, there are no wrong decisions, there are only fresh perspectives and new beginnings. This is a love story. Hi, I'm Time, he's Cable, we're playing Slay the Princess today. This game is like a horror visual novel also by Black Tabby Games, who also did uh, Scarlet Hollow, which we've played all of the currently out episodes of. And is being pushed by Slay the Princess, apparently, because it says visit Scarlet Hollow right there in the middle of the menu options. So, <laughs> Oh, yeah, there it is. This game we don't know much about uh, currently. I have purposely gone out of my way to not learn anything about the game, other than the fact that it's meant to be played more than once. There's different endings, and it's like you just go through, and like half of them you just die, I think. <laughs> but I, I don't know for sure. I could be wrong. I hope there's an ending where you just walk in, kick the door open, and just squish her with like a giant warhammer. <laughs> just squish her. Like in the middle of her opening sentence where she's like, uh, greetings, traveler. You just like squish her like a pancake cartoon, like, like cartoon pancake, and she just, that's it. You just walk away, and then the Whoa. credits roll. Oh, baby, this game's scary. Oh. Hi, hello. I didn't realize the horror was going to be starting on the main menu. You have really big eyes. <laughs> you ever see that meme of somebody who took that screenshot of that anime with a huge ass anime eyes <laughs> and they drew the skull for it? And it's like just two giant cavernous holes for the eyes and like a tiny little mouth at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I think I have seen that. <laughs> well, oh, let's get going then. Time to slay the princess. I hope episode five of Scarlet Hole was really cool. That's supposed to be coming next one. Anyway, uh, in the woods. yes, there's voice acting in this, by the way, so we're not going to have to read it. Unlike Scarlet Hollow, basement of that cabin is, a, is princess. a princess. I've got a history button down here. That's nice. Save. Is it just like an actual like encyclopedia of Britann Britannica? Like just the whole thing. <laughs> It will be the end of the world. It will definitely be the end of the world, I'm sure it's just... We'll just kick the door open and shoot her in the face with a gun, then. I don't know if I have one of those. Shoot her in the face with a crossbow. We've got the end of the world. Your character is talking directly towards the narrator right now. Are you already trapped in some kind of eldritch, like, alternate dimension? I might be. I might it's be. It's not going to be the twist. The fact that you can ask a question of the narrator makes me think that this might be, like, an alternate dimension where you're like... You're like a character in a story. Maybe it's like a Disco Elysium and I'm talking to my own brain. And then eventually they start lying to you and you're like, wait a second. <laughs> Time should play more Disco Elysium. I should play more Disco Elysium. That's like my favorite game now. So you should, you should definitely play more Disco Elysium. If anybody hasn't bought Disco Elysium, do it. <laughs> Buy it and play it. It's really good. The end of the world? What are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Killing a princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? I don't see why a princess would have special treatment. <laughs> I can kill anyone I want. Ugh. If you sent me to kill some kind of peasant, that'd be fine. But a princess, <laughs> I mean, I might be able to marry that and become royalty. Is all I'm saying. Uh, can't someone else do this? Forget it, I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Do I get some kind of reward? What edgelord are you playing right now? <laughs> this is going to be like Scarlet Hollow where Explore gives us more options and doesn't necessarily continue what's going on, it looks like. I was going to... You didn't get to choose any traits, though, so I guess you're the same character every time. Yeah, I was going to, uh, for this pl first playthrough, just like be like, yeah, I'm just going to kill the princess and I'm going to do my job sort of thing. That's exactly what I would have done, too. I was going to play if I was the one playing this, I was going to be like, no, this first option is going to be just the most direct option. It's just stab her in the face. I don't care if it interrupts her in the middle of her little spiel at the top where she, <laughs> when we first see her, when she starts talking about whatever. I just want to stab her in the face and then walk away and be like, I'm done. I did it. I did the game. Like I said, giant hammer, cartoony pancake. <laughs> yeah. And just walk away. Just squish her. I'm talking just squish her with a giant thumb. Just give yourself... No oh. birds, no Good. more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. You have to put an end to her. The sky... Yeah, but people are gross. They made a whole ass island made of plastic. I mean... 
the way this guy is talking reminds me a little bit of the narration in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy for some reason. I never read that or watched the film adaptation, <laughs> so I was thinking about Fable when I was listening to the narrator. Because when you're playing Fable, the like Guildmaster is talking in your ear the whole time. It doesn't sound the same, but I was kind of thinking that a little bit. I have to put an end to her. But how can a princess locked away in the basement end the world? If you don't tell me why she's dangerous, I'm going. I'm not going to kill her. You have any, any evidence to back this up? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's that one's one we've seen? Killing a princess seems kind of bad. Seen that? We'll just go in there and ask her what the meaning of the of life is, or whatever the answer <laughs> to life. You come back in a million years, she'd be like forty two. Forty two. The princess was the giant computer all along. <laughs> And then you'll be like, why are you still alive? It's been a million years. And she's like, shut up. And she sh shoots out her proboscis <laughs> and sucks your brain out. It just goes directly through my forehead. And, and I like, she like sucks my insides up like a straw and I shrivel up. <laughs> and then she tosses you in a regular bin, just a regular garbage can. She's like, well, <laughs> that was another million years. This one was easy. <laughs> she just crumples my skin up like a piece of paper and tosses me in there. <laughs> Wipes her mouth off with you before she throws it in there. <laughs> what a dork. But how can a princess locked away in a basement end the world? Don't linger on the specifics. You have a job to do here. Just shut it's up. Man. God. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> well, that's good enough for me. Pretty straightforward. I like when quests have a direct objective like this. <laughs> I guess I could also get distracted by collecting 17 wolf pelts or something along the way, but... I mean, if I see a wolf, I mean... That's a pelt that somebody probably wants in some number. <laughs> Th those sell for at least a decent amount, I'm sure. One gold at least. If I get like a gazillion, I'll have a gazillion gold. Get ready, wolf population. <laughs> I'm sure there are plenty of wolves out there, just ripe for the slaying. She's probably going to turn into a wolf at some point. There's pro She's probably going to turn into a, like a werewolf or something. You could just go ahead and disarm her by scratching behind her ears, though. That'll be the easy route. <laughs> okay, I'm sold. Let's get this over with. I'd buy that for a dollar. As long as you remain focused on your goal, it should all be smooth sailing. I am actually kind of excited to you see this game because I have been interested in it. Yeah. You'll find the there it is. She just lives in a Regular log cabin, I guess. And then you lob a Molotov cocktail at it and walk away. <laughs> Just toss it through the window and leave. No chance of her even influencing you. <laughs> Learn the power of fire, dork. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do it. Will she steal it? Because if she does, then that means she's basically the heavyweight champion of the world. <laughs> What is she going to do if I just walk in there and squish her? Uh, she'll be really mad about it, but she'll be <laughs> dead, so it won't matter. Wait, the voice of the, I have a voice? We're supposed to save Why don't I get a say in this? Shut up, pretend voice trying to tell me not to do it. <laughs> uh, now I'm talking to myself without my input. That's good. Your character's probably insane. Like, get the biggest wackadoo in the village to go kill the princess. <laughs> If she drives him insane, he's already stupid, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> he's already there, so who cares? So just go ahead and ignore your inner voice time. I'm gonna. Proceeding to the cabin. Shotgun through the door. Like, without opening it, just through the door. <laughs> Did I come here with, like, a sword or something? That knife is perfectly balanced, just like all things should be. <laughs> a plain wooden table perched on that table is a pristine blade oh great this is this will be perfect for murdering a princess made in china wait a second <laughs> oh, hold on you like it like the, it's one of those collapsing blade probably <laughs> oh no, i'm a, you're a sticker she's gonna pretend to die and you're gonna leave thinking you did it she's gonna get up and be like what a dwee what an idiot <laughs> it fell for the prop knife trick again <laughs> And then the world is going to end. 70% of the time that works every time, she says, <laughs> destroying the world. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. 
it would be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Why didn't they come here already with like a sword or a knife or a shotgun or something? Or a cartoonishly oversized hammer. <laughs> a mallet? Like Harley Quinn carries, just a big oversized <laughs> mallet and just squish people. Uh, until she got like her edgy reboot where she's like, I use a baseball bat and that's really boring and dumb. She should have kept the hammer. They should have kept the hammer. The mallet's really funny. Enter the basement. Let's trip down the stairs, your next option is. <laughs> oh, I should have flipped the switch. You just catch your foot on the lip and tumble down, break your neck. We're probably going to be talking over a lot of this over <laughs> this narration. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't know when he's going to click continue. Filtering from the, ancient the stairs are gross, is what he's saying. <laughs> Slaying her is probably doing her a favor. I step on a bad board and just fall right through and get stuck for the rest of the night. Just squish her. <laughs> just give, just do her a favor, squish her real quick. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? Me. She sounds dangerous. It's almost what? as if she's the one in charge down here. And she sounded like a lady, certainly. She sounded like a person saying who's there <laughs> in a mildly annoyed voice, honestly. There wasn't even any like creepy reverb in it or anything. Come on. Oh. That was the voice of the hero saying that, not the narrator. Whoops. Shut up, voice of the hero. You're lying to me. It's all part of the manipulation. <laughs> Hi, just checking in on you. Hey. Hi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think I'm here to kill you. Oh, are you now? Oh, another <laughs> villain anime laugh. <laughs> She's doing the, the pose. <laughs> Yeah, like uh, getting the king in yellow and sucker for love. <laughs> down off screen downstairs where we can't see her doing it. Sharp ass mouth, <laughs> hand up to it. <laughs> Great job. You gave away the element of support. Look, I'm here to do a job. I opened the door. What are you talking about? She can hear me coming down the stairs, you fucking idiot. Uh, yeah, what, uh, what? who else would be coming down here, narrator? Walk down the oh, the, you, you, lock eyes whoop. with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. The great, that'll make it really easy to slay her. She's I hate that they keep farming you princesses. They should really stop. Is she really a threat to the world? Okay, shut up, voice of the hero. Shut up, voice of the hero, you stupid idiot dork. Focus on the I can't hear you behind your giant nerd glasses. <laughs> I, I say the nerd glasses are on my face. It's fine. The, no, they zoom into your brain, and there's the one brain cell that has the nerd glasses on it. <laughs> the sleeper cell. He's trying to work for her, guys. I'm going to kill the shit out of you, say, throwing the knife in her face from here. <laughs> yeah, just throw it. It just like, but you do it wrong, and the handle just like bounces off of her forehead, and she's like, ow. And she just sits there and looks at you. No, she catches it and then throws it back and says all in the reflexes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a joke. I know. You brought a knife with you and everything. You're talking a lot for somebody who's supposed to kill this princess. <laughs> I mean, if I'm here to kill her, I, there's no reason not to be polite, though. No, just do a somersault and then like a backflip and then kick her in the face. <laughs> in full plate. What if we didn't kill her? What if we just... Dropped the blade. What if we did kill her and just walked over there and stabbed her, Voice of the Hero? Have you considered that? Hey, Voice of the Hero, stay in your lane. <laughs> yeah. I'm on the narrator side in this one. What we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone. What if the voice of the hero and the narrator are both like voices in your head like Deadpool? <laughs> <laughs> or like Disco Elysium, as we mentioned. <laughs> Well, Disco Elysium has like a gazillion voices. It's like a 20. <laughs> Hello, Alienware update. Go away. Oh. He's got like 20 voices, kid. <laughs> I wish I had 20 voices. You should really play more Disco Elysium. If anybody <laughs> hasn't played Disco Elysium, please buy it. Give them your money. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I think right now, as of this time of recording, the people who made the game were screwed out of ownership of it. So, it instead. So. I was going to be a little more subtle about it <laughs> because I think telling people to do that is a crime. Please censor that time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so if you find alternative means to playing it, maybe pursue that. Do your research first. They might have, they might have fixed that. I don't know. 
Perhaps you'll find it somewhere on the high seas. The capital seas. <laughs> anyway, this game that we're playing. <laughs> tighten your grip. You Throw it. In your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. I step forward and a smooch meter appears in the corner. <laughs> You crab walk closer. <laughs> you step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I think I read something that this person that did the voice of the princess said that of all the characters in Scarlet Hollow, she would want a voice to be Tabitha, and this is not matching up with what I think Tabitha's voice would be. I mean, maybe she could do a different voice or something, but... Mm, maybe... But that's the problem with having voice acting, because I said this before <laughs> we started, I'm not really on board with there being voice acting, because I kind of liked being able to make up my own voices for the characters, but... Yeah. That's a lot of range. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I haven't heard her other work, so... Or even Who knows. I could be wrong. Like much of her voice acting in this game, so maybe she does like other things that sound different. Shut up, time. <laughs> Just stop. Agree with me <laughs> and stop talking. <laughs> I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, but it's an extendo blade, do we? <laughs> you press the button on the side and it goes straight to her chest. It just shoots out, yeah. It's like 12 feet long. She's like, wow, I wasn't expecting that. Flopping over dead. But that's not the knife I put up there on the table. Bleh. Bleh. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Mm. Haven't you? Why haven't you killed her yet, Time? Uh, because she's been talking to me. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Time killer. Uh, I'm getting to it, narrator. I'm secondary narrator. Time killer. Slay the princess. Do the do the thing. Let the credits roll. Uh, we're just we're, we're gonna do the thing. We're doing the thing. Slay the princess. Get wrecked. Without a moment's hesitation. You were hesitating a lot, actually. <laughs> well, there she goes. This game's easy. <laughs> it's for babies. It's for babies, actually. I can't believe this is supposed to take five hours. This is a really short game. My hand is uh, looking a little scaly and feathery. It's probably like a glove or something. I don't know. <laughs> that or you're like some kind of weird, not human creature. And she's like, shut up. I'm the last human. I'm going to destroy your whole race for destroying us. I could be some variety of bird monster, maybe. You might be a monster person. Oh. <laughs> oh. Get wrecked, dweeb. Oh, I didn't expect you to actually do that. I can read, and I and I can read, and I went through the trouble of reading the title of this game, dork. <laughs> actually, I've got these big old claws on there, too. Uh, <laughs> double tap. You stab her, and then you just scratch her a little bit, so that she gets, like, an infection in the scratch. <laughs> She's like, ah, oh, oh, that's the worst part. You're acting awfully calm about this blade in your heart, princess. I think you meant to say, isn't it? <laughs> I'm almost Blit, dork. <laughs> I should have seen that coming, but I You're still acting know. awfully calm. <laughs> oh, is she about to pull a rug underneath us? She might, and then I, she just like flips a switch and I drop in a, down a trap door. Uh, joke's on you. The first playthrough means that if you kill me, I win. <laughs> Dweeb. Uh, heck, it was a prop knife after all. There was an atomic bomb hidden deep within my heart. You just activated it, dork. Get ready to watch the kingdom burn. Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? I mean, I kind of thought it might. Well, no, but this might be, you say, pulling a Glock and just shooting her in the face. It's like she's convinced she can't die. I mean, just give her a couple more stabs for good measure. Maybe like in those big ol' eyes. I mean, you'd have to go real deep to get to the brain because those eyes are huge. <laughs> I don't think you'd have a long enough knife. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive. Hmm. But it's over. I mean, all the color came out of her eyes. She's dead, right? Uh, yeah, she's 100% actually dead forever. Quick, initiate Fortnite dance. 
<laughs> but is it over? Really? This is not the kind of voice I would expect some kind of some variety of weird bird monster to have. Well, how many weird bird monsters have you met, Time? Very few, to be fair. Time's opinions do not reflect the opinions of the overall channel. <laughs> if there are any bird monsters out there listening, I'm sorry. I don't have to apologize because that was not my opinion. <laughs> of course it is. She's dead forever. For good. It's over. Yeah, see, the narrator agrees. You say doing the worm. Work done. You make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement. That was really easy. Why do I feel? I wonder like there are any fancy dances you could do up a set of stairs. <laughs> it might be kind of hard, though. Especially like rickety stairs like those ones. Because you're a dork, hero. Shut up. <laughs> you did kill someone. We did it. We did the game. Way to good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. I did it. Do you think you're one of those bird people from like uh, 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 World of Warcraft in the um, Outland? <laughs> or whatever it's called, Outworld? Uh, the, the little owls? No, the big ones that are hunched over in that main city. Don't know if I remember those guys. Did you ever play World of Warcraft time outside of the one like <laughs> session of the most recent expansion that one time we played it? Uh, no. Then you wouldn't know who I'm talking about. <laughs> the answer to my question would be no. Only a world saved from certain doom mm. is what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood ah, heck. minutes ago. Whoops. I knew I should have done a double tap. Is the vast emptiness of some Can't believe I forgot to do a double tap. There I fixed it. Finally the age of dark can commence. <laughs> what happened? Everyone is what fine. Happened? It's just that you and the cabin are now far away hmm. from you. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. Meh. <laughs> this is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. I believe you completely, narrator. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You say sitting down, just staring at the wall. I notice that there are feathers in the little dialogue choosing thing here, too. I can't see it. I also notice that when you choose your option, it moves the background a little bit. Yeah, I kind of have a little bit of moving the mouse around and being able to... So glad. You well, I can't see your cursor while we're playing this, but oh, really? No, not on Discord. It has like a in-game cursor, which now that I look at it, is also a weird claw hand. Well, you couldn't see the cursor when I was playing Scarlet Hollow, so it, uh, but that did pick up in the recording. So weird. This is what's best for. It's anyone. fine. Trust. Me. I trust you completely, narrator. That's fine, I Cthulhu Azathoth. Can't be sure if it's day. Or months, or years, or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happy. <laughs> I've never been happy to be so bored. This game's easy. The... All I have to do is sit here and watch this paint dry <laughs> on this log wall. Psst. Hey. We're not just gonna stay here forever. No, we sure... Shut up, Voice of the Hero! Stupid dweeb nerd! Everybody make fun of Voice of the Hero! <laughs> what a nerd! Boom! Uh, no, I think I am going to just stay here forever, Voice of the Hero. Thank you very much. I get to go ahead and not be a part of this when I turn the game off, so I don't care how long <laughs> you stay here, Voice of the Hero. <laughs> Didn't you hear the narrator? I'm happy. We're happy. Didn't you hear the capital T, the capital N narrator? Telling us that we are. Getting a little bit of uh, Stanley Parable vibes from this also. Yeah, a little bit. We should. They've got like read. Uh, whatever. That's a different game. We'll talk about that. After. <laughs> uh, whatever. Hmm, okay. Maybe I'm not happy, <laughs> and I'm not just saying that because you're the last person I talk to myself. No. no we're happy. I'm sure. Of it. No, we're happy. I'm sure of it. Really? Well, no, I did my job. I did it. Your mind, just let me I know did it. The is. world is saved. Everything's fine. A more happy time. <laughs> Though the word. So happy. Time, that is. There are so many board games in the basement. 
It's amazing. Just if you just pretend that you're different people every time you roll the dice, you can have a lot of fun. I can just go and pretend that the dead princess is another player. It's fine. Uh, Eventually, I will defeat the Elite Four in this Pokemon board game. <laughs> Please shake you play that? Have I said this before? We have to get out of here. The little voices, please, fall on <laughs> They sure do. Eventually, you pass into a blissful state of pure existence. You notice that you're transforming into a princess. Uh oh Whoops. Uh oh Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I want. Happy. And then somebody kicks the door down and squishes you like a cartoon <laughs> pancake with a giant hammer. Uh, uh, my last thought is, is, huh, why didn't I think of that? So and Slay the Princess, the video <laughs> game. Thank you for your money. Good ending. Yay, you good did ending it. with scribbly ass. <laughs> whatever, you did it. You saved everyone, made with literal crayon. You did it, Time. Good job. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Slay the princess. Yay! That's the good ending, guys. We did it. This game's easy. I can't believe this took so long for them to make. There's all the people we did it. Wild time, it turns out you're the best to slay the prince. This is the first time anyone's ever beat the games, you know that? I'm so good at this. Nobody has ever gotten this ending before. You did it, good job. <laughs> Thanks to all of the alpha testers. They never even beat the game. Was a uh, fun fact, the good ending <laughs> card was drawn by co-creator Tony and not the co-creator artist Abby. That looks like something I'd be able to draw if I had, like, a <laughs> box of crayons. I could probably do that. <laughs> Thank you so much for playing. As an expression of our gratitude, here's the track order for a special playlist just for you. If you'd like to take a screenshot, you can hide the UI by hitting H. What? Wow. The, the songs. Oh, we didn't. We heard, like, one song, though. Uh, yeah, I guess it was three of them. Apparently. <laughs> Yay, you did it, Eternal Bliss. Explore, join the Discord mailing list subreddit. Well, that was Slay the Princess, everybody. Turns out Times is <laughs> pro gamer and hit this game real hard, like full force. Uh, I don't know where we're playing next, but uh, next time, kids. It was short, but it was pretty good. Short, but pretty interesting. I had fun. Hey, uh, Slay the Princess. I'm Time. He's Cable. Last time we beat the game, but I have been reminded that there might be more to this game than just a single ending. Time, what are you talking about? We beat the game, it's over. We slayed the princess. I mean, there were all of those dialogue options we didn't take. Would, but that all leads to slaying the princess, right? <laughs> uh, uh, sure, I mean, it must, right? But let's go look at him anyway. Whatever you say, time. We're just gonna get the. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're wasting a day of an upload <laughs> with the same end. Chapter one. <laughs> and at the end of that path is a cabin. I mean, if there's one chapter, it's still chapter one, I guess. And beyond that cabin is a McDonald's. <laughs> oh, McDonald's. <laughs> I've already made the order. Just pick it up for me. <laughs> it's under T N for the narrator. I'm gonna get that McDouble. I can go for a McDouble right now. To be honest. <laughs> You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end. It will be the end of the world. Slay her. Don't talk to her. And for God's sake, don't try to woo her. But, hmm, but, but what if I want to woo her, actually, now that you say that? It sounds like you want to woo her. I just said don't do that. <laughs> oh, now that you say that, though. But what if I do that? <laughs> God damn it. I hate the fact that I'm the one that planted that idea in your brain. <laughs> Uh, what are our options here? I'm looking. You've already read these, I think, the first time, so just pick whichever one you want. I've read this one. Well, read it again when you pick it. Whichever one you pick, read it out again. Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? A self-fulfilling prophecy, perhaps. <laughs> are we? Just shut up and do it, says the narrator. How much of a time limit are we actually on, narrator? God, I would kill for a cheeseburger right now. <laughs> she's locked up because she's dangerous. She 
is not dangerous because... Sorry, she's, he said cheese, and I thought he said cheese, and I was like, yeah, cheeseburger. <laughs> cheeseburger. <laughs> and before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Dating, right? Like with gifts, I gotta get that heart meter up before I can get my smoosh. <laughs> I know all. Don't, don't worry, narrator. I know all about getting smooches from strange ladies by now. <laughs> Causality doesn't matter here because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is. No but how will the world end? Well. I'll just romance her, and she'll want to stay in the cabin with me forever. Forever and ever and ever and <laughs> ever forever. Ver, 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 ver. It'll be just like with Lynetta. Or the Sandlot, which is what I was <laughs> referencing. Time learned classic American cinema. <laughs> I think I said that word right. Semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. Unless you do your job and asterisk slay asterisks her. <laughs> what well, if I just outsource this like a true American? <laughs> yeah, what if somebody else does it? Like on pennies on the dollar. <laughs> Killing a princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Killing a princess ain't no big deal. If anything, slaying a princess is much better than slaying a seamstress. Seamstresses. I'm honestly on the side of the narrator on this particular option. Uh, I mean, you're kind of winning me over a little bit, narrator. <laughs> I mean, uh, what are you, some kind of lobster back, says the narrator, clapping back? I do dislike the monarchy. This is true. <laughs> Boo, I'm pro guillotine. <laughs> uh, do I get some kind of reward for doing this? Yes. Have to slay her before you get it. Hmm. What a fucking liar! He's <laughs> lying to you right now. The well, last time I got an eternity spent in a cabin by myself with a dead body. Unless that was the reward. <laughs> I mean, he might not be lying if that was the reward. He did say I was very happy about it. Yeah, see, Bear is on the same wavelength as me right now. <laughs> that might just be the reward. God, I could go for a burger right now. What if your character was motivated just by the promise <laughs> of getting a cheeseburger? He's just like, oh, I see that. I see that McDonald's on the other side. I got to get this done and then I can go go have a Big Mac. I can see those golden arches just peeking over the edge of that cabin roof. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can have that McFlurry I've been hankering for. I mean, the ice cream machine probably doesn't work, <laughs> so... Uh, secondary, maybe a 20-piece McNug. You know, 20-piece McNug. <laughs> but, but what if it was working? Oh, my God. <laughs> this truly is a fantasy setting. <laughs> can, can, can you tell me what my prize is going to be for doing a good job? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Just for you. But whatever you think it might be, I can promise you it's going to be even better. Is it sitting alone in a box for all eternity? I mean, some people would probably think that's pretty cool, <laughs> especially with how the world's going, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't turn down the idea of being able to just live forever in a box just without having to worry about anything. Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me what to do. It's all part of the job. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning. I'd be a homeowner. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. That'd be better than most people these days. Oh my, this is a very, <laughs> oh my God, you guys are making this really uh, attractive to me. 
I just go through this game over and over again, just doing the Slayer immediately option. Just everyone, finally, eventually this will take. <laughs> I have so many cabins in the woods. There it is, you say, pointing at your line, like <laughs> perfectly <laughs> symmetrical line of cabins. <laughs> just off into the distance. <laughs> It just fades off, guys. Eventually curves away with the earth. <laughs> she will lie. She will cheat. Yep. And she will do She'll steal and she'll become heavyweight champion of the world. <laughs> Don't believe a word she says. And she'll win ownership as like a parental figure of Damien, I think his name was. Who? <laughs> In a ladder match. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm referencing uh, Eddie Guerrero, who had a ladder match with Rey Mysterio, <laughs> I think, for literal parental like <laughs> rights towards a child. What? <laughs> <laughs> you need to learn more about professional wrestling, time. So it gets stupid and like melodramatic, like soap opera. That's insane. <laughs> I will link you the video after this episode. If anybody's listening, look it up. Eddie Guerrero, <laughs> ladder match, <laughs> and I don't know, uh, whatever, whatever his name was, parental rights or like adoption papers or something. It's so dumb and dramatic and fucking awesome. I love it. Proceed into the cabin. There we go. We're going in there. <laughs> a ladder match for adoption papers. The, is almost entirely bare. the air is stale and musty and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade made of chocolate. You'll need it. Peel it slow. Hmm, do I take the knife or do I just go? Just use your comically oversized mallet. <laughs> oh right, I forgot I have that in my pocket. Let's go. I'm surprised I forgot, honestly, it's really heavy. <laughs> the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Hey, it's me again. N n new phone, who dis? <laughs> this hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once. Did he say that last time? I don't remember. We might have been talking. No, I don't think so. No, the first time he said that it was very, like, commanding and authoritative. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game. Oh, maybe because I didn't take the knife. Whoops. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> it's been so long since I've had any visitors. Please. It's been so long since I've seen her. <laughs> and her is me. There's no mirrors down here, actually. Okay. It turns out solving this problem is just bring her a hand mirror. <laughs> Finally, I can brush this particular lock of hair out of my eyes. Thank you. <laughs> It's been bothering me for so long. The rest are fine. That's part of my style. <laughs> She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? Uh, I'm going to object to that. She looks like a f anime protagonist. <laughs> Boo. Just imagine how big her eyes actually are inside of her skull. <laughs> I don't find those giant eyes attractive or beautiful at all. I find them very unsettling. Look at this alien sitting in front of you. <laughs> Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Shut up, alien. You're not going to fool me. I mean, I didn't see a key anywhere or anything. Hold on. Let's talk a bit first. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hi, princess. I guess I'll marry you, says the princess. <laughs> that was a compelling case you just built for me. <laughs> That's all it took. <laughs> Man, you got a lot of options. You might want to read these out since it's the first time we've seen them. Oh, yeah, I guess. What's your name? 
I don't know anything about you. For all I know, you're locked up here down here for a reason. If I'm the first person you've seen in a while, what have you been eating or drinking? What have you been eating or drinking, princess? I've been sucking moisture off of the pipes <laughs> and eating any stray rats that get close enough <laughs> for me to pinch my claws. I mean, fingers. I was sent here to slay you. You're apparently supposed to end the world. Girls don't poop, <laughs> Mazel. You should know this. <laughs> what are you going to do if I let you out of here? I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a little bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. Keep her locked away. I'm sorry, but I just can't trust you. This doesn't add up and it isn't worth the risk to, to take your word over the potential fate of the world. Retrieve the blade. Retrieve the blade, like from osmosis? Like you just reach into a portal next to you and get it? Or do you like, you do, hold on a second, you say holding a finger up and turning around and going up back up the stairs. I just reach back and extend my arm all the way across the room up the stairs and grab the grab the knife. Oh, my God. The twist of the story is that the princess should have slain you <laughs> because you're clearly an alien monster. But unfortunately, she doesn't have the knife. Whoops. Well, what if I just go ahead and convince you with my wily charms? <laughs> I can't believe they've been keeping you down here like this. I'm going to get you, I'm getting you out of here. Examine the chains. What a dork. OK, I'm going to get you out of here. Don't make me regret this. Examine the chains. All right. What are we doing here? I think I do kind of want to know what she's been eating. <laughs> I'm also kind of curious, <laughs> although I've already answered this question. <laughs> if I'm the first person you've seen in a while, what have you been eating or drinking? See what that has to do with anything. I mean, uh, how are you alive? It answers the question of how you're alive. <laughs> yeah, you and your weird, oversized eyes. <laughs> you're looking awfully healthy for somebody who hasn't had anything to dr eat or drink for however long you've been down here. I feel like this is the people who made this game saying, "Shut up, don't question." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree with Voice of a Hero this time. Do you get a follow up to this? Can I follow up? Yeah. It looks like no. No. Lame. What is she? Uh, yeah, it's stray rats and the <laughs> condensation of the local pipes. The local pipe residential. What's your name? Oh. Oh. She paused. That's a really strange name you have. <laughs> yeah, those giant ass <laughs> eyes. That's what I'm talking about. Those anime ass eyes. The whole skull is just eyeball. Because it doesn't stop at the surface. It goes round like it's a ball. Guys, the brain would be tiny. <laughs> they are, in fact, ex <laughs> extending off of her face on the one side. <laughs> 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 no skull, just uh, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you can address me as your royal highness, or you can just call me princess. If you want to be a stupid subservient peasant, neither of those are names, princess. Oh, it's almost like you're some kind of like Lovecraftian creature <laughs> pretending to be a princess. Mm. Princess, princess. Well, her name is O, as we've established. Um, I mean, if you think about it, Mario's named Mario Mario and Luigi's named Luigi Mario. So, I mean, it could be possible. <laughs> that is true. What if Princess Peach is named Princess Peach Peach? You know, <laughs> uh, or Princess Peach Peach Princess. Um. The eyes thing is just making me think of Sonic, where he just has like one big eye that has like two dots in it. I live rent free inside your head, Mazel. Also, you knew a Princess Arthur and King Arthur in school. <laughs> Can you please elaborate? <laughs> In a timely matter. They were siblings. What a sh... It's a shame you didn't get to meet, like, uh, Optimus Prime Cthulhu or whatever his name was. <laughs> like that one guy. <laughs> Is Princess your name? Well, way to be totally culturally insensitive, she says, <laughs> putting her hands on her hips. Yeah. Is Princess your name? Let me go ahead and think about how I can manipulate you. <laughs> how, how can I say what I want to say next without technically lying? That doesn't answer my question. Also, how are those sleeves staying on you? 
<laughs> How are they? They don't look like they're attached to the dress. Well, what's your name then? How do you forget? I'm pretty sure I was told like this weekend I was supposed to slay you, so. The narrator just kind of came to me one day and was like, hey, you want to slay a princess? And I was like, yeah, I can do that. This princess is 100% not a human being. <laughs> yeah, no way. This is like a cult, like a Cthulhu eldritch being. <laughs> this is a Lovecrafting creature we're looking at right now, pretending to be human. Especially considering how we're like a bird creature, so like a human would already be weird. She hadn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully, you're still That's an interesting way to phrase that narrator. Go back upstairs, get the blade, and slay her. It's too late. I mean, you make a compelling case, narrator, if I could be honest with you. They're kind of coming around on this whole slaying the princess thing a little bit. I don't know anything about you. For all I know, you're locked up down here for a reason. Of course I'm locked up down here for a reason. What is it? I don't actually uh -huh. know what that reason is, but you don't uh -huh. have a princess in a basement and throw away the key without there being mm -hmm. some sort of explanation. Right? And you know absolutely nothing about the world ending thing, right? Right. You should know better than to trust whatever she comes up with. Just pull out the flamer and melt her. Uh, she hasn't been very good at coming up with uh, excuses so far. <laughs> Get a critical shot with your plasma rifle and just melt her and do a pile of goo. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do if I let you out of here? Princess hesitates before responding. Well, I thought I'd end the world a little bit, but <laughs> sell cookies, maybe? <laughs> question mark, exclamation point, question mark. I've heard of these things called Girl Scouts. It sounds fun. Maybe I'll do that. It sounds fun and innocent. You should let me try. <laughs> she doesn't know. She's been down here too long to have any idea of what she'd do in another life. Uh, the qu the answer to the question should be find my king father <laughs> and ask why I was imprisoned. The fact that you're hesitating like this makes me think you don't have a king father, which is why you would be a princess, which is why you're lying to me, you eldritch creature. Uh, uh whoops <laughs> says that the devs confirmed that the eyes aren't stylized, they just are actually like that. <laughs> they might actually like you have normal eyes, but she has giant globe eyes. Gross. I mean, I might be some kind of bird monster, so who knows what my eyes look like? Probably normal size, like a bird does. <laughs> Birds have a normal sized eyes. Time. She's just searching for whatever answer she thinks you want to hear. Narrator knows what's up. Mm, yeah. Are you looking for the truth, or are you looking for the right answer? Because with the dynamic, do we have a dynamic? I don't think the specifics of what I do. Really is there a dynamic here? I've just been kind of asking. Time, there is no dynamic. She's <laughs> lying to you. Just stab her in the face. Do it. I'm gonna become narrator too. I will be narrator too. Just fucking kill her. <laughs> Princess, I've just been asking basic questions, and you've failed to provide answers to them. It's not like you'd believe me. <laughs> you haven't been very believable so far. I was sent here to slay you. You're apparently supposed to end the world. I just saw your me your message. Whoops. They're just actually supposed to be that big. <laughs> Gross. Ew, I'd be fucking creeped out if I saw that. <laughs> Unless the bird guy doesn't know what a human looks like. Ew. I am starting to think it's true. There's something about you that doesn't feel right. Does everything feel right about you if you were locked away in a hole by yourself for as long as you can remember? I mean, I'd be probably able to answer basic questions about my name and where I'm getting food from. It's weird. Everything you just said translated in my brain to stab me, stab me, stab me. <laughs> How long has she been down here? Shut up, voice of the hero. We're back to not liking you. So Shut up. You had that one time. That was your time. So dangerous. You have weirdly gross, huge eyeballs. <laughs> I've been told enough. I was hoping you'd tell me. No, but I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping. I mean, they literally told me that you would end the world. Why is that not an option? I can say. Uh, because the game doesn't want you to have that <laughs> option. It wants you to question your motivations, even though your motivations are clear. I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping that information secret. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
reasons, though. If they had good reasons for thinking I was dangerous, wouldn't they have shared them with they me? They did. The game just wasn't letting me say that for some reason. I'm just really distracted by the fact they have giant eyeballs. <laughs> She's actually a gray alien. The hair is just a wig. As somebody who doesn't like anime, the giant eyeballs don't make me think you're endearing. It makes me think you're gross and weird <laughs> and strange and something not human. Sorry, it had the opposite effect. Mmm, doubt. Also, I think maybe we should get married, she says, question mark, <laughs> with a blush emoji. <laughs> trust that and i don't think you do either or you wouldn't have come down here to talk i mean originally i was gonna be like hey can we date but uh, uh kind of you're seeing pretty sketchy so she has a point said the princess <laughs> <laughs> so this shouldn't be about what i'd do if i got out of here or me saying the right thing to convince you to save me this is about how messed up this whole situation is <laughs> This is my life we're talking mm. about. Yeah, but your life means nothing to me as a bird person. <laughs> you aren't a bird person, therefore I don't care. Because you're an eldritch giant-eyed freak? A freak, a capital F freak! People we can't trust in this situation? It's whoever locked me down here. And it's whoever sent you here. And those Look at her trying to gosh dang manipulate you. It's so obvious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's pretty obvious. I thought it'd be a little more subtle. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person and a subjugating. Uh, you are right about the monarch thing. <laughs> Who's the king that this princess came from? Yeah, who is the king that this princess came from? Three question marks. <laughs> I won't kill you, but I can't just set you free. It's too risky. What if I stayed for a while and just kept you company? Maybe then everyone could be happy. I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a little bit. That one's an option we've seen before. What if I just kept you in a jar like a bottle? You say, <laughs> like, Link and Orcrean of Time just capturing her in a bottle. <laughs> Maybe I'll sell you or drink you if I have to, in case you might give me health during a boss fight. Okay, I think the rest of these are options we've seen before, so I'm gonna... I'm sorry, but I just can't trust you. This doesn't add up, and it isn't worth the risk to take your word over the potential fate of the world. Sorry, we don't have glasses big enough for your nerd eyes. <laughs> you turn back to the stairs, intent on retrieving the blade in the cabin. But she extends her the thing tendril and just chokes you. <laughs> oh, she just she just thinks me and then I become the thing. Whoops. Oops, she might be the thing, guys. I fucking love that movie. It's a pretty good movie. Better. It's my favorite movie, actually. Let these chains before you make it back down here. You turn around and she's the fucking dog creature in the kennel from the thing. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's like, oh, wow, this really has to late. <laughs> if you could slip those chains whenever you wanted, you would have done it by now. Well, she was trying to get you to agree with her. So she let her out. So she could pretend to be a princess while she left. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. It'll be fine. Voice of the hero. I'm confused. How would something this powerful be d done away with by a simple knife? I, uh, it's a really good knife. The knife is gone. <laughs> well, I already took it. Oh, well, why'd you rush up the floor to get the knife that you already had? It made like a shing noise. And... Oh, grabbing the blade. I see. I thought that this knife slithered away like a slug <laughs> to like join her as part of her body. Oh, that would be unfortunate. Thankfully, I have it, though. You ever see the movie Slither? <laughs> You're gonna go down and she'd be like huge swelled up, be like, I'm so hungry. <laughs> you slowly creep down the basement stairs. It's quiet. Where the princess oh, well, how did she do that? Where'd the light go? Um, she gnawed at her wrist like a coyote <laughs> caught a trap. I guess. She, capital S, she is nowhere to be seen. It's going to like get spider legs like the thing and just <laughs> crawl away. I, I was going to say she is the hand and then I just go over there and stab it. Did, this room get Did it? Bigger? It is bigger, yes. It's also a dungeon as opposed <laughs> to a cellar like before. Mm, she's lost an arm. I'm locking her down here and letting her bleed out. To say she'll actually succumb to I mean, I guess that's true. She doesn't have a weapon, and she's missing an arm. 
Mm, that also might be the case. Where is she, though? Just use your mouth blast. <laughs> just use your laser. Just fire your laser. Get her. I'll tell you what, I'll even stay here for a while to make sure she's dead. Close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly back. Damn it! There's no way we can get past this! <laughs> She'll never escape now. Ah, I can't even I tried to open the door, but like there's a table in front of it. This is impossible. Okay, we can make this work. She has an awful wound and we have all the time in the world. Yeah. A little easy. easy. You settle in against this game's for babies. <laughs> it isn't long before you start to drift off. Your eyelids. What? You fall asleep? <laughs> what? Isn't long. Is she casting a spell? <laughs> Are you just tired? I guess I'm just tired. How do you fall asleep in this adrenaline fueled situation? I guess I've been watching the door for a while. By now, I can stay up for days playing video games. You're saying you're falling asleep in a life or death situation. I mean, video games are slightly more engaging than staring at a at a blank featureless door. Not if staring at a blank featureless <laughs> door determines whether or not you stay alive. <laughs> I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. I mean, you haven't broke out yet, so... You didn't kill me when I was down there. Terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. <laughs> Almost like she's some kind of eldritch horror or something. Luckily for us, the door is bolted from the inside. <laughs> when I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did. And I'll never forgive it. You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. I've got a knife. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. I've got a knife. No. What do you mean weaker? Like, I mean, if she keeps pounding, she eventually gets tired, right? Yeah, she does have, like, a hand missing and is presumably, supposedly bleeding. Why was she waiting for you to show up if she should just cut her own hand off and just become super powerful? Uh, yeah, why didn't she just turn like eat me when she turned after she turned into Reese down there? Why didn't we show up and like <laughs> find just a hand with a manacle around it when we showed up and like, whoops, looks like she left. I guess she could just do that the whole time. Why was she even down there in the first place? Yeah. Threaten me all you want. All it does is ease my guilty conscience. Whatever you are, you're not a princess. Go ahead and waste your enemy I'll, energy. I'll be waiting for you. I bang on the door all you want. It'll only make you bleed out faster. Ignore her and go to sleep. <laughs> what? <laughs> what an idiot. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. I guess. Ignore her and go to sleep. <laughs> I'll just ignore this and go to sleep for a while. And huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence. Whoops, turned out sleeping on it didn't work. <laughs> and the door to the basement is ajar. It's lock broke. Why didn't she kill you? Why didn't she kill me? She didn't kill me in the basement either the first time, so. Hey, slay the princess. I'm time. He's cable. Last time, uh. We. Tried to slay the princess, but when we were getting the knife, she like ripped her own hand off and then turned into some kind of variety of a horrible monster. So we barricaded the door and then went to sleep like an idiot. <laughs> Time refused to thumb squish the princess as he should have, <laughs> which led to us barricading a door from the side that doesn't open. <laughs> <laughs> and then went to sleep. <laughs> While she was banging on the door that opens inward. <laughs> yeah, try to make it sound like she's the doofus here. It's fine. We're both incredibly intelligent. Man, I can't believe both the princess and the voice of the hero will be defeating themselves in this one episode. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Oh, you're... There it is! You're more ghostly than I expected. 
Except for the hand that stayed uh, corporeal. Oh, yeah. So if I stab that hand, she'll die forever, right? That's where you keep your soul, right? <laughs> Here she comes with her s giant anime eyes. <laughs> it isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to... Why'd she just do this to start? <laughs> Why didn't she just do this to start? <laughs> She could just paralyze you. <laughs> paralyze. Paralyze, guys. Paralyze. Stay back. I have a knife. Shlau. I have a cartoony ass. Yeah, I'll shlau you. <laughs> shlau, shlau. Watch out. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? She steps closer. One silent footfall at a time, cocking her. She doesn't look like she's walking. She looks like she's kind of floating. She looks like her entire skull is composed of eyeball. <laughs> they seem like they're getting bigger, actually. <laughs> oh, now that I have the upper hand, I'm going to talk down to you instead of being pretending to work with you. I get it, because my hand is up here and you're down there. <laughs> there it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. Can I not just stab her hand? I'm confused as to why she was stuck at all. She could just leave like this. Yeah, if she could just do this whenever she wanted. I guess in this particular route, she's just doing it for fun. I guess. Don't we? Do we? I guess it is. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes Dork. Fine. Well, and you die. That's fine. And I move oh. on to the next protagonist. He's, oh, what the? F oh, chapter two, the nightmare. You're on a path. Oh my god. Okay. And at the end of that. Path, Immediately, Slayer. Is a princess. Back to squishing mode. <laughs> yeah, just squish her. <laughs> See if it's any different. If you don't. It's probably going to be like this time when you try to slay her. It's like, aha, that's what I was thinking you'd do, though. Yeah, it's going to be something like that. You've fallen onto my trap card, dork. Get banished to the Shadow Realm, a.k.a. death, <laughs> dweeb. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Wait, hasn't this already happened? Okay, no. <laughs> but I died. What am I doing here? She's going to kill me again. Turn around and leave. Whatever, f*** it, I'm done. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. I really want that Big Mac you say leaving. <laughs> I could just go around the cabin to get to the McDonald's. I really wish I could get to that McDonald's. <laughs> I hate the fact that this eldritch princess is in my path. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. We, me and the voice of the hero remember, but the narrator does not. If I don't remember, voice of the paranoid. Hello, paranoid. Oh, what? Hmm. Shut up, Disco Elysium. <laughs> Stop being the best game ever made. That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does? Who is he? Shit. You probably. <laughs> oh, it was the narrator. It matters right now because, like I said, this is the first time. I'd rather not get off on the wrong foot. We've a world to save, after all. But what if I just tell the tell the narrator? What what if I just tell him? Narrator, narrator. This is more than just deja vu, though. I'm pretty sure this whole thing literally just happened. We could go back and forth on this forever, and it won't get you any closer to doing your job and saving the world. So let's just agree to disagree. I haven't seen much of this world so far. Is it worth saving, to be honest? I mean, we've got woods, we've got this path, we have a McDonald's. It's got these f***ing disgusting <laughs> bird people populating in. <laughs> we have a McDonald's, what more do you need? I guess there is a McDonald's. I could, <laughs> I would, if I needed to, personally slaughter an entire army of undead just for Big Mac right now. Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all of this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine, I'll indulge you. We're gonna ignore both of them. Moving. 
<laughs> Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. Mm -hmm. if you're back it said chapter two, two, narrator. Which probably only happened. I mean, I did die. I was gonna stab her, but then she turned into a ghost thing. What if there's three chapters and like each one, if you just kill her immediately, that's an ending. And then each time you ignore the narrator and that's also an ending. <laughs> Either of you, as far as I'm concerned, we still can't. All we did was lock her away. And how'd that work out for you? No comment. <laughs> I did die. Duh. Congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. But she didn't end the world if I'm here again, even though I died, right? I can't fit my cartoonishly oversized mallet to the door. <laughs> to slay the princess. What do you want the princess to slay us? What? Only one of these will roll the credits. <laughs> Obviously, I want you to slay her. One of you poses a threat to the world. And the what if I'm the princess? Man, fuck you. What if I threaten the world? <laughs> you ever think about that? Way to discount me. <laughs> what if I want to be the princess? <laughs> Boo! What if I want to be a princess? You ever think about that? <laughs> Who says I can't be? Other than the, my lineage. <laughs> I'll figure out a way around that. I'll just find a, a nice prince to marry and it'll be okay. There's probably a few of them out there still, right? <laughs> this takes place in modern day. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, it's like a handful, I guess. <laughs> That it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. Well, I mean, if I'm back here and you don't remember. What do you mean? Of course, there weren't any consequences. We were killed by the princess, and now everyone's right back where they started. Sounds pretty consequential. Your character is doing both voices, just looking in different directions when he says them. <laughs> it's like, uh. In like the, the third Lord of the Rings movie when Gollum is talking to Smeagol. <laughs> Yes, like Gollum, like I just said before you said that. Oh, I didn't hear the... Time was ignoring me, guys! <laughs> Time ignored me. That's fine. Everyone else heard me, right? You guys heard me? You heard me say Gollum? <laughs> Bear said they heard it. Speak for yourself. From my perspective, there were plenty of consequences. I'm never going to forget the way she just... Muzzle also heard it. Uh, where did you even come from, Voice of the Paranoid? Why weren't you here before? It comes from the servo skull next to you. Oh, when did I get that? Shut up and do your jobs, the servo <laughs> skull. What do I pay you for? You found yourself in another world altogether. If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Everything was completely fine forever, I'm sure. I think the fact that I allowed the princess to kill me has made us that everything beyond that point is some kind of alternate reality and nothing, nothing, none of this matters. I'm not there anymore, so don't care. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just going to explore this. Maybe I'll get to marry the princess. I don't know. <laughs> if she brought an end to everything and everyone, how are we supposed to stop her? Yeah, you think a knife is just going to do that? Shut up, paranoid. Capital P <laughs> paranoid dweeb. I know the knife actually did do it the first time, but... <laughs> what if you juggled more than one knife this time? What if I go back to the cabin and there's a second knife? What if I just reran the first chapter like 12 times, got 12 knives? <laughs> I want you to succeed. You'll find a way. You're the only one who can. Oh, why am I the only one who can? He wants you to secede the king by slaying the princess. <laughs> yes, revolution. Revolution! Burn it all down! <laughs> Burn it all down! <laughs> Guillotine. <laughs> Get it in, bring it out, build it. Make it look really sh <laughs> It still works, though. That's the point. It looks like sh but it still works. Get wrecked, king. It just has to work. That's it. Get peasant. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Let's talk about this princess. Be quick about it. What? <laughs> You're gonna shut up and listen to me how long as I want you to, narrator. Why are you so impatient? What? <laughs> Is this like a character sitting in like an office somewhere watching on a TV screen? Tapping his foot. <laughs> like, hurry up. I got other tabs to deal with. I'm like consulting for a law firm right now. This is a narrator. The looking up at the clock because it's almost his lunch break, but he can't go until like this is finished. 
He's looking at the clock and then at his wristwatch and then at his handheld device, <laughs> like hoping that each one will be further along in time. <laughs> Just being around her in the end, shut down all of my organs. What the hell am I supposed to do about that? To quote you from last time around, she's just a princess. How can you possibly justify saying that? She's clearly something far worse. Who looked who locked her in that basement? What is this place? I am rather concerned about the shutting down organs thing that she can just do, apparently. Whoops. Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her, just go in. Do your job and save the world. Hmm, that is pretty convincing after she killed me last time. I feel like me and narrator are on the same wavelength. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is how I was in that first episode. Just fucking squish her. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, who, who locked her in that basement anyway? What is this place? Locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. How did people lock her in the basement if she just has the ability to shut down your organs by looking at you? What if somebody showed up and they're like a knight, but they have earbuds in and she's like, oh, sh <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's got AirPods in and he can't hear me. <laughs> oh, God, this, this man, this is a hardcore <laughs> counter to me. <laughs> and he just swishes her and leaves. If people locked her away, why couldn't they slay her? Why is this falling on me? You're being cagey. What aren't you telling me? Why didn't they slay her? You're being Nicholas Blue on me right now. But it's because you're special. I'm a special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps. Is it because I'm a bird monster? Pat Pat, he says. The narrator says Pat Pat. <laughs> he can't actually pat me, so he just says Pat Pat. <laughs> pat Pat, capital P Pat, Pat period. And then asterisk. Ruffle, ruffle, asterisk. You can't just goad us into doing something by calling us special. It's manipulative. Why are you trying <laughs> to manipulate us? I don't know. I kind of like. I kind of like being special. I can't wait for your character to be a dweeb that talks to himself <laughs> for like three <laughs> chapters. Just standing in the forest, having a conversation with myself alone. <laughs> I mean, you've been doing three voices, just looking at different <laughs> camera angles the whole time, so. That implies that you're a different personality if you look at a different camera angle when you say it. Just off screen, the guy from behind the counter at the McDonald's is on his break and he's just like sitting there with a cigarette and watching me. <laughs> he's like that fast food worker from... <laughs> oh no, what's it called? Oh no, my brain! No! I'm not Move on. Already know the princess is dangerous. All I'm trying to say is that you have to be the one to deal with her. I know it doesn't seem fair, but that's just the way it is. Well, I mean, I guess. For what it's worth, I know you have it in you to finish. Mm, I mean, I don't have really any counter for her just turning my organs off, but I suppose. What happened to us last time? We need to leave. Undertale. That's the game. I did it. It's me. I did it. I guys, I did it. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I remember that guy. <laughs> I did it. Whatever the hell his name was, the guy who immediately like dropped his facade of trying to be customer service. <laughs> he started smoking a cigarette and was like, I'm 21, my life is over, he said. <laughs> yeah, I think it was Burger Pants or something. I can't believe it took me that long to remember the name of Undertale. <laughs> To quote you from last time around, she's just a princess. How can you possibly justify saying that? She's clearly something far, far worse. She is just a princess. Whatever you think happened to you last time, just get it out of your head before you get to the cabin, and you'll be fine. Uh, you're being cagey. What aren't you telling me? I told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation. I mean, it is a pretty simple situation. If Do you work for the Institute? <laughs> Just shut up, you wouldn't understand it's too complicated. How are we supposed to stop her? Not to sound like a broken record, but the less you know about her, the better Why? for all of us. I know it sounds like you I'm are hiding person. something. <laughs> well, I mean the first time you learn more about her, she shut down your organs. That is true. Everything he knows because he doesn't trust us, which means that we can't trust him. 
Stop talking yourself in your room. <laughs> just get to the so I was just standing out here in the woods talking, literally talking to myself. You've been talking here, so the narrator is also one of your personalities. <laughs> you see the way he keeps pushing us, but we have to get out. Why is he capitalized? Because it's like him and Power of Girls, <laughs> turns out the narrator is the devil. The literal devil. That's all. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. I guess I'll go down there and try to stab her, although probably she's just going to make my organs turn off again. A warning. Oh, she's probably going to, like, eat you this time like as a werewolf or something. <laughs> She will lie. She will She's going to become the thing from the movie The Thing, the best movie ever made. And she will just like assimilate you and you'll be like, well, I guess I agree with everything The Thing wants to do for I am now The Thing as well. Uh, well, I, I'm a thing now, so I, I'm, I'm totally down with ending the world uh, suddenly. It's fine. Whatever cares. <laughs> It'll all be me now eventually. Did you know if they continue the thing, uh, whatever, you're saying the same thing. L I lie, I cheat, I steal. <laughs> I lie, I cheat, I steal. World heavyweight champion. Did you know the thing had like three di different uh, continuations through comic books? Did it? <laughs> yes, it had three official continuations through comic books. Um, Three miniseries. It also had a video game that continued the game. <laughs> they were continuing the movie, I mean. But that was not related to the comic books, which means you have two different timelines that continue <laughs> on from the movie. Does the thing just, like, like take over the entire world? Is that what happens? N no, it gets... Comic book-wise, it gets really stupid. <laughs> Video game-wise, it gets really stupid. <laughs> but stupid in different ways. Stupid in different ways! It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. Proceed into the cabin. Just belly wiggle your way up to the cabin in a Slytherin teen time fashion. The only hey, the table's flipped over. Hey, hey, this isn't what it was before. This isn't how it was before. I want my money back. This, how did this even get in here? This wasn't here before. Flipping a table over is impossible. This is bullshit. <laughs> that can't happen. Physically impossible. It physically is impossible. It literally cannot happen. Oh, hi. Uh, shadows in the windows. The eyeballs watching you from the star-spangled night. My, what big eyes you have. What delicious, giant, sexy eyes you have. Is each <laughs> one of you a princess question mark? I notice he didn't mention the mirror. It is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Uh. You'll need it to pick your teeth clean once you've finished <laughs> your meal at a McDonald's. <laughs> With a knife. <laughs> you just, you finish eating your burger and fries and then in, still in the McDonald's, you just pull a knife out and start picking your teeth with it. Just an empty frame. Yeah, the, the door was there last time hasn't she and she's ready for us she's been waiting can't you feel her whoops eyes? it's almost like this is one continuous <laughs> timeline nah it's almost like failing to kill her the first time has locked you into a timeline where she knows what's up uh oh if you keep getting stuck in your head like this you're going to struggle to get the job done it's fine deep breath in deep breath i'll just take the knife i'll go in there i'll kill her everything will be okay a smusher with my thumb. <laughs> you didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. This whole cabin is different from than I remember it being. Approach the mirror, take the blade. You didn't say anything about this mirror. Right. I was so stuck on the eyes watching us that I didn't even know. Yeah, dweeb, look at those four <laughs> pairs of eyes watching you. Yeah, really big eyes too. Anime-esque, you might say. I counted that really fast. <laughs> what are you two talking about? There isn't a mirror. There's a table. There, there's a mirror narrator. It's right there. Open doorway leading to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely. There's literally a mirror in front of us. It's right here, mar narrator. I can see it, narrator. <laughs> Why are you lying to me, narrator? 
I'm siding with the princess. Do exactly what he wants. What if the narrator is the princess this whole time? <laughs> What if the narrator is a princess this whole time? What if the narrator is the princess? But I mean, what if the? I mean, I guess he's kind of sexy like a princess. <laughs> I mean, why would he do this if he was the princess, though? What if he's trying to trick us into killing a pretend princess instead of the princess princess <laughs> that he is? Like we look across the, we look through that window and we see another cabin, and he's like looking at us with binoculars. <laughs> With a walkie-talkie, and he's like, no, kill her. <laughs> he's just got, like, a microphone. <laughs> like a gaming mic headset, and he's like, no, get her. Hmm. It's up to you, kid. You're the one playing. Mm, well, I kind of just want to go down there and try to stab her. It doesn't matter. But it does matter. Don't you care if we're being lied to? If he's willing to lie about I mean, as as a mirror, what else is he hiding from us? Maybe he just literally can't see it because of like weird eldritch reasons. What if he's a mirror? You haven't thought about that, have you? Exactly. Everything he's saying is carefully crafted lies. I'm not lying. Oh, it's to you. gone. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Hmm. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What Shut up, he says, taking the eraser tool in Photoshop. <laughs> It, it doesn't like just disappear. It just kind of like, like actually erases. There was a mirror a second ago. There was a mirror a second ago. Did he make it go away? Clearly, there was something in there worth investigating if he wants it hidden so bad. This whole cabin is different than I remember it being. Very different. Yeah, very different. <laughs> Capital V very. I mean, it probably was her that changed it. Voice of the paranoid, actually. Shut up, paranoid! You are the least trustworthy person here. <laughs> I mean, kinda actually. Other than the princess, I guess. I wish this was in color. <laughs> so focus up. A lot's riding on this. There was a little bit of color when the blood was there. So focus up, my money's running on this, says the narrator. <laughs> Got the blade. Laid up off the floor. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Steel. <laughs> Shut up, paranoid. <laughs> Unless the steel itself is fake. Oh my god, is the steel a lie? What if the steel is a lie? Oh, uh, <laughs> tangentially related to a meme relating to a cake. Something, I don't know, better than a knife? Could we have a bomb? Can I have a gun? Or like a nuclear missile? The blade is the only thing you need. Or laser eyes. <laughs> or laser eyes and super strength and flight, maybe. All three of those, perhaps? Can I pretty please have those? He's sending us to our death. Shut up, Paranoid. I don't think Paranoid is very helpful. Paranoid's stupid. Oh. Paranoid. Wait for Paranoid to be the only voice of reason in all of this. Hmm. That's different. There are many more eyes. I finished my final step and I'm just floating like a road rage, like <laughs> Simpsons road rage character, just like flailing my arms and legs. <laughs> While rolling in the distance. More eyes, too. You never mentioned the eyes. There are quite a few eyes here. The air seeping up because they're beautiful, what's the mention? Static. As if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. <laughs> a knife is definitely going to cut it here, narrator. Cool and playful voice prances up. Prances? Prances up? <laughs> why haven't you ended the world yet? Okay. Time, why did you stab her the first chance you had? I did stab her the first chance I had, and then we went back. No, you clearly didn't, that's why we're here. <laughs> How hard is it to throw a knife? I'm gonna talk to her, we don't need a plan, I'm just gonna kill her. Mr. Nerd, I'm pretty sure seems to think throwing I can a knife is really hard, actually. It's pretty hard, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it takes a lot of practice. <laughs> I don't know why you're all being such pessimists right now. Step off into the void between the stairs. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. 
Just float away. <laughs> How hard is it to throw a knife? It can't be that hard. It can't be that hard. It's our weapon. We'd have to make it count. Otherwise, she'd be furious and we'd be defenseless. Shut up, paranoid! <laughs> Like Every time you talk, I just ignore it. Shut up. <laughs> It'll be enough. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna kill her. The narrator thinks I can do it, so sure, it's fine. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Narrator, it said. Mr. The Narrator, yes. You know why I'm being Mr. The Mrs. The Monarch said. <laughs> I'm just asking questions. <laughs> Shut up, paranoid, you racist. <laughs> I'm just asking questions, guys. As you emerge, oh. you find yourself hmm. two loose rows of white wooden planks. Time, I'm not going to be able to help you here because there's both a left and a right option, and I don't know what to choose. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry, I apologize formally to you. Seems to be the end of the room. They diverge in opposite directions, left and right. What if he chose anywhere, and there's nowhere for us middle? <laughs> what if I chose middle and then I just walk off into the void and fall forever? Whoops, that's an <laughs> option, I guess. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm ignoring it. I don't want to die down here. I don't want to die again. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start. We love the precious. No, we hate it. We <laughs> hate the precious. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going. She's a blinking at you from one of those two by fours right now. She's blinking at me from many places, actually. From many two by fours, but each one looks like Plank from Ed and, and Eddie. <laughs> uh, we got to decide which path we're going on this time. Well, the knife was missing. If I think, if I remember correctly, yes. No, I have it. What? 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 I picked it up. I thought it was gone. No, I picked it up. Oh my god! This game is magic. Impossible bullshit. You don't have a knife. You just have a hand shaped as a knife. You're like, shlau, shlau. <laughs> Sticking it out there all aggressive. Uh, I guess this one has eyes at it, so I'm going to go that way. Best idea. Oh, my God. To the right. A faintly outlined path lies before you. This looks like it would be really hard to walk over, actually. Dead. No, just do hopscotch. Just like skip. Oh, hi, hello. As the princess approaches, you got a different dress on this time. What's that character from Spirited Away that's just like a mask on a black like apparition? Name? What was the name? Uh, No Face, I think. No Face. That's what I thought they were going for when she was showing up in the distance. <laughs> But by cl but coming closer, she not only became more refined, but also her torso has like texture and color as opposed to her original uh, iteration. Yeah, she's uh, looking slightly different. They paint bucketed her torso because <laughs> your arms quickly. Fall. Well, she it turns out we didn't still have any resistance against having our organs shut down. Unfortunate. Your arms quickly start uh, flailing in a windmill motion, and you're like, if you get hit, it's your fault. <laughs> the perfect defense. <laughs> perfect defense. I'm going to blender you slowly. She's like, oh, I can't, I can't approach. I can't do anything about this. Damn it. One in 100 chance that this would happen. <laughs> one in 100. <laughs> one in 100. <laughs> I can't believe I'm the lucky un uh, unlucky 100th. <laughs> You got something on your face. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. What did you do? Shut up, paranoid dweeb. <laughs> she isn't supposed to be like this. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. What if I just stab you right now? Before you shatter like a glass plate on the floor and then I scream Mazov. Well, I'm dead. Coming to a lurching halt. Neat. You chose the wrong direction, right? You should have known better, dweeb. Everyone knows that going right is wrong. <laughs> Your lungs oh, wait. 
Wait. Okay, we're back to this. This is a glitch. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> he says. No G. <laughs> Uh, boy's paranoia is being a little slightly helpful. You sure about that? You sure that's what you want? You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart. Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. Can't decide what you want to do, can you? I don't want to stab you, actually. Quick, air juggler! <laughs> With just a knife. She isn't attacking us. I mean, she is attacking us. That's what the organ shutting down thing is. Well, maybe she's, like, uh, desperately attracted to us, if you consider this. <laughs> what, what if she thinks a surviving organ failure is incredibly attractive? A princess needs a prince, is all I'm saying. <laughs> Otherwise, they won't upgrade to queen. Your weapon is still in your She's thinking of a metagame, is all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, you say pulling out an AK-47 and shooting her in the face. Oh, why, why did I not use this before? Well, I was waiting for the perfect op <laughs> opportunity, and this is the perfect opportunity. Uh, whatever that word is. Yes, yeah, nailed it. I just pull out two of them like the end, like the final boss of a. Uh, what was that game from the Dread X thing? House of Unrest. <laughs> Why won't you finish me off? What good am I, am I to you alive? What do you want from me? She, I mean, she's trying to kill me. She's making my organs fail. Well, she's doll facing you right now, kiddo. What happened after you killed me last time? I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I can't just let you leave. You're a lunatic. You know that, right? Well, I mean, yeah, <laughs> she says as a response. As a capital R, capital E response. A response. Response. <laughs> if you want to work together, can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down situation? How about I just kill you instead? <laughs> We don't have to be enemies. We can work together. We can be friends, even. Definitely, that's going to work. Perhaps we can go ahead and pool our resources and make the most optimal, <laughs> dominant corporation the world has ever seen. Eyeball X Knight Incorporated. Duh. But then I'd be both a monarch and a capitalist, which... Extra bad. You're already dead, princess. Wow, wow, wow. Is how I'm pretty sure they have pronounced that in the anime. That's definitely how it's pronounced. Nailed it! I'm not doing any of this. I'm not helping you leave, and I'm not going to try and kill you, so do your worst. Toss the blade and remain with your nightmare. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's get out of here. Fine, you win. I'll let you leave. Slay the princess. Kill her! <laughs> Shut up, I'm narrator point two. Kill her! How about I just kill you instead? Oh, that was a good noise. Uh, you should have just killed her instead of letting her talk about killing her. Hey, censor that! The princess bleep her, her head, kid. Just her head? About that knife, I am actually. Oh, but you'll be dead. So. My subscription says it expires tomorrow. I should leave, though. <laughs> I'm not giving you the stairs unless I'm leaving with you. Mm. That costs extra dweeb. You have to buy the DLC pack for stairs. <laughs> God, those eyes are fucking ugly. <laughs> I hate giant eyes. I hate anime. Guys, in case that isn't apparent yet. You have mentioned. Oversized eyes <laughs> are gross. Because it's a giant gelatinous ball of eyeball in their skull. <laughs> Gross, ill, ill. Your brain is very small, as a coincidence. 
<laughs> what happened after you killed me last time? Oh, really? Hmm. Is the cabin the narrator? The cabin may be the narrator. Perhaps that's his physical embodiment? <laughs> That's interesting. I guess we'll just have to get married. <laughs> Remember that time I stabbed you in the chest and you died? <laughs> yeah. Can we, can we just do that again, actually? That was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> if you need me alive, then why did you threaten me on the stairs? Why didn't you try being nice to me? I wasn't ready for that kind of commitment, she says. <laughs> I was kind of, she says with blushies, I wasn't ready. I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I just can't, I can't just let you leave. And then these are options I've seen before. Gross, ew, so those in the bin. Put them in a, like, Walmart plastic bag and just throw them in the bin. But what if I just stab you? Nerd. You strike out against the princess. But what if I just stab you? She doesn't even Capital Y A <laughs> apostrophe. I did it. It's done. She's dead. Jokes on you, Dweeb. This time with my porcelain mask that just makes me double powerful. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. You've hit my overdrive matrix. <laughs> oh no. This wasn't even her final form, it turns out. She says, transforming into a mecha. <laughs> Five individual people show up to pilot each individual arm and limb. Uh, unfortunately, in this form, she's too big to fit on this little narrow path, so she just like tumbles off and falls into the void forever. In like a half a second, like a frame, <laughs> she just like starts tumbling. They don't animate it. They just like grab the the still frame and like rotate it and move it. The point is she's stumbling as a giant mecha. <laughs> we did it. We actually did it. <laughs> you actually yeah, well, I like this now, dweeb. But you're dead. I killed you. Can she? Can, can she? <laughs> Bladder, lungs, <laughs> pancreas. She falls oh, to the well, there she <laughs> went. <laughs> I'm sorry, the fact is she just <laughs> she just flops over. over was really funny. <laughs> it was just really funny. I can stop now, can't I? <laughs> I did it. I slayed her. I can. It turns out it was still really easy to do. <laughs> Look at this dork on the ground. Stabbing the <laughs> shit like a dweeb. It turns out this tiny knife worked really well, actually. And now that she Every time, actually. Right. But she was the one who controlled this place, wasn't she? She did kind of control the place. She did. I don't like to think what that means for us. It means that you're stuck here. That's fine. I'll just you'll just tell me I'm happy and I'll be happy. It's OK. No. Yeah, you just tell me that and it's just like no. hits that parameter in my brain. <laughs> we'll get the cheering. Everything will be fine. Shut up. Look at this cute little fluffy bunny. <laughs> time passes. Time passes. You killed the shit out of her time. She died really good, actually. What a dork. Unexpectedly well. <laughs> Dweeb, you say with three exclamation points. Three. Three. That's more than two, less than one. <laughs> uh, less than four, actually. I'm sorry. Math is hard. Le less than four, yes. Basic math. Cut that out so I don't look as <laughs> stupid idiot. No, I'm leaving it in. No! <laughs> I feel sick. It doesn't have to be forever, though. Does it? What do you mean? We still have a way out, clutched in our hands. I mean, it's over there, actually, but... Are you suggesting we kill ourselves? We can't say that. Won't we be dead? Whoa, sense of that, kiddo. <laughs> that hasn't 
stopped us before. You're suggesting we rage quit the server? <laughs> That's a terrible idea. You've already saved the entire world from ruin. Why would you want to die? Because right now, you don't want us to Shut up, there. voice of paranoid. You keep doing this. You're right. I don't. <laughs> But if we've already saved the world... I'm wondering if Paranoid is going to come off like really super unagreeable, but at the end of the day be super like right. He, he was very helpful about uh, keeping us alive when she was shutting our organs down at least. I wonder if that's going to be the twist where like you should, obviously Paranoid was super hardcore like weird when you first come across him, but at the end of the day he's right. I mean, the narrator probably is secretly evil or something. The narrator is probably like a Cthulhu, like literally Cthulhu, like <laughs> with his gamer headset, like just talking to you from a distance. Yeah, and Lathotep is over there, just off, just off screen. <laughs> with giant tits. Being super sexy, you know what I'm saying? Doing the narrator voice. Yeah, that's that's what was happening. You just merge <laughs> that with a, whatever the f I was saying. I just do. I value life. Every life. Even yours. Especially yours. Why? Why? How dare you value my life? I hate you. But why? Bracket <laughs> is no mad dog killer. He is after something. <laughs> what do you mean, why? I think it's perfectly reasonable. You didn't value her life, although she was a world-ending monstrosity, so that's fair. Exactly. Why am I talking to you, a voice of the hero slash narrator <laughs> slash paranoid? She's dead. I did it. Roll the credits. Yeah, I did it. Where are my credits? It's not like it matters if I die. I'll just come back again. I've got the best company I could ask for. You guys, what more do I need? Sugar and carbs. Sugar and carbs. <laughs> I say as the parasite that I am. The primordial <laughs> parasite. Sugar and carbs. Sugar and carbs. Mmm, delicious. I love them. I love them. I slurp them up with my proboscis. <laughs> We have one, I, as as I, I have one of those. It's normal. I fold them out. It takes three separate action points <laughs> to do it. Am I not a creature of biology? Won't I starve or die of dehydration before forever happens? Hence the proboscis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> are you stuck here with us? Or are you capable of going other places? Am I a creature of, of biology? Am I? I mean, she wasn't starving or dying of dehydration before. Grim thought in it. In it. <laughs> in it. <laughs> but I suppose you're right. You are a creature of biology. Something will happen to you before forever comes along. We don't have to starve to death. You have our way out. No, we can't do that though. It's illegal. Yeah, that'd get us censored by you two. But we can't even speak it. We can't speak its name. Shut up, I say, <laughs> to the methods by which we could have our way out. <laughs> are you stuck here with us or are you capable of going other places? Stuck here with you. Oh. Feelings me. Love me knife ate the princess, simple as is. <laughs> At least we're all being... Simple as, I think, is the meme, actually. Love me, Emperor. Hey, Mizinos, <laughs> some blas. <laughs> Wide Space Marine says. Beat the game time. <laughs> I get it. You don't want us to die because you'd be lonely. How sweet. Damn, she's been dead for a while. <laughs> I'm not capable of being lonely. Okay. Oh, sure you are. Give it some time without us. <laughs> oh, sure you are. <laughs> Some time without us, and I'm sure you'll soft feel a is as the bit. But I've got the best company I could ask for. You guys, what more do I need? Oh, you could do a lot better than us. Exactly. You'll be fine here. Just, Just come up with a game. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I played 17 different iterations of 52 Pickup. <laughs> Where did I even get the cards here? What a boring life I live, you say, picking it up for the 18th time. <laughs> In this void of nothingness. <laughs> it's not like it matters if I die. I'll just come back again. The whole looping thing. How unfortunate. I did kill her the first time, and I, and I got a good ending. I don't like the way you Quote, unquote. 
<laughs> you knew this was a possibility, didn't you? I mean, obviously. Of course I did. Though, I'd rather hoped I was the first one. That explains a lot, though. Oh, you bastard. How much are you not telling us? Watch your fucking <laughs> mouth! In your best interest. I mean, it doesn't matter now, because I'm stuck in the void forever, so might as well tell me, right? Or <laughs> hell, oh boy. How could telling us your secrets possibly hurt anyone? It just can. Because, because I'll remember the player. Start over. For all you know, you're just putting another world in danger. You barely managed to land the killing blow here. What if you don't manage it next time? <sighs> I've already said too much, really. You won't get another word out of me on the subject. Uh, can you tell me your secrets now? No. No. What about now? How about now? Is it secret time? Capital N, zero, period, still, no! <laughs> I'm going to wear you down eventually. No, shut up! Stop asking! You haven't subscribed to that level of my subscription yet. <laughs> I'm going to wear you down eventually. You might as well spill those sweet, sweet secrets now. Then we'll have something else to talk about. You're not going to wear me down. Oh, we should ask him one more time. He's on the cusp of sharing secrets. <laughs> feel it. I'm not. Either way. At least needling him. <laughs> yeah, something to do. <laughs> a secret? The narrator ignores you. You can't just describe yourself. <laughs> he didn't do that. I can. Secret? The narrator <laughs> Shut up, I'm not going to tell you, Babaka, <laughs> says the narrator. Uh, wait. More time passes. You're still here. I sure am. More She's starting to stink. Passes. Gross. <laughs> You're still here. <laughs> Keep pressing that. I'm doing it. Time passes. You're still here. I don't think it's gonna change though. <laughs> no, do it forever. This is the rest of the let's play. Guys, welcome to Slay the Princess. We slayed her. Look at her, she's dead. We did it. Yeah, we did it. More time. More time. We're just passing time. Well, I guess I gotta take the blade. It's been like 80 years. I think maybe you <laughs> should take the blade from her body. You remove the blade from the princess. Swing! What exactly are you planning on doing? Just put it back and just stab her again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just thought I would look at it. It's kind of slightly different from everything else I've been looking at. I want to nibble on the edge to make sure it's sharp. Ooh, oh, my, oh, ouch. <laughs> Slay yourself, what the fuck? Why? Because that escapes the void. Yeah, but the void is cool, says the goth person watching this. Let's get rid of this, we don't need it. Uh, what are you doing? You tighten your grip and fling the blade as hard as you can. <laughs> we don't need this. It's fine. And we saved the day again. Stuck here forever. There's no way out now. Seems easy. Other than starving? Right, I mean... <laughs> oh, right, the starving. That's the thing that happens. You wait. And then you wait for a little while longer. <laughs> but eventually the thirst sets in. And the hunger. The darkness of this place prevents you from wholly grasping the context of passing time. But that doesn't stop it. Apparently, every time you kill her, it's like, well, you're stuck here forever now. It seems that way. Until I die and respawn. Whoops. Whatever, eventually I'll respond. <laughs> the vastness of your suffering can't be adequately put into words. We really shouldn't have tossed the blade. No, it's fine. Whoops. I'm fine with it. You really shouldn't have, but... By <laughs> As the player character, who cares what the actual <laughs> character thinks, right? Long before As the player, I don't have to feel it. Everything goes dark. And you die. Don't muck it up next time. The princess may be slain here, but she isn't slain. Well, then the fuck? What? Multiverse bullshit? <laughs> She's never slain then. Yeah, there's just. What's the point? There's just an infinite infinity of princesses, and I have to slay her in an infin infinity number of times. This means there's an infinity, infinite number of princesses you slain, plus. <laughs> Like the symbol plus oh. an infinite number of princesses you haven't slain. Also, uh, spider webs. This is looking slightly different than last time. And on and on and on and on and on. 
And on 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 and on. It should just go forever, like him just saying that in the background. It just gets stuck that way. And on 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 and on. We have a new voice now. We have the voice of the cold. What does it mean? Are you the cold? You ask the voice of the cold. And he's like, yes, I am the cold. There just has to be. What if we do what she asked us? Well, she would end the world then. We just let her leave. Okay. So you've already been here. More than Whoops, one. you've entered the third <laughs> dimension where she's a spider. Well, your chances of succeeding in slaying her is uh, mitigated to like half of a percent. <laughs> Whoops, oopsie doopsie dweeb. A spider is much harder to kill than a princess. She's got like eight legs. That's seven legs at least to prevent you from slaying her. That's six more legs than I got. One leg is needed to stand. That's why I said seven. <laughs> she can hold a gun and the other seven legs. Seven guns at once! You're fu- There's no way! <laughs> this is bullshit. This is broken. <laughs> may as well fight Dio at this point. <laughs> And they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop and coming. And I'm stop coming, and I'm sick. <laughs> then let me remind you how catastrophic it would be if you helped her leave in any way. If she gets out, the world ends, and everyone ends with it. Yourself included. Oh, threatening us with death, are we? And why should we be afraid of dying? We've already we have already done it twice. Every time you die, you get a new voice. Yeah, we're gonna have a whole a whole disco Elysium full of different thoughts when by the end of this. Give your money to the original creators of Disco <laughs> Elysium, whatever means that might be. And then we'll wake up on the floor in a hotel room, and it turns out we were him all the, this whole time. And it don't stop coming. 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 <laughs> Stop whispering sensually into my ear. <laughs> You're just Draxian to me. It, it does look a, li a little different this time. And then Bilbo comes by and is like, hey, check it out. I'm going to be super <laughs> cool for a minute. Oh, Bilbo. Oh, Balbo. I don't even remember that part of the book. <laughs> Have you read it? Uh... Like a long time ago, The Hobbit. Well, basically, he comes by and he just frees the dwarves from the <laughs> spider webs. He just slashes it. <laughs> he just does it. He puts the knife because he puts the ring on, so he's invisible. So he just slashes it with his knife, with his sword, and he just like, frees them. And it's really easy because he has the ring. <laughs> well, it turns out, fucking being invisible is really easy. It turns <laughs> out, actually. Her influence. I really should have said that. It'll make your task more difficult. How will that make my task more difficult? Always take that information as a sign of goodwill between us and do your job, all right? Great. Let's just hurry. Are you the same narrity we met on the other loops? You were quick to accept that we've been here before. We've killed her and been killed by her, and neither of those things have gone well for us. If we're going to fall through this... As... Go ahead. ...this loop forever, eventually we're going to let her out. We might as well do it now. Has this narrator been, uh, like, taken over by the princess? Mm, maybe. What happens if we don't go to the cabin? That's another option. There's something else I haven't tried. Turn around and leave. What happens if we don't go to the cabin? That's another option. She sounded like she couldn't get out without us, so... Standing around out here is the same as us letting her out. Only we don't have to see her. That's got to be better, right? <laughs> no, it's strictly worse. Shut up, hero. And why is that? Because it's cowardly. For some it's cowardly. Because the unknown is always worse than the known. But really, all you're doing right now is weighing to consider. I mean, seems like all of my options are pretty bad. The only solution worth considering is slaying her. Whatever delusion is holding you back from doing that is just that, a delusion. 
If you already Who cares, Jesus Spider now? Just slayer! Just stab her in the face! <laughs> I'm confused as to why this is a good this situation for you in every single iteration, says the narrator. You have a sword, you have a knife, just stab her. Just, just do it. Just God. Just God, slash, comma, do it. <laughs> God, comma, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the same narrator we met on the other loops? You are quick to accept that we've been here before. Suspiciously quick. Suspiciously quick is the paranoid. Yes and no. Yes and no. Is that supposed to be what the f- what? If it is, it's not very good. I haven't met you, but you've clearly met me. It sounds to me like you're hopping between parallel realities, in which case the me you just met here- If you'd ever listened to me the first time, says the narrator, <laughs> it'd been fine. I did, I killed her, and then I sat there forever. Yeah, but then you press new game again, <laughs> and then didn't listen to me like a dweeb. God! G-A-W-W-W-D, God! <laughs> God! <laughs> I'm not sure how we're supposed to kill him ourselves, but he's asking for it. <laughs> Maybe there's some way she can take care of him for us. Shut up, Maybe voice of the cold. Obvious antagonistic <laughs> voice. <laughs> Their baggage is my baggage, the narrator. We're the same person. I suggest you use it. Yeah, but you're increasingly fragmented as a personality. <laughs> we killed her and been killed by her and neither of those things have gone well for us if we're going to fall through this loop forever eventually we're going to let her out we might as well do it now you're making a dizzying amount of assumptions your perceived reality i agree does not mean it will continue to do so forever i mean it kind of sounds like it's going to from what you said those little voices have already drawn attention to the fact if you to kill the first time the world itself is at a tipping point Know that there is always a choice. Even if you were stuck in an infinite loop, there's no reason to assume that the mere nature of the infinite would force you to make any specific choice. You do have free will, as much as things would be easier if you didn't. And you can just keep making the correct choice forever, never deviate. That's the same thing as not having a choice as the narrator. Everyone is manipulating us, but we're starting to see the threads now. We just have to avoid getting tangled up in them. On second thought, let's not kill him. Let's throw him someplace that never ends. I mean, we did do that the last time. That did happen to him also. Sh Shut up, voice of the cold. About to see Bilbo come through and just start slashing away at those spider webs. <laughs> dwarves are going to start falling from the trees. <laughs> dwarves are just going to start tumbling out. Gonna be really awkward when I have to go like past the past them. I'm just gonna not make eye contact. Don't help. Just just keep <laughs> on going by. Uh, look, I got a world to save. They just got their own little shenanigans to be to be getting to. Little because they're all short. <laughs> <laughs> Proceed to the cabin. You continue down the path towards the cabin. Did you meet Nightmare last time? Is that the name of the character time? Was that who was? E maybe? We were in like a void. Yeah, there, there was a thing that talked talked about the Nightmare. Oh baby. I don't like any of our options here. It feels like we're being driven down the tracks to some awful inevitability. There must be something we're missing. Something that would make everything make Connect the lines, connect the lines, connect the lines, connect the lines, connect the lines. <laughs> yeah, none of our choices seem very good. We either don't do it and the world ends, or we do it and we get stuck in a repeating loop forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And that means your personal world ends, and that's the worst part because you're the one that has to deal with it. Maybe letting her out really is the answer. Shut up, paranoid. <laughs> Your name is literally Paranoid. <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen her end of the world yet. You don't see any traps. <laughs> Voice of the crack. I don't see any traps, you're right. Are you trying to use reverse psychology on me, or have you just given up? 
seriously no point in trying to reason with you right now, especially with all the use reverse psychology. I mean, you're just flirting with me right now, voice of the narrator. I'm um, both. Olivia. about letting her out. So yes, I'm done trying to argue. So we're letting her out then. Look at that. We won. Take it however you will. Oh well, here we go. The interior oh. cabin is long and dark. This is single narrow hallway stretching far different again. Curtains so breezy in here. <laughs> Narrator's like there is no mirror, shut up. Forward, fluttering helplessly as opposing gusts of wind rush and <laughs> he hasn't mentioned the mirror yet. <laughs> the only furniture of note is hmm. That's I'm gonna strange. look in the mirror. I'm gonna do it. What's strange? Is it the mirror? I'm gonna do it. The mirror? No, there is a mirror. <laughs> no, don't look at it. Don't reveal that you're a weird bird creature, man. It's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why is it? Of course they Oops, skipped that on accident. We're even talking over half of it anyway, so. This is why the... This is why I was kind of against the idea of it having voice acting, but whatever, it's fine. I mean, most people don't talk over it while playing it. <laughs> Time just turn off the voices. Just remove half of the game. <laughs> Blade or not, it doesn't really matter, does it? Your very encouraging voice of the cold. I'm gonna go look at that mirror. You should have had more of an Eeyore voice, voice of the cold. <laughs> just <an> Eeyore. <laughs> just really sad and depressed. Whatever. I guess it doesn't matter if we have a knife or not. Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> He's a little depressed sounding. Who cares? The gaping maw that awaits you. Your fraying nerves buzz with trepidation, the chill wind raising your hackles as it gently pushes you forward towards the darkness at the end of the hallway. You can't shake the She's just on the other side of the mirror, but she also can't see it, so I'm just walking towards her and she's like, What? Does he not see me? It's one way glass on the other side is just a police interrogation room. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do we feel like we're being watched? I hadn't noticed. At least you're admitting to it. There aren't any, like, spooky eyeballs in the everything anymore this time. You stop as you reach the end of the hallway. I presume in front of whatever mirror isn't happening there. <laughs> Does he actually not see it, or is he just lying, hardcore lying to us? Put on your big square nerd glasses, narrator. It's right here in front of me. <laughs> this is it. The mirror's going to go away, and she's going to startle us. Oh boy. Get ready for a jump scare. <laughs> Can't wait to be jump scared. Yep, there it goes. The glass of the mirror turns into some kind of mercury substance and starts spreading th from your finger <laughs> down to the rest of your body. Oh no. Oh no. I don't. I, that, that's not good, I think. Maybe this is good, actually. You're going to scream and it's going to get real digitized and you're going to wake up and be like, whoa, that was weird. <laughs> Helplessly staring into the void. I'm glad I made a lasting impression. I mean, I was trying to see how beautiful I am, but I guess that's not happening this time. I thought the ellipses were like three glowing blinking eyes. <laughs> oh, she grew a third one at some point. Watch your fucking mouth. Language voice of the hero. <laughs> you feel something long and frigid coil around your ankle. Your heart skips a beat, standing in muted shock for one long, frozen moment. And then it... She, the princess, constrains. Now hold on a second. That doesn't feel like my organs shutting down. What is this? Ow! I need that. Radiates up from the break. A deep cold flooding your veins as your legs, numb with the shock of it, collapse. And you collapse with. Well, I'm dead again. I'm not dead again. Hey, bird feet. No, I need my bird feet. Her grin carved jagged from ear to ear. Crowded with far too many long... You're looking slightly different again this time, princess. She's gonna unhinge your jaw and swallow you like a snake. Be careful. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's not gonna be pleasant for her though, because you're a bird. You have a lot of like pointy bits on you. <laughs> I mean, look at those toes. It gets halfway, then you just get stuck and she dies. And it's like, this is the <laughs> dumbest way for this game to have ended. <laughs> uh, I mean, she died several times before. Then I also need to die and we'll just restart and... Pretend that never happened, I guess. Yeah, but she started feet first, you're just kind of stuck there, and you're like, well, this is awkward. <laughs> like halfway out. <laughs> you killed me last time, and that was after you tried to lock me away forever. I was so, so close. 
close to freedom. But then he took my body over. I mean... Do you remember that time that I kicked open the door and then I just like did a pirouette off the wall and smushed you with a hammer? <laughs> you we were like, he couldn't even get a word out. That was really funny. Uh, uh, no, I blocked out that memory, actually. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. And then she goes back in a pancake form because she's like, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> it just squishes. Oh, well, that was easy this time. <laughs> wow, every path you solve it by just reminding her that she's supposed to be a cartoon pancake now. Going to walk it out of here. Mm, does it work that way? Can you do that? <laughs> it looks like she has like a tea bag tag like hanging out of her mouth right now. Is that just me? Like on her chin? Uh, it looks like there's a little packet tag hanging out. Oh, yeah, that line there. <laughs> I don't know why that of all things is what I noticed. <laughs> well, look at her winning smile. I'm looking at the fact that you tried to eat a tea bag. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> uh, look, she didn't have any water, but she wanted tea. I'll just let it sit in my mouth and I'll suck on it. <laughs> Ew. No, it's fine. You get to watch me do it. Completely helpless. Just like you left me. So I'm like a bird person, right? I appear to not be wearing pants. Uh... I was about to say you aren't wearing pants. <laughs> she clearly hates us. <laughs> um, She's going to put you in the most killer figure four if you're not careful. <laughs> I'm going to have to tap out. It's going to be awful. She's going to hold a mic to your face and say, just say I quit. Just say it. Just say you quit. It's going to be so embarrassing. I'll lose the title for sure. No, I'm going to have to leave for like a whole <laughs> month. I'll lose custody. <laughs> yeah, you're going to lose custody of Dominic. <laughs> And turn off the part of you that feels things. Can you do, can you do that, paranoia? We can't let her get too much control. <laughs> we have the best chicken wings. She's going to love them. But but th those are attached to my body. I need those. That's why we don't want. Were you not paying attention? This is voice of the cold and paranoid and the narrator at once. You don't tolerate pain. I don't know if that's how that works. Uh, voice of the cold. Yes. That's what it does. That's the definition. So is she just quietly staring at you this whole time while you're just having this inner monologue? While we're having, while we're talking to ourselves, yes. She's very polite about it. She can also see the subtitles, but it's backwards for her. She's like, man, it's really hard for me to read this way. <laughs> she's just squinting at it, trying to read it backwards. <laughs> like tapping her chin, she's like, hmm. Do we need to explain to you why pain is <laughs> You need to explain to yourself why it isn't. Look, we're even now. You killed me, and then I killed you. Water under the bridge, right? I never wanted to hurt you. I don't even know how I got here. I'm a victim in all this, too, you know. Wouldn't possess possessing me against my will make, make you no better than me? You don't have to be evil. You don't have to do this. No, I can fix her. <laughs> do you need to take my body? Can't I just open the door for you? Well, that's fine, actually. I came here to free you. Hmm... Hmm. Choose wisely time. <laughs> I can fix her. I can fix her. This looks extremely fixable right here. I can fix her once <laughs> I fix my leg. Look, we're e we're even now. You killed me and then I killed you. Water under the bridge, right? You forgot something. Like the part where all this started when you left me to languish in a pit all by myself. Did I do that? Something so much worse. And it's all Did I do that? I guess we locked her in the basement, but she was like banging on the door and trying to kill us, so. Yeah, dumbass, it's supposed to be a pull open door. <laughs> Idiot. There's no going back to fix it now. You can either look on in horror or celebrate my freedom. But either you did also trap me in an infinite void forever. Forever took a while, too. It was a long time. It was very boring. It was a long time. I didn't have anything to read. The narrator was being a jerk about telling me things, so it was frustrating also. He ran through his dialogue options like nine times. <laughs> I'm a victim in all this too, you know. And sometimes victims become the same as their victimizers. Just because someone hurt you doesn't mean you get a free pass. Funny how she says that like it's a bad thing when it's exactly what she's doing right now. <laughs> 
tells me pointing out the irony wouldn't do much. It, it, it's almost like she's evil or something. You should be grateful that I still have a use for you. Being mine is more than you deserve, really. Enough talking. We'll have plenty of time for chit chat once this place is far behind us. And then it fades out, and then fades back in, and you're just like in an oversized cage as her pet bird, and you're like, God damn it. <laughs> Not again. We're at the McDonald's. Yes, she's having herself a Big Mac, but it's just out of reach. Just out of reach. No, I want it. Oh, no. Why do you tempt me so? <laughs> at least give me a French fry or two. We can't give that to you. It's really bad for birds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but a Big Mac would be fine. <laughs> Well, whatever, it's fine. You can pick the pickles out of it or something. <laughs> I don't know. Can, uh, birds can probably eat french fries. It's just greasy is the problem. Oh, your... Your, your torso is uh, not doing so great. Well, at least she can't eat you. <laughs> this is the other... She still tries to swallow you like a snake, but, like, she doesn't have a stomach, so you just come out the other side and you're like, well... <laughs> just fall out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Torso stretches until her face is practically touching yours. Boop, boop, beep, beep. <laughs> Are you sure you can't do anything to help us? Can't you, like, manifest a rock? Can you manifest a rock on top of her head? What if I just, like, pull her hood down over her eyes? What is she gonna do then? Uh, she's gonna have to shake her head because she's using her <laughs> arms to keep herself up. And she's like, well, I can't just let myself flop over. That looks stupid. <laughs> Not like this. I see that she slurps that tag into her mouth like a spaghetti noodle. And just... uh, she was embarrassed that we noticed it, so she she had to very quickly uh, swallow it. Okay. Beep. Deep. Beep. It's fine. Is there any conceivable way that this is fine? Yeah, I'm right. This is fine. It's better than last time. At least our organs aren't failing. At least I can actually talk. Our organs aren't failing, which is a plus. She's really taking her time, or you have bullet bullet time and you don't make very good use of it. <laughs> Just to think. I slow down all the situations where I'm already screwed, and it's like, well, now I get to watch this <laughs> in slow motion. Uh, the the thankfully I have the peanut gallery to to occupy my time when I'm in here. Oh jeez. Your vision Blah. tears open the membrane of your soul. That's unfortunate. What if I don't wanna? Five more minutes. You say reaching over and like bonking on the head like she's an alarm <laughs> clock. Just no snooze. She just falls over unconscious and like little little tiny birdies swirling around her head. Wrong. No, it's not time for school yet. If I just pretend to be asleep, maybe they'll just let me sleep in and then we just won't go to school. <laughs> my tummy feels bad today. I don't want to go. I put my face against the back, like, the back end of the CRT TV. Look how much of a fever I'm running. It's rather rude to show up in somebody else's body and boss it around. <laughs> boss it around. They really do remind me of the, the Disco Elysium thoughts. Yeah. Did I do that? I'm pretty sure I didn't do that. We were gonna let you out of it. That's the whole reason we marched all the way back up to the cabin. Were we? What an idiot. I was. I know you were, but you Sorry, can you speak up? You're a little muffled in there. I can't hear you. Are those supposed to be? Nobody should be able to be judge, <laughs> jury, and executioner. You mean like we were doing the whole time? <laughs> yeah. You're, you're mumbling a bit, princess. <laughs> We weren't always like this. We, I've always been like. This. <laughs> Thanks, voice of the cold. Oh, we don't have to let her out. I've been storing up a little bit. <laughs> is is that how Will works? 
Is that why I've been so tired lately? <laughs> you jerk. Why do you have these strange powers over, like, my being voice of the paranoid? Uh, no, don't wanna. Slumped against the wall, trapped between the princess's overwhelming will and the blinding pain of your splintered ankle, takes an excruciating step towards the cabin door. The movement is stiff, your body reduced to a marionette, pulled reluctantly along by your strings. She, she should have tried to make you walk forward, but you take one step on that broken angle, you just flop back to the ground. She's like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Being able to make me not, like, how uh, the pain not like matter it doesn't help when the ankle is broken and the foot it won't work no throw your body into the abyss In a do a triple flip five star frog splash into the <laughs> abyss <laughs> just keep going until you hit something I'm doing it you can't stop me you're not my real mom <laughs> Struggle over the range you try to throw yourself out the window, but all you do is rip your own skeleton out, <laughs> and then it stops midair, and he's like, "Whoops!" Oh, I think I needed that. Blat! <laughs> jumps out, and it does like a little cartoony run in the air before it's like, "Oh!" And then it like looks down and just falls down in a little puff of smoke, <laughs> just in a little pile. Little zip sound. <laughs> We're putting in everything we have. We have. Uh, I'm giving it all she's got, Captain. <laughs> You're thinking too much about your body. It's just a body. Which one specifically is Voice of the Cold reminding me of? Uh, wait, what do you mean? Of the Disco Elysium voices. It sounds a lot like one, but I'm not sure which one I'm thinking of. Well, there's the one that's the, um, the limbic system, I think is what you're thinking of. Yeah, it's got that same kind of, like, sound to it. <laughs> It's uh, the limbic system is more whiny though. This one's more detached. I believe the limbic system, guys. <laughs> the limbic system. One, two, three. And a one, and a two, <laughs> and a. Ah, I see. The best plan: we get her caught up in a musical number, and we just dance over there. Fool! I'm the one puppeting you. This is my flash mob. <laughs> everything you have against her and manage for one brief moment. I got an achievement called the Exorcist 3. But that moment was all you needed. Your foot slips a few inches and you collapse forward. The darkness. No we I never saw Exorcist 3, so I don't know what the reference is for that one. Yeah, I don't know what what that's about either. <laughs> I know in the first one he throws himself out of a window. Unheated. Spoilers for The Exorcist, that fresh, hot new movie that just dropped. At least somebody finds this amusing, I guess. I guess someone's having a good time. We actually did it. Yes, we've really shown them all, haven't we? And now we get to slowly starve to death again. Yay! Meh. <laughs> Once you've done it once, it loses its zing. <laughs> what happens now? But I want to know what he thinks happens now. Where has the narrator been so far? Did he check out? <laughs> he might have left. Wasn't he like, whatever, dweeb, and then he just <laughs> left, like, you don't listen to me anyway. <laughs> This is just you and you and you and me. <laughs> Rude. Dweeb. Nerd. Hi. Okay, bye. Where's the voice acting? Where is the voice acting? Uh, Read time. Terminal velocity ceases, and you feel a something, a mass, a growth, torn out of you. You and the princess look at each other for a short moment. Unless this is the true narration of the game. Oh, because the narrator's gone. He left. There's no voice acting for him. Whoops. <laughs> oh, what? She wasn't expecting this? What's oh. happening? Hello. I'm falling in love with you, Babaka. Whoops. Well, she got a very, very snug hug. Get regged, dweeb. 
<laughs> this game's easy. But you don't answer her before something takes her and leaves something in her place. You feel a force underneath your feet once more. Am I standing, apparently? Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. I'm gonna look in the mirror. Why now? I don't know where she went. I don't know how we'd even go about looking for her. The narrator is gone. I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. The narrator is gone. Does that mean the world ended? I mean, we didn't let her outside, I think, yeah. so... You threw yourself out of a window, Time. I thought we threw ourselves into a void, uh, like... Out of a window. Uh, I don't know. Unless I'm wrong. Was it not through a window? Was there some kind of, like, bit that I didn't notice? It was a little bit unclear, I think. I also feel itchy, cold, <laughs> kind of sore in the legs, a little hungry. I mean, my my ankle is still shattered, so there's that. Find myself a little anxious and nervous about my. I'm gonna lose my gotcha week weekly streak. <laughs> we don't get back home soon. Oh no, my phone! It's not gonna have enough charge for this. I don't get signal here. I don't know where she went, and I don't know how we'd even go about looking for her. She's gone. It's just us and that. Awful thing. It's just a mirror. God, mirrors are so ugly, am I right? It's like, no. It, no, what? I hate them. They're evil. Every time I look at it, I just, I just disgusting. It's just disgusting every time. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. I don't think you should. Am I going to see the expression in there? Not in a good way. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm looking in the mirror. No, I'm looking. I'm doing it. The mirror never scared you before. Oh, final. Be careful, you might finish the game. <laughs> you approach the mirror. <laughs> Gaze into your reflection. <laughs> Look, I just gotta practice for when the princess comes back. <laughs> I'm going to fix her this time, guys. Come on. <laughs> the silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's Screech. time for you to see what's in it. <laughs> Screech. Yeah. Just claw it up real good. Oh, I can't see through it. It's broken. It's me. I got an achievement called the body that, had, that said it's you. It's you. It's you. You are alone in a place that is empty. It's quiet here. Proceed to the cabin. Oh. Uh. Oh no, she's gone Super Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> Just wow, 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 whatever that sound is. Just energy waves. Is that big like fire or aura or whatever behind her? It appears to be made out of hands. Gross. You are at the cabin. You better start whirlwinding some high fives as you get closer. <laughs> I'm gonna, my hands are going to be so sore after this. Well, you've got like bird hands. So they're bonier. You can last a while. And you've got that like leathery skin. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to slap the hell out of their hands, though. <laughs> they're going to really feel it. I got the claws, too. So they, be, so they better be careful. No, oh, he's got a hard counter to us. Everybody flee, <laughs> flee. And they scurry off into the wilderness. <laughs> they just all crawl away. And she's like, God damn it. Approach her. Hi, princess. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe she's not in control here at the moment. <laughs> How does it feel? Not great, she says. I apologize for earlier. <laughs> if I'd known how, how bad this was, I wouldn't have done it. I probably still would have, but... You know. <laughs> What are you? I'd just be sorry about it this time if I did it again. <laughs> I'd feel bad. Yeah, I'm the one. It hurts me more than it hurts you. <laughs> the gift of a fragile vessel. Is this the end of the world? Let her out of there. Nah, f*** her. Leave her. <laughs> Do you know the narrator? Dork. Do a Fortnite dance as you leave. <laughs> just Fortnite, Fortnite dance away into the infinite void. <laughs> Just do a shuffle away. <laughs> Are you what sent me to slay, slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? Are you the princess? 
Are you a princess? Are you, more importantly, a single princess? <laughs> Who's your dad that's a king? <laughs> yeah, answer that first before you answer my other question. Do we know each other? What happens now? Attack the entity or destroy your body, okay? Yeah, take that last one, just give up. Remember, kids, <laughs> just give up. Are you the princess? That isn't really an answer. But were you always the princess, or are you just making her a part of yourself? They should do the talky things, but accidentally close it on their finger once. And be like, ah, ah, <laughs> ignore that, traveler. The hand pulls it back and, like, shakes. <laughs> ah, it sticks the hand back into the princess's mouth so that they can suck on it. Ah, jeez, ah, ouch. <laughs> the one here on the eye, like, accidentally sticks it in the nose a little bit. Ew, gross, get out of there. You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? I mean, kind of. Man, she's set up for the craziest of f***ing German suplexes right now. <laughs> just finish the dialogue option and she just suplexes her. Snaps the spine just completely in half. <laughs> what are you? I am solitary life. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> <laughs> The voice is not actually coming out of her. She's just doing the mouth flaps for just because. <laughs> Dang, you just hear the teeth like clicking together. Just <laughs> <laughs> solitary lights. What do you mean? Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. Are you Revachol? Oh my god. We're going to keep coming back to Disco Elysium. It's fine. Yeah, go buy Disco Elysium, guys. <laughs> or if they don't have it, find alternate means, as I mentioned before. <laughs> I don't know what I am. I think that you are like me. I, I don't have that many hands, though. We are oceans. Reducing One of them Baxter's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> the gift of a fragile vessel. Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. This one is loneliness turned to seething. She could not find her strength in others, so she found it in herself. She was gonna end the world, supposedly. For a driven heart. Thus we give her the nerd glasses, <laughs> and they just slowly lower a pair. The the hands, like, go off the eyes and the glasses are underneath there already. Oh my god, the glasses were inside you all along, princess. <laughs> the nerd was always in your heart, princess. Look, because of your character, you're just scrolling on your phone. Like, uh -huh. <laughs> She's not paying attention at all. <laughs> Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended? As you know it. I mean, we are in an infinite void, so... Alright, do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna press X to doubt on that one. <laughs> press X again to apologize. <laughs> Nothing comes here but us. Hmm. Let me out of here. <laughs> Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. Uh-huh. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. Mm, don't know if I believe that. But do you know about the worlds beyond this place? What can you tell me about the Reapers? <laughs> what can you tell me about the Reapers? Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope as I witness you. Mostly the sadness, though. <laughs> Whenever I witness you, it's like, oh. It makes me really sad to look at you. <laughs> I mean... I saw myself in the mirror. It was pretty saddening. 
I couldn't even look at my face. I had to cover it while I was looking in the mirror. <laughs> I was like, no, oh God, not again. What happens now? Nothing as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us and that we are meant to reach them. Okay. You do have a lot of hands for reaching stuff with. That's probably pretty useful, actually. There is no exit. But this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget if only you believe her to be able to. Hmm. Bring me more perspectives so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will Mm. Oh, it's just the thing where it's all like, go do all the roots, shut up, go away, go do more of the game. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? How much will I forget? How many more pieces of you do I have to find? And what if I don't let you do this to me? I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? Yeah, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape. Oh, shut up. So, so that's a yes then. I'm calling the cops, you say. <laughs> you were, you're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? I just pull out my phone in the infinite void and dial 911. <laughs> just holding it up, like trying to get a signal. You're like, oh, you're screwed once I get a bar. You're so screwed. I just start wandering off into the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers and something's broken. Hmm. Eliminated. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. Hmm. Not believe in a single thing this thing says. This is lying to you. <laughs> How many more pieces of you do I have to find? Fully reassemble me, Traveler, so that I can fully charge up my energy blast. <laughs> and then you'll have to fight the final boss. There's like a giant energy ball, like, like Frieza summons, <laughs> like, right above you. She's like, just don't look up. Don't don't pay attention to that. Shut up. Give me more souls. Pay attention. No attention to the light that's up there. That's normal. It's fine. Pay no attention. It's fine. It's hard not to pay attention to it. It's the only light here. And what if I don't let you do this to me? I mean, I'll presumably starve to death again at some point. <laughs> I'm not going back. Wait, how much will I forget? Everything until we meet again. Hmm. Unlock the other endings, Dork. No, I don't wanna. If you need time, then I'll wait with you. Jokes on you, Dork. This is also an ending. You're feeding me a soul. <laughs> wait forever. Hey, I've done it before. It's fine. You get used to it. I this is a long game. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Forever, huh? Forever. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Forever. <laughs> Forever. An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cape. Yeah, I get it. The <laughs> ending is the beginning of the end of the beginning is the end. The beginning is the end. Because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. Whoop. The game Whoops. closed. <laughs> <laughs> you get out uh, she exited the game okay <laughs> no no uh, just monica just monica <laughs> just monica just monica you have returned to me oh though you were gone mere moments i never left your son i'm back here already it just started on this hey there sailor <laughs> okay make me forget Okay, just look at this little red light. <laughs> you won't. Everything goes dark and you die. Well. Oh no, she shoved me over and I was made of porcelain. I can't believe she figured that out so quickly. Chapter one, the hero and the princess. Oh, baby. In the woods. And at the end of that path, 
He's a the end is the beginning of 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 the end. He's a princess. I, I got an achievement just then called the real slay the princess starts here. So <laughs> the real princesses we slew were the friends we made along the way. Well, what if I can make friends with the princess? That'd be neat. Probably. It's probably like half the endings where you're just like, hey, let's team up. And she's like, OK, and one of these endings will team up and the other two. You're just going to be like a puppet that I eat or something. <laughs> yeah. I know I just ruined the surprise for you by saying that to you right to your face, but whoops. Your Can't believe we're still trying to slay this princess. You did it in the first episode time. <laughs> I did slay the princess immediately. <laughs> you did it really good. Narrator's right there. What are we talking about? He never left. He's fine. He's back now. It's fine. No, he's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, uh, we've seen these before. What if I just don't? Hey, he runs. <laughs> Forget it. I'm not doing this. I'm going to that McDonald's. I haven't had a Big Mac in like two forevers now. <laughs> in years. K killing a princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? I think we've seen this uh, dialogue we've before. Seen this. Actually. Yes, we've seen. Well, uh, can't someone else do this? I don't think we did this one. Unfortunately, you're the only one who can pull this off. I don't make the rules. I wish I did, but I don't. The narrator's probably like part of that entity at the end. Probably. How many hands do you have, the narrator? But shut up, hand phobe. What does it matter? <laughs> who cares? He said, hiding many, many hands behind his back. A whole cape of hands. <laughs> Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants what if I do? I don't consider what you want, <laughs> idiot. Get back to work. Very, very easy. You want to get paid someday, right? <laughs> You're paying me? Right? Someday, right? <laughs> uh, just turn around and leave. Bye. See ya. Can't hear you browsing McDonald's menu on my phone. I get bars out here. <laughs> I'm going to the McDonald's, obviously. <laughs> okay, fine. You're persistent. I'll go to the cabin and I'll slay the princess. Ugh. Yes, I definitely know where I'm going. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll go to the cabin and I'll talk to the princess. Maybe I'll slay her. Maybe I won't. I guess we'll see. Yes, I am definitely know where I'm going. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I did. <laughs> uh, nope. The only thing that matters is where I'm not going. The cabin. I'm not going to the cabin. It's like I said, I'm pretty OK with the world ending. I relish the coming of a new dawn beyond our own. Quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Don't say anything, but let him hear this bleep bloops of your gotcha game. <laughs> nope. Fine. No, I suppose you just quietly continue <laughs> down the path away from the cabin. Uh, yep. Good. What we're being asked to do here is really high voice of the hero. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's <laughs> talking about. I hope the voices in your head get into a slap fight. It looks like this hmm. You just like hear them tussling in the background, like away from the microphone. How convenient. Everything back on <laughs> just all three of them. There's like stuff getting knocked over. You hear vases breaking in junk. <laughs> Multiple vases being broken. Uh, where, where, where was I even keeping those inside of my my brain? What? After the first one breaks, they stop for a second. Like, oh god, nobody tell mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going into the cabin. Sheesh. Turn around again and leave again. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? <laughs> it's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies, forever. Well, I've been through two of those already, so who cares? I've already died like three times and it hasn't been forever, so it's fine. I don't care. I'm not killing a princess. Good. Maybe everyone should die. It's what they get for dumping me in the woods and asking me to kill someone for them. You're not emotionally blackmailing me into doing this. Quietly continue down the path. You're not emotionally blackmailing me into doing this. Consequences aren't emotional blackmail. Facts of life, and if you had an ounce of maturity, you'd understand. You got any proof that she's gonna destroy the world? But fine. Yeah, oh, oh, that's what we designed her to do. You have to stop her. <laughs> Why did you design her to do that, narrator? This feels like an irrelevant question to the situation at hand. You should just do what we ask you to do. Now, I'm not normally 
one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say... Go over there and you look underneath the house and you're like, Umbrella! <laughs> confrontation with the princess. And narrator, does the universe consist entirely of this woods and this cabin? There's no fighting this, is there? I have to go into the cabin, don't I? Fine. Oh yeah? Well, I guess I... I guess I start walking in a different direction again. In fact, I'm going to just keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this place. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making. Oh, the music stopped. One for yeah. Everyone who's what was? As well as <laughs> whoever will. How many people is that narrator? At least one. <laughs> in you. Hmm. <laughs> You see the glow of or yellow arches. <laughs> it lights ah. up the wilderness in front of you. Finally. Oh, a choir of angels begin to sing. <laughs> Good end. <laughs> like another crayon drawing, but this time it's just a McDonald's. <laughs> With the McDonald's, yeah. <laughs> but as you focus mm. on your surroundings, you start to realize that those That's just slightly unusual. Light. Well, there's at least six endings then. You just see one of them oh. like a go up. Whoops, man, this game's a lot longer than I thought. And not just a cabin, the cabin, an infinite. Yeah, starting to think of the universe consists entirely of me, the princess, the narrator, and the cabin. Wait, what's going on? But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins. Oh, uh, you shouldn't have come out to this these woods <laughs> completely fucked <laughs> on DMT, kid. <laughs> It's <laughs> just hallucinating in the woods the whole time. <laughs> You've doomed us all. You know that, right? But of course. Who is us all, narrator? How many people is that? In search of certain death. You lose track of just how <laughs> you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't <laughs> long before the world ends and everyone dies. Chapter two: The Stranger. You did it. I did it. You escaped killing the princess. <laughs> I did it. Oh, there's a. You find yourself within the biodome. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's biodomed me. Oh, I hate getting biodomed. It's like getting <laughs> mazed, but biodomed is worse. You're here because you have to deal with Polly Shore running around. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. At least Tenacious D will be here for like two minutes. <laughs> Like in the background, that's gonna be cool. You aren't kidding, she actually ended the world last time, didn't she? What the hell is she? Oh, you bastard, you're in for it now, I'm wise to your tricks. But I died. <laughs> the whole world ended, what am I doing here? Uh, those walls weren't there last time, you can't just force me to go to the cabin. <laughs> Lie, yep, okay, heading to the cabin now, or I'm definitely going to slay the princess. Watch well, this be like a futuristic setting where you're literally <laughs> in like a, a hollow deck. <laughs> The captain comes in and he's like, well, you, you really got to stop doing these really weird scenarios in here. It's, it's creeping everybody else out. You know, there's like three canonical episodes where they have to tell somebody to stop doing that. <laughs> Do right? they? There are, there are a couple episodes where there's a guy who keeps causing the holodeck to like make iterations of the commanding crew. <laughs> but he's like making it so that all the women worship him. And, jump, and they're oh. like, you, gotta, you, you really got to You got to stop doing this. It's weird. Uh, you, you, you are banned from the holodeck now. Sorry. <laughs> he, like, kicks Riker's ass every time he goes in there. <laughs> if I can't run away from the cabin, then I'm just staying here in the woods forever. Uh, but I died. The whole world ended. What am I doing here? I can assure you that you're not dead and that the princess has yet to end the world. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. And to answer your question, you're here to save. <laughs> I literally told you that a second ago. If it's on the box. It's best to keep it that way. It was on the big magnetic lock sealed door that you came through when you came into the biodome. It said slay the princess. It said slay the princess. Do it. You signed the contract, the NDA. Do it. <laughs> we have a voice of, a, of the contrarian now. Uh-oh. The entire world ending wasn't enough to get rid of us. I don't think there's much he can do other than object. I wonder what else we can do. Yeah, what else can we do to ruin his day? Maybe we should just let the princess slay us, says the contrarian. <laughs> yeah, what if we do that? I mean, she did do that several times the last time. Yeah, but this time we let her do it. <laughs> the world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. Mm, doubt. The world hasn't ended yet. 
but you are never going to slay her with that attitude. <laughs> Stuff those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task ahead. Those walls weren't there last time. You can't just force me to go back, go to the cabin. What are you talking about? I'm sure those walls have always been there. It makes sense <laughs> if you think about it. If there weren't any walls in the woods, someone might have gotten lost. Or, heaven forbid, <laughs> someone other than you might have stumbled onto the princess. Are there other someones in this world, narrator? I can't wait for you to finally escape and you find out that you've been the star of a reality TV show since you were born. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I've been Truman Showed. Whoops. Uh, yep, okay, heading to the cabin now where I'm definitely gonna slay that princess. You know I can tell when you're lying, <laughs> Please take this seriously. I am begging you. Oh boy. Here I go killing again. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> she will lie. She will cheat. And she will do everything. And she'll steal, right? You from slaying her. And she's gonna get Dominic. <laughs> she's gonna win custody. <laughs> win custody. If we're stuck going in there, maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. Ignore him. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. Let's keep an open mind. But what if I want to go back? I want to go back in the woods and stay there forever. No, the McDonald's is beyond the cabin. But there's a wall. Hello. Whoops. <laughs> cabin interiors, That's different. What's almost the same space. <laughs> it's all shifted. An inch here, a foot there, such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. The only furniture of note is a plain table. Its legs all the wrong length. Oh, they are. <laughs> it's material devoid of feature. This is fine. Is a pristine blade. At least the blade is still pristine, I guess. The blade is your implement. Uh, jiggle the table until it falls into the void. <laughs> just get that knife to... Just have the knife fall straight down and, like, stab the princess before you even get there. She's like, oh, god, oh, oh my god, wow. <laughs> it just falls through the floor into the basement and stabs her. And just hear your squeal and that's it, and the credits roll. <laughs> I did it. Good end. Good as a knife against a world-ending monstrosity anyway. Taking the knife. But what about that mirror? What if I want to look in that mirror? There is no mirror. Shut up. <laughs> I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this? I thought we exterminated those. <laughs> what is she princess of? You can't just say that. But when everything here is so wrong. It looks very good and correct. Listen to my job is to describe facts as facts and to guide you through your job, which is to slay the princess and through that action, save the entire world. And if you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> the voice in my head doing the little hand in front of the mouth laugh thing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, because you're going to pull yourself together. What if I don't wanna? The stressful what if I don't wanna? Stay calm. Princess of Pris Princess Dumb from Princess. What is she? Just from a planet where their species is called princesses. She, she's just the princess. She's a princess. Perhaps it, there actually is a princess world. So you're just gonna have she actually was a gray alien. That's why her eyes are like that. Gross, <laughs> ill. <laughs> Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. I kind of like you, voice at the contrary, and you're much better than those other voices. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. <laughs> it isn't hard. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. Good. Now, whenever you're ready... We're pat, pat. Pat, pat. <laughs> very important task. Bum. I'm gonna go look at the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. <laughs> it's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. Yeah, it's a mirror. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of. I wanna look in the mirror. And it's gone. Reach forward and rub your hand again. <laughs> Screech! <laughs> Hey, narrator, will you get annoyed if I keep doing this? Screech! I know it's still there, narrator. You can't fool me. I can hear it screeching. 
I'm just clawing the mirror up. There was a mirror a second ago. Now it's gone. You know that taking the mirror away from us isn't going to change things, right? We'll find it again, and then we'll see whatever it yeah. is we don't want us to see. Mm. 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 Eh, we're just going to leave it. The door oh. to the basement creaks open. Revealing a web of branching staircases. You see Cloud run by on the upside down <laughs> stairs. <laughs> he, he too is on the way to the McDonald's. Examine your surroundings, the more oh, you gotta get to this McDonald's in the middle of this ancient temple. Making <laughs> sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let alone down. The air here has a sickening. Try to go down, but slip on the first step and just roll the whole way. <laughs> the camera stays here and it just sees you go like across all of them in turn. But never like actually falling off of them. You just kind of roll and then go off screen. Yeah, and that's then what come I meant. You from. just follow it like it's on a track and you just see them coming across each one in turn. <laughs> you like go off screen over here and like come back on over here. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice. A disquieting collage of tone and personality drags up the stairs. From where? Hello? Disquieting oh. collage of tone and personality this time. Are you here to kill? Kill? No. No, thank you. <laughs> Are you here to murder, death, kill? <laughs> I might be here to murder, death, kill. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but... I don't want to do this. Let's just turn around and leave. This feels wrong. This feels like a trap. Like whatever we do. I mean, probably. It's happened before. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. I could go back to the woods and just stand there forever. Again. Again. <laughs> and what's that? That the fate of the world hinges on your success? Nah. Plenty of ways. Yeah. <laughs> Take the harsh stairs to the left. Take the center staircase. Take the soft stairs to the right. Hmm, choices. What do you think? Why not all? Begin rolling. Uh, we're gonna go to the harsh stairs. Whoops. Ah, oh, these ones bite me every time I take a step. <laughs> Ouch. Ow. Ow. He says, getting quieter the further along he goes. It's just slowly down the stairs. Ow, ow, ow. The air around oh. you is cold the further you progress. At first, a barely noticeable drop, quickly evolving into a numbing cold. Your toes feel like blocks of ice. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, it's really starting to hurt now. Ow. Ah, oh, that was rough. <laughs> down the stairway, losing yourself in the bone deep chill. It's getting a little extreme. Oh, hello, what? You slowly lose sense of yourself the further you go. Uh. Time disappears. Okay. You can feel yourself begin to untether. Uh huh. Physical sensation. Oh no, the game's being <laughs> demade in front of us. <laughs> oh no, they ran out of money. No. <laughs> Continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. Consumption and betrayal. Oh. Skepticism and blind devotion. Uh -huh. Rivalry and submission. Okay. Terror and longing. Pain and unfamiliarity. And at the heart of it all, an emotion that can only be described as. Are you just going to stand there? Oh, hi, Princess. You've been standing there staring at me for like 20 minutes. I spaced out a little bit there. I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different. <laughs> Also, still the same person I was at the top of the stairs. That doesn't sound very contrarian of you. I mean, it kind of does, but... <laughs> it's not stylistic. Her eyes just glow in the dark. <laughs> They're just like that, yeah. Well, that was a trip, but now it's over. Time to get back to our old devilish <laughs> ways. The princess. Eyes bright, but otherwise... They actually are. <laughs> yeah, see? ...from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. Hey, you want anything from McDonald's? And, uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself on the way down. You're here to... He's just... Oops. 
He's just being a hacker. <laughs> we member, you member, we member. <laughs> well, I'm still not sure if we should trust this mother hacker. Let's talk to her for a bit. Try and get our bearings. She seems normal. Other than the glowing eyes, but that's fine. Other than her freakishly huge, disgusting glowing <laughs> eyes. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was here. Seen that one. Getting down here was weird. Like I was pulled apart and put back together again. Do you know what happened to me? What? Like oh, you light. Hold your hand to tell you everything's okay. You're not really cut out for this, are you? Why are you even here? I don't know. A guy just kind of told me to do this. Probably oh. Stuck down here forever, aren't we? There's no way. Is out. there not a way out? Really Hello. Can. As the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. Hmm. There was once just one of her. There is now another. That's normal. We can do that. <laughs> we can do that. Poke the first one with the pointy bit at the top of the second one. Boop. Just get her. Slayer. I can't, I can't get. I can't get. I can't quite Slayer. reach. I can't. I can't. Branding block. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can can we put her back? You said you'd been here before, right? What exactly happened last time? Does it matter? Yes, it matters. But I'm not going to waste any more time prying out details if you're going to be so irritating about it. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. But what's done is done, isn't it? Whatever you saw last time, <laughs> unsee it. No, I don't want to. their way into your head, unthink them. If it's not already no, I'm on board with Contrarian. <laughs> It looks like you're gonna poke her with a fork when you keep doing that. <laughs> Ooh, new plan. Let's see if we can make even more. Yeah. There is more of you now. I'm getting out of here. Try getting you out of here. Tried freer. Those are all high lighting up as the same option. Oh, wait, that's interesting. Is that a bug or is that intentional? That might be intentional. Uh, there's more of you now. What's that supposed to mean? Are you trying to get under my skin? Her voice is different from the first time, I think. Oh, I get it, because it's fracturing, so you have three different things happening at once. I, don't I get it. I've gotten any bigger. There must be something wrong with you. I'm the same as I was in my <laughs> This should be a screechy sound when you rub those together. <laughs> like a squeaky sound, actually. Just squeaky, 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 squeaky. <laughs> she fractures again. I don't like where this is going. Neither do I. I think it's neat. Which is why you need to slay her now before things get more... But, then I, but I don't have a weapon and there's three of her and only one of me. How would we even do that? Where would we start? How do I even reach the one that's up there? We'll, we'll stop like holding it. these shards of glass in front of your eye and making reflections of her. Just <laughs> do it. Like oh, I don't like thinking about what might happen to us if we have to go back through those stairs. Well, that's where the blade is. But what if I just make more of her? Actually, you don't go through stairs; you go up or down them. That guy's an idiot. Yeah, your character's dumb. <laughs> Delete the game, Boo, You said stair thing wrong. It's like everything we say just multiplies her. It certainly looks that way, so please, for the love of everything, stop asking her questions and stop. No, I wanna. I wanna. Squeaky, 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 squeaky. <laughs> okay, it's still three options. Hmm. What's your name? You can address me as Your Royal Highness or Her Majesty. Any honorific should do, really. That's the same dialogue, I think. Princess. It doesn't matter. Oh, I've been down here the different ones are talking. What's the point of a name if there's no one around to use it? Shut up, Eeyore princess. <laughs> I mean, one of them just said princess. Like, that could be your name. How astute. I told you she was untrustworthy. For all I know, you're locked up down here for a reason. Do you even know why you're here? Maybe it's because I'm dangerous. I'm dangerous. <laughs> You have to know. <laughs> You're the only other person I've ever seen. Or at least Why are you so whiny? <laughs> Don't give me false hope. Please just end this already. One way or another, just do it. Oh, hi. Boy, we both know 
know why I'm locked away here. I'm a monster. And the second I get out of this place, I'm going to end the entire Hey, hey, these two are like stuck together. Careful, if they get a fifth one, they can summon Super Saiyan God. Oh no, Captain Planet. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> By their powers combined. <laughs> okay, this was fun for a bit, but we can't even really interact with her, can we? What's the point of asking questions if all we're going to get is a million answers? I want to see if I can get a high score. I'm up to four now. Yeah. I want to get on that scoreboard so I can put ASS <laughs> and giggle to myself. <laughs> this whole place is making me itch. If I let you out of here, what are you going to do? I don't think what I'd do really matters, does it? I just want to live my life. I'm a prisoner here, and whether or not you shoved me down here, you're practically my captor at this point. Anything I'd say is tainted by that. <laughs> Anything I say will be used against me in a court of law. <laughs> if you want to put an end to me, then put an end to me. Be quiet, sad one. <laughs> Shut up, Eeyore. <laughs> sad one. Shut up, whiny one. Whatever your name is. Aside from this blood and destruction, it's infuriating, isn't it? Whose buttons are there for us to press? Whose skin is there for us to get <laughs> I mean, all of them. Not exactly how you got five choices of skin. Yeah. There must be something we can do. Asking questions just seems to make things worse. This it hurts my brain having to think, says the contrarian. nothing in here but her. Take a deep breath and focus up. You can do this. But how do we decide what to do? Can there even be a right choice when all of them are so different stop over just charge up a power spin <laughs> you got a magic bar just get them all at once <laughs> yeah just just hit all of them yeah, just hold attack for a couple seconds option <laughs> and that option is slaying her just just do something do anything do I don't wanna you want this place is hell and it's only I want to make more of her uh, I only have this option left I can't get all these princesses put away. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Try and free her. I don't know what you are, but I can't trust anything. I can't trust you. I can't trust anything here. Leave her in the basement. or Retrieve the blade. That's not right. Go on. Let's choose all. Uh, look, there were three choices. I got three voices. I've got me and my other two voices. We can just each do one. It's fine. You got me, myself, and I. <laughs> but it <lands. laughs> You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. You can feel yourself... That's good. ...the room spins, your perception multiplying in a sickening kaleidoscope... Great! ...your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. And now I get to be the eldritch being. Your character model just it explodes in polygons. <laughs> just the triangles going everywhere. Yeah, it just explodes like an old bomb going off in early 3D. <laughs> Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. You don't know? But this... Oh. We, we can't... Uh, quick, mix them together to get the true color. <laughs> <laughs> She's melting a little bit, uh... It's gonna you know, form into one. <laughs> Careful. She's getting stronger. Oh no, oh no. No, I don't. Oh yeah, there she goes. Oh boy. <laughs> is happening at the same time. It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. <laughs> Luckily for all, nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world and the princess collapse in on themselves before it all falls apart. Oh, one of them stabbed. Oh, well, this solved itself then. Let's just leave. <laughs> the narrator is gone. He's gone. Apparently. We Whoops. Not again. <laughs> We're gonna meet Hansy again. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about they it. They just don't fit. <laughs> Your plan to make super mutants is inherently flawed. They can't reproduce. Did you do this? Did we do this? Can you pull us back, us back apart? Fix us? Fix us? Fix us? <laughs> we should help her. Uh, but what if we just make more of her again, actually? Uh, surprisingly sincere. 
I didn't actually think our actions had. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think putting her in front of the microwave for only 30 seconds would do this, to be honest. I mean, it was a really intense 30 seconds, let me tell you. It was on high. Oh, aren't they always on high? I never <laughs> check that. It's a little late for a break. This one has an extra very high setting. <laughs> This one has a setting for 11. Oh my god, <laughs> why would you need that on a microwave? <laughs> I want my food to be extra rubbery and tasteless. They have to make it good ensure it's cooked. It's going to be okay. I'll do my best. Make good ensure and it's still not cooked in the middle. Whoops. <laughs> Heck, still almost frozen somehow. <laughs> but it's burning hot on the outside. Thank you, microwave. I can't believe they originally designed you to cook chickens and sh <laughs> You just destroyed everything. I'm not going to fix you. I don't think you're supposed to be fixed. Oh, hey, there's the hands. There they no. go. Yoink. <laughs> but you'll never know if she hears your reply. She's gone. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we well, she's probably on the belt of the hand thing now in like her own Pokeball, so... <laughs> just just a little Pokeball on there. Got her. What is the belt attached to? All she is is hands. It's like a bracelet around one of the hands. <laughs> you get there and they're just you can hear the sound of the Pokedex explaining the catch as you get closer. <laughs> like halfway through the description. This princess is a horrible ab abomination of merged flesh. Known as the microwave merger. <laughs> This one melts easy. It's like a Grimer. She's a fire type. Gross. And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? I'm gonna go look in the mirror. Of course you're scared. This is the end for you, but it's not the end for me. It's going to be okay. Just trust me. We've been here before. And you always get scared. You always get scared. Like looking into it right now is gonna be the end of everything. Nah, it'll be fine. Yeah. Don't look at it. I don't like that. No, it'll be fine. Uh, it's not the end. Whatever's on the other side is going to be nice. And the beginning is the end. The beginning is the end. The beginning is the end. The beginning of the end. It's the end for you, but not for me. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. It's just the end of the world as we know it. <laughs> so. And I feel fine. <laughs> I feel fine. Your character seems to feel pretty fine. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with it. It's all right. <laughs> Approach the mirror. Yum. You approach the mirror. Meow. <laughs> Gaze into your reflection. Scree. <laughs> the hands lady is like, please stop doing that. It's very annoying. You don't think it would affect me, but I'm actually extremely sensitive <laughs> to sound. It's weird. You wouldn't think that, but it's weird. If I keep having to fix the mirror. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta buff that out. I gotta do that thing where I put the suction cup on it and I suck the scratch out. It doesn't take very long because I got a lot of hands, but it's it's annoying. It's just the fact that I have to get up to go do it. <laughs> you know, it's just another chore. It's like, I don't have to. Like, I'd rather I didn't have to do it. I'd rather just sit here in the nothingness by myself. Poor Melted Princess. The poor Aww. Melted Princess. Oh. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. Yep, it's the same. Scree. Oh, what a hideous, disgusting monster. You've grown. Oh, yeah, it is actually a little bit bigger. When do I get to see my face, though? Yeah, you're going to be a princess, kid. You're going to be a beautiful, <laughs> uh, sexy princess at the end. You're going to get to ride away on a horse. I hope I get to be a pretty princess at the end. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to be a pretty princess, says your disgusting bird creature, man. <laughs> I'll have a nice little tiara and a wand. A knight will show up and he'll like <laughs> slay a dragon for me and I'll be like, wow, that was really hot night. I'll swoon directly onto my fainting couch. And then he'll slay me because he's like, what's this disgusting monster? Ew. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. It's all going wrong. Oh, it's all going wrong. Reset. Reset me again. <laughs> this is going to be an extra long forever. <laughs> You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. There she is. You are at the cabin. There she is, going super sane. <laughs> again. Approach her. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I am more than I was. 
before. She's doing the lip flaps, but it's not matching her words at all. <laughs> She's going. <laughs> Just one of the fingers. <laughs> Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean. Wow, these arms look a little bit more swollen. Must be all these German suplexes they've been doing. <laughs> Look, she has a lot of time to practice in here. <laughs> Not that much stronger, though, because the, la the last princess didn't have much body mass left to her. Uh, just a little bit more swole. You can see a little bit more definition. <laughs> By the time the game's over, they're going to be like huge Zarya arms. <laughs> Are you the same being as you were before? Or how much have you, ch have you changed? What does it feel like to change like this? When this is all done... Do you know what you want to do? I'm going to give so many people so many pats on the head at once. You're going to be so impressed. There's going to be so many head pats. Oh, my God. The pat pat will resound and deafen everybody in a square mile radius. Pat pat. I can pet so many kittens at the same time. Oh, <laughs> you know that at the end of this, once we're fi you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? When I go back, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? You have been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Thank you. You've been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Why? What do you want me to bring you the next time? Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? There are a lot of options for this. Jeez. Dude, what? Well, God, <laughs> I had to ask each one of your hands a different question. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of hands. has to do the thing where they draw little eyes on one of their fingers and then does the like thumb finger mouth thing and they talk that way. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, man, welcome, traveler. <laughs> I don't want to hurry you, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. What do you feel about me? These vessels I've been bringing you, I've hurt them. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? Um... Are you the same being as you were before? Or how how much have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an Still as vague as ever, I see. Oh, shut up. You say <laughs> bleep blooping away on your phone. I am different, but I am the same. What does it feel like to change like this? Thanks for not answering my question. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's kind of expected at this point. Perspectives meld together. Didn't you just say that? Stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. Hmm. This is the only path forward. When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me. I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be, and every exploration yields new and complicated truth. You probably are going to have to kill her at the end, but I bet. I hope when you're done asking your question, she's like, high five, and you go but miss and hit the knife, and she dies. She's like, ah! <laughs> Just stabs it in there farther. <laughs> uh, oh, heck, now I gotta send you back to make a new one. Oh, damn it. <laughs> That was a good one, too. That was nice and freshly melted. Well, yeah, I really liked that one. It had so many hands that I could use. She says letting it go and then flicking her hands clean because it's all gooey. <laughs> it's like, ugh. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself. When I get back, if, it's, if an invisible wall closes around me, why can I not do the same things I've done before? Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen. Okay, so you can't, like, repeat things. Well, because it'd be really annoying if you accidentally got the same choices and then you ended up seeing the same ending over and over again. She explains to you the player <laughs> character. <laughs> Idiot. Looking directly at the camera. Fucking <laughs> moron, have you never played a game before? Jeez, <laughs> she says. Texting on her phone, like all the hands pull out their own smartphone, just start texting away. Oh, she can do a lot of texts. I'm like a really big influencer. You didn't know this, but that's why I need so many phones. <laughs> You've been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Why? Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know. I mean, you have these princesses. They're kind of not you, maybe. I get to puppet them around, and if I get enough of them, I can have a party and be like. <laughs> 
I can make each one talk to each other and be like, oh, we come down here next time and it's just playing Barbie dolls with them. Gross. You're weird, massive hands. <laughs> this is this is the line that I've drawn. <laughs> this is what makes me think you're weird. So what do you want me to bring you next? Well, I am kind of hungry for a Big Mac. Oh, oh, me too. Me too, hands. Me too. The final entity she needs you to tr retrieve is just a Big Mac. We have to turn the princess into a Big Mac somehow. She's like trying to mush it in the face of the most recent princess she collected. <laughs> like, oh man, I'm trying to learn how. How's eating work? You just move. You, you gotta chew with the mouth. <laughs> Just like trying to shove it in the forehead, like, how's this supposed to work? I don't get how these things are supposed to work. I don't have the rest of this body I'm supposed to have. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? Goopy, period. Oh, they are a little bit more goopy than the last one was, to be fair. They did get mushed together a little bit. But it is a shape they cannot hold. They will make for a rich and vibrant heart. Neat. Just kind of vaguely shaped like a heart here, maybe. Get the rest of the pieces I need to Voltron together, the perfect being. <laughs> for they will finally get to know themselves. And then I will assume my final four. <laughs> Voltron. Voltron. <laughs> you try to slay me once I get that giant sword, dweeb. Oh, th that dinky knife is not going to be great against Voltron. And you just go to Voltron's toe and you stick the knife and it's like, Aah! and it just falls over dead. <laughs> it just falls over. <laughs> <laughs> it goes into a T-pose, tips over backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Does the startup sound from Windows, like in Swordman, <laughs> Gunman, <or> whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and then it just fades away. <laughs> oh, that was way easier than I thought it would be. Guess I'm just stuck on the void by myself now, but at least it's dead. Oh. Well, what's one more forever, right? Yeah, I mean, we've dealt with several of them already. So you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow. My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel... I gotta be honest, lady, all of your dialogue just kind of goes right, right past me. Because you're not saying basically anything. I'd be paying more attention if you weren't purposely not answering anything I asked you, so. <laughs> Let me ask you this, princess. Is water wet or does water make things wet? <laughs> water is wet. And it makes things wet. This is the only straight answer she ever gives. I don't want to hurt you, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. There is a hurt that dwells in them. But they are not me. They are thoughts and perspectives. They are feelings that inform my being. How come you're doing this to them and not me? The well, they need you to go fetch more of them. I guess. Without them, I would be as I was before. I cannot be as I was before. There are new spaces that I must fill. Oh, baby. <laughs> How many more vessels do I need to bring you? Eh, about four-ish, she says, like waggling a hand. <laughs> it's a lot of hands to be waggling, too. <laughs> like all at once, they're just going, eh, I'm like, man, eh, so-so. <laughs> about four-ish, I think. <laughs> I will transcend, in due time. transcend, huh? I will eventually achieve an anime transformation sequence. What if at the end of it I kill you? There is still much to be seen. Neither of us know the depths of our being. Perhaps at the end of this, I will be the one to kill you. I hope the person doing the like singing in the background it <laughs> stops and you can hear like going <coughs> and like taking a sip of water and then going back to it. The the hand on like the backside where you can't see it has another head and is just doing the mouth and that's where the singing is coming from. It's got the little eyes scribbled on. <laughs> I'm ready to go back. To activate self destruct mode. <laughs> we will meet again. Everything goes dark and you die. And then she tips you over and you shatter in a glaze. 
hero and the princess again. Path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. And next time we're gonna go see what what's new this time to see. I hope we get spreadable margarine princess next. <laughs> spreadable margarine princess. <laughs> but I won't have any toast to, to spread her on. Well, that's the quest. You have to get the toast. Oh, oh, I see. And then once you do it and it's ready, the hands will go by and be like, nom, mine. <laughs> hey, Slay the Princess. I'm Time. He's Cable. Last time we brought, we uh, broke the princess into a lot of different uh, versions and then stuck them all together again and brought those to the hand lady. It was extremely fine. This time we're going to do something else. They got melted and then mushed together. You're here to slay her. Yep. If you don't, it will be the end. But what if this time I just let her out and let the world end? And she gives me a nice firm pat pat on her way as she leaves. Just pat pat. Good job, minion. And then you do Then you're like feathers fluff up because you're a bird person. <laughs> and you're like, oh. Sweet. I've always wanted to offer Martin Monarch of Evil La Revolution. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, though. Just kick the door down with a guillotine, like just slung over your shoulder and be like, Princess, I've come. <laughs> just carrying an entire guillotine through the forest and into the cabin, into the basement somehow. <laughs> he has like a moving crew with him this time. They're just like trying to get it through the doorframe. They're like, ah, we can't. We're trying to angle it. But we can't we can't get it. God, we're going to scuff up your doorframe. Is that OK? It's really tough to get a guillotine through this door. <laughs> it's really. Should we di disassemble it? Should we disassemble the guillotine, you think? <laughs> I think we should just say they tried to take it apart, but then the blade falls and like cuts one of their arms off. Like, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, this is just a, a cavalcade. Just a parade of errors. At, at least we know it's plenty sharp. Just throw it at the princess. <laughs> and you go to pick up the you go to pick up the blade, but you just touch it. And then your other arm comes off. It's like, oh, whoops. Oh, that's really sharp. Oh, I didn't even cut t touch the like actual sharp sharp end. I touched the flat part and it took my arm off. And then it just kind of like slides through the floor and falls into the center of the earth because it's so sharp. It just keeps going towards the center. <laughs> uh oh, that's going to cause a volcano eruption, I think. That's fine. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you uh huh. Leave She'll lie, cheat, and steal, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The SummerSlam uh, Undertaker, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Don't. Proceed into the cabin. The interior Slow zoom into the cabin. No mirror this time. There was never a mirror. What are you talking about? All the same as it was originally, I think. Furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Nah. I'm gonna let her out. Joke's on you. I rolled a monk this time. <laughs> Oh, oh, just wait until I get the stunning strike on her. Just wait till I can punch you in the face eight times in one round. <laughs> the air feels heavy and damp. And you just get to level 20, you can do the five finger exploding heart technique. <laughs> yeah! Princess lives here. Slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? This is the same as the first time. Whoa! Hello? It's the kind of voice you only have to hear <laughs> once to remember it for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life. It's all part of the manipulation. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. We know she's a freak monster because she has an American accent here in Britainland. I'm here to save you. How many times do I have to tell you how dangerous letting her out? But I wanna but, but I wanna see the end of the world. It might be fun. Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down What if she's actually just nice in this ending and we go to McDonald's? Come downstairs. The McDonald's <laughs> ending. <laughs> the horror is that you'll die of heart failure afterwards. I wish some game just had a McDonald's ending. <laughs> <laughs> you just befriend the monster and go to McDonald's. And behind the counter is a dog. Oh, it was you. It was you this whole time, shouts James, standing up from his table in the back. <laughs> He's got a Big Mac, some fries. 
half chewed nuggets spilling from his <laughs> mouth. It was you. It was you this whole time. Oh, I should have known. But he says it in Japanese. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. No, just walk up and shackle yourself to the other chain. <laughs> just, just tie myself to the other chain. <laughs> And you just sit there and be like, well, now we're both trapped down here. Whoops, what are we going to do? Me being trapped down here with a beautiful princess. Don't do it. Oh, heck. If she gets out I didn't bring something to do with these chains. To the end. I didn't think this through. No, you're a monk. Just karate chop it. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Examine the chains. Change your finger into a key like Plastic Man. Oh, I have that power. I mean, I've got a claw. I couldn't maybe fit in there. Thank you. Thank you. Pat, pat. You're making a huge mistake. No, you're doing the right thing. It's going to be definitely OK. Chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a touch. Hmm, these appear to be chains. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you. I am hungry. <laughs> Just start gnawing on them. <laughs> Do you have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. No, I don't have the key. I have a knife upstairs. The fuck is a key? <laughs> I've never seen one of those in my life. Doesn't look like anything to me. And if there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the key is still lying around somewhere up there. And if not, maybe I can at least find something to break you free. If there isn't a key, do you have other ideas? Maybe there's some way to break the chains? God, your eyes are so gross. I guess we could do that. She offers the suggestion with almost complete nonsense. Hmm, she did rip her own arm off in the other ending that one time. If we You're clearly a monk, just karate chop me at the elbow. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine. Could finally be free. That's my breakaway point. I'm like a lizard, I'll just grow back. Oh, oh, that. Out of the that sounds really easy, actually. Hey, who did that? Well, now you're trying to stop me from helping you. Y you realize my weapon is up there too, narrator. Is someone else here? Hey, let me out of here. Try the door. Return to the bottom of the stairs. Hey, let me out of here. And please are met with silence. I'll repeat myself once again. You're but, here to slay. But the dagger is up there. I can't slay the princess if I don't have the dagger. You're the one that rolled monk. <laughs> I told you to take it, but you're like, nah, I'm just gonna, that'll slow me down. <laughs> Try the door. Try the door, but it's locked. From mm. the Probably bolted from the inside. Could I have locked this that first time when she was trying to bang the door down? Uh, is that why, well, doesn't this open inward? What? It does open inward, but it's locked, so. Why would it lock from the side that opens, like, <laughs> outward? <laughs> This is a very silly door, that's why. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier. Well, now I can't go back and get it. And whose fault is that, narrator? Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. Look at, just look at your life. You're a mess. They locked you down here too. Didn't they? Yeah, they sure did. There's a slight panic. In the princess's well, I guess we're gonna have to decide which one of us we're gonna eat. Hey, hey do you like tic tac toe? If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely oh. Hesitates before <laughs> <laughs> what? Why didn't you do this before, princess? Don't react. Just pretend this is normal. Oh, uh, oh yeah, that makes sense. Just be like, oh okay. From her bone, a sound comes from behind you. Good job. High five, you say, holding up your hand. Oh, she's got one extra. It's fine. It's the blade from upstairs. You gross, you say, kicking it away. Ew, I don't need this. I'm not even proficient with this. You won't like what happens if you do that. You really got to hit up that McDonald's when we're done with this nonsense. Save the princess. Fine. Against your better judgment. <laughs> Place the blade against the ragged... Yeah, you have such the gross, blade. huge eyes. Ew. <laughs> that's the part of this that's gross. It's the part that I don't like. I know it's supposed to be like, the big eyes are supposed to make her look innocent. <laughs> like, oh. But I hate anime eyes. I think they're supposed to be creepy looking. 
Uh, I mean, when she's being all innocent, they're always supposed to be like, well, look at how sad her eyes are. The blade is sharp, Whoop. and it takes little effort <laughs> through the bone of her arm. She, she's not reacting much to this. Her limb falls. And neither should you. <laughs> and the heavy chains follow suit. We did it. So much as utter a sound Why didn't you just do that before we got here? Huh? Why didn't she just do that before we got here? Why didn't she just do that before we got here? Because it's all a show. You being here is part of the game. As her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. How is she still Damn girl. <laughs> it's like she isn't even bothered. Hey, you okay? Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Approach the locked door. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. <laughs> you can't just let her escape into the world. No. I can't just let her escape into the world. Can you just do things? As the princess approaches Hey, the stop that. Air, your body steps Cut it out. That's illegal. Wait. This no, is don't do. Just do that. <laughs> Watch me. Since when could you do this? What? I warn her. Warn her. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? You, you know you don't have to do this. The narrator is cheating. He's cheating. Oops. The blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. It's fine. She'll just like grow a, a stabby knife thing out of her bones and the ruined arm she has. She'll just like knife fight you. <laughs> Stabs me with her arm bone. Yeah. No, oh, no. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. No, you aren't. Resist! The blade. Move. Jokes on you! All the options that says slave princess would have resisted dweeb. I altered it. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I've been bamboozled. You've been bam 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 bamboozled. <laughs> As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this isn't. Yeah, he's like mind controlling me or something. And then she pulls a gun. <laughs> From your infuriatingly rigid hand. <laughs> what are you? I'm saving the princess. Sorry. Those claws look very impractical. They uh, do look like they'd rather get in the way. It into your chest. Ow. Flesh and sinew. No, you're supposed to stab me in the chest, not the stomach. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Higher, please. Again, do it again. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. <laughs> don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic. I don't know. She seems pretty nice this time around, other than the chewing her arm off with no. without flinging at all, but. Whatever. <laughs> she sinks the blade into your chest again and again. Why am I this hard to kill? Hello? Every inch Are you just really bad at murdering people, princess? <laughs> Apparently not. Though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's kind of making that face. I'm so sorry. With one Blech. thrust of the knife, Blech. <laughs> You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. Oh well, she says casually, just flicking the knife over her shoulder and leaving. <laughs> oh, wow, you're really dumb. Rich <laughs> coming from you. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. Two of you made your choice. It's over. Everything goes dark. And you die. Bleh. Dork. The damsel. Pat pat, she says. <laughs> On a path in the woods. And at the end of that path pat, pat. is a cabin. And oh, I missed my chance to boop her when she was that close. Uh. Oh no. I mean... It might be kind of hard to boop with the, the big claws, though, actually. That can't stop a good solid boop. 
Couldn't even slow down a beep. It might have hurt a little bit. Whatever. She ripped off her own arm. What are you talking about? Yeah, I suppose she didn't care. But I died. What am I doing here? I don't know if I've said... God damn it. I thought this was over. <laughs> I finally died. He says, kicking a rock, like really disappointed. I don't know if I've said this before. I think we have said this before. Second question. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes, he didn't ah, we have the voice of the smitten this time. We're going to save our beloved. <laughs> our beloved. Our beloved. Oh no! Now we have the voice of Gascon in our head. <laughs> I'm gonna save the princess. We're gonna do it. Four. Hold on. We'll see about yeah. Whatever you do, narrator, you, you, voice of the hero, and smitten. The narrator isn't going to foil his own plans. No, he just doesn't get it yet. We can fix him. Ah, I see. He sacrifices the whole world for a peck on the cheek. I see, we're playing as D. What can this I time. Say? A world without mm. love is a world that isn't worth saving. At the end, she's going to wake up from her bed and be like, Oh, God, I dreamed him again. Oh, no. Proceed to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. Oh, the princess. Yeah, that's right. How come it's got like a slithery ass line going up to it? Uh, I don't just because that's just what the path is. It's OK. Mm. <laughs> We already told you we're not playing along with your game. <laughs> it's your lies that can't be trusted. Yeah. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. I'm going to take the dagger with me this time. Uh, we've already been over in my teeth. He <laughs> just likes the sound of his own voice. I do, but I also... <laughs> I do. <laughs> my passions are too great for this title. They must be expressed. The voices are fun. <laughs> sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. The yeah, voice of the hero is being a real negative Nancy this time. What a negative Nancy. <laughs> any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Saving the princess, right. The interior oh. Of the this got a real medieval. We're never gonna get to McDonald's now. <laughs> oh no! It's gonna. I'm gonna have to wait so long to get McDonald's now. Oh no, it's fine. There's a ye olde McDonald's out there. <laughs> oh, oh good. It's fine. I can have a Biggie Mackie. <laughs> Biggie Mackie. <laughs> it's very fancy this time. You'll need it if you want to do this right. But what about that mirror? Walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. But I want to look at the mirror. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. This is probably the same dialogue, but... Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. I just want to see if anything different happens. It doesn't. Scree! <laughs> oh wow, this is a, a very noisy tapestry. But there was a mirror... Assembly. What a slippery tapestry this is. <laughs> Could have a feather out of place, and now we'll never know. <laughs> we can't gallantly sweep her off her. Uh, yeah, we can't do that. <laughs> It'd be embarrassing. Do you think the bird people would put their own feathers in their own caps? <laughs> hmm, maybe. I mean, you'd have plenty of them. They'd just kind of fall out occasionally, I assume. Got to do something with them, right? I'm gonna use my hair to decorate my own clothes. <laughs> Would be the equivalent human thing to do. I guess. I got my hair cut and I decided to glue it to my hat. <laughs> take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. I suppose if we're to play the role of dashing, <laughs> we need an equal it, is, it is just a knife, voice of the smitten. We can defend her from her enemy. Yeah. Oh, she's just a dragon this time. <laughs> she's just a, just a regular dragon down there. <laughs> just a dragon body, but with the princess head at the end of the neck. With her eyes extra big. Uh, this is not what I was expecting, princess. 
I'm not 100% against this princess, <laughs> says the voice of the smitten. Open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold trimmed carpet. Oh, fancy. The light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim fire. Now somebody had to come through here like every 20 minutes to light these candles. <laughs> yeah. Princess can't do it. Somebody's got to. There's just an unrelated like servant in this this route. You seem sweeping in the corner. But somebody did have to lock the door last time. He's like, oh, it's not glamour work, but it's good work. <laughs> Hello? Is someone there? Yeah, it's me. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I can hear Spray him with a hose. <laughs> Well, uh, there's not a hose here in the in this medieval dungeon, unfortunately. Do Dunk yourself in ice water and be like, take that, it's voice of the smitten. <laughs> there's none of that either. <laughs> uh, uh, just rub your face against the cold stone of the castle. I guess I'll have to go outside and find the nearest birdbath. Just go perch on the rim. <laughs> Gross. I hate bird people. Walk down the stairs. Hey, your dress is much prettier this time. There's a heavy it's fluffier. Wrist, binding her to the far wall. My love, <laughs> we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. You know she can't hear you, right? She may not be. What if I just repeat words, word for word what Voice of the Smitten says? She can hear my spirit. Oh, uh, your spirit's plenty loud, alright. <laughs> It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come Yep, back. I'm here. Do you hear that? Do a running yes. kick and just knock her out the window. <laughs> uh, oh, but the the thing on her arm. There aren't bars on it this time, though. And she well, she'll screen. just get stuck hanging there and she'll be like, oops. Because I have to gnaw my arm off again. <laughs> then go outside and try to shoot her with a bow and arrow. <laughs> Waiting for you to come back. I don't think I even... I didn't say one thing, I suppose. You've been here before. Yeah, I sure have. You did kill us. I mean, technically she killed us, but... I can't believe he did indeed killed us. <laughs> she killed us. Only because he made us try and kill her. It was self-defense. It was self-defense. beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. She was very sad about it. So I remember my final sensation was the pat pat she gave. Really my feathers floofed up and everything. It was a very nice pat pat, especially after all of the stabbing. It, it was the nicest thing that was happening at that moment, I guess. And it was a lot of stabbing, let me tell you. She was blushing the whole time. <laughs> everything reset. Nothing resets. You're just somewhere else. You can't keep hopping between. I mean, I can. Especially not without leaving a trail of I still haven't seen any incomprehensible devastation to the world. So, don't know if you're even telling the truth about that. Horrible for you, maybe. <laughs> well, it's probably already destroyed. Sweep her off her feet and treat her like the lady. Still not convinced there is a world other than what we see in the game. Now, the world's probably already destroyed and you're just stuck here. Are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? <laughs> We never saw a world end. Yeah, we didn't. Now I'm even more certain. I have yet to see a single world end. Romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. Are you listening to him? <laughs> He's lost it. Don't let him. Uh, no, I'm 100% on board. You killed me last time and uh, and it hurt a lot. Why did you do that? Do I have to cut you out again? I really didn't care for that last time. What happened after I died? I have to ask, did you end the world after you killed me back there? Sorry about what happened last time. The narrator who sent me here to kill you took over my body. It was extremely unfair. It was broken. He was hacking. <laughs> I sent a message to Gabe and I'm waiting to hear back. What happened after I died? You died. And now we're talking. That doesn't answer the question. Idiot. But before we started talking, did the world end? Did you end the world? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I did. <laughs> Maybe, Teehee. Darling princess, she wants to make us happy. My heart melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. Are you listening to her? That's a confession. It wasn't really, but it wasn't not a confession also. 
I don't know. Maybe I did. <laughs> I have no feelings one way or the other about the world ending. <laughs> oh, what's the world ever done for me? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've not actually seen the world end, so. Being honest. <laughs> I can't believe that the fate of the entire world is left in the hands of a nihilist. Um. The princess shifts in uncomfortable confusion. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I don't care. I wasn't confused for long. <laughs> if she doesn't care, then clearly she didn't end the world. Yeah. Great desire Perfect for logic. To do something so inconceivable, and our dearest has not <laughs> an ounce of cruelty within her. All is well, and it's high time we rescued our beloved. A dork. Do I have to cut you out again? I really didn't care for that last time. I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. <laughs> You're weirdly okay with getting your arm cut off. On her perfect wrists, and indeed, we won't even have to. Do you see how dangerous her hands are? We'll be able to slip her right. But what if it was that easy the whole time? It probably was. What? I'm pretty sure with her being able to gnaw her arm off the way she did, she could leave whenever she wants. Arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles. There should be one ending where you go to the cabin and she's already fing gone. It's like whoops. <laughs> she's just not there, yeah. She didn't <laughs> the narrator is really annoyed about it. It's like, ah, this is somehow your fault, dweeb. Then he takes over your body and pants you and then leaves your body. It's like, oh come on, narrator, that's that's just mean. But as we've established, I'm not actually wearing pants. Well, he just like he does that cartoon thing where like the feathers are your pants. And when they drop him, you have like really hairy naked legs. It's like, ah, ah, I, I was going to say uh, the cartoon like heart boxers. Oh, yeah, that but also <laughs> the legs. I'm sorry about what happened last time. The narrator sent me here to kill you, took over my body. It was extremely unfair. The other version of me was pushed to such drastic action. <laughs> Just doing your best, and that's all that matters. <laughs> she took that in stride to a surprising extent. No, it's fine. Actually, that's because she's perfect. <laughs> Do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do? Does she have somebody like the narrator telling her what to do? There's no one else like me. Mm. Oh, when do we get the sequel where it's Slay the Dumb Bird person? Now it's from her perspective. And she has her own voices going. Drive her to violence. Rescue the princess. I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, <laughs> I'll you what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? Yes. Not on my watch, villain. Panic <laughs> deaths. <laughs> and if you try anything that might harm our dearest. I will. No, you can't say that. You can't. You can't. You can't say that. You wouldn't. Uh, he definitely I would. would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> it, it was that easy. It just slips right off. Well, <laughs> it does look like it's smaller than last time, to be fair, or less manically. Yes, I have to. <laughs> I told we did you, it. There's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. So just let me in. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. She says laser blasting you and then just walking away. <laughs> smooch meter up to three. <laughs> no, no time for smooch. <laughs> Do this. Just one slip of the wrist, and your pristine blade is buried in her back, and everyone out there is saved. Is that a threat? You know what we'll do if you try it. You think she's hugging you, but this is just the angle she's put you in the bear hug right now. <laughs> she's giving you a bear hug. Oh. You're going. To oh, what's that cracking sound I'm hearing? Oh, that actually feels really good. My back's been really sore. And then she sits you down and gives you a pat pat. You're welcome. What do you want to do? Let me guess. End the world? Head to McDonald's. Uh, we could finally get McDonald's. The true good end. 
the true good end. I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had her all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What yeah. You the world? You're so gullible. <laughs> it's the only thing you've ever doubted, the actual truth. But you have given me literally no proof at any point ever, narrator. I think I want to leave. And I think... The princess closes her eyes. I want to end the world. And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. Maybe I will. I want to go to McDonald's. Then they skip off down to McDonald's. Do you want to end the world? Are you seriously asking? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've been over this one. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I do. <laughs> I just want to leave. We can figure the rest out later. Perfect. Yeah. The Sparkle. Yay. <laughs> uselessly to the floor. And the last hope for It'll be fine. We Whoops. We don't need the world for our <laughs> I like to think that you do, actually. Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made. God, you're going to look so good on our mantelpiece. You know, yeah. <laughs> Ill mope about it, because moping is the only recourse you love blind fools have left me with. You and the princess walk up the stairs. He <laughs> could like drag her around the image. <laughs> yeah. Man, you're strong. And oh, princess, what big muscles you have. No, you're holding her up at this angle. Dwee. Oh, OK. I'm like lifting her whole body. I see. You know that. How does she drag you up because she's going so fast? <laughs> That's a familiar move. Yeah. That's okay, she'll just Hulk smash through it. Yeah. Last time, and you should know that you won't be able to leave. Oh no, did someone lock us in here? That's not That's fair. not fair. I'm opening the console command, she says. <laughs> <laughs> no cliff. <laughs> she just walks right through the door. Enough with this Leaves you T-posing, though. <laughs> oh, no. It'll be fine. She'll come back for me, right? I trust her. She'll come back. <laughs> Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of But I want to. But he's funny. <laughs> Do you think I think you can open it? Sure, just give me a second. Then her finger gets all, like, noodly and tentacly and goes into the lock. <laughs> Like you. Oh, that's very useful, actually, princess. I don't know. Maybe I can. <laughs> no, I know we can do it with the power of love. Okay. With our imagination. <laughs> like a pair of teenagers in love. <laughs> Together. Together. Bleh. <laughs> The door. Yeah. Kidding. I told you our love was insurmountable. This is really goofy. You and the princess make your way upstairs. Her freedom and the world's ruin are just a few moments away. If you don't mind, I think you pull a gun. If I'm about to see the end of the world, I'd rather not see it sober. Wait, you heck can do that? Aren't you just a disembodied voice, the narrator? That's the way out. We're going to leave together. Yeah. Just like you wanted. Yes, I suppose you are going to do that, aren't you? <laughs> you cross the room, opening the door to the cabin. And then you step outside. And everything is fine. Yeah. Look at the sparkles. We did it. What should we do now? I don't know. Maybe what you want. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh well, there goes the there goes the world. That's fine. Oh, is he gone? Oh, is he gone? <laughs> at least she is still here. 
Is being happy hmm, no, that's happy? unusual, actually. <laughs> Pluck them all. <laughs> oh, there's the hands. Okay, see you, beloved. My soul, no. Nah, heck. But you don't get the chance to take the, to make that jacket, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. What's the point of saving the world now that we don't get to have our happy ending? I didn't even get a single smooch. Not even a single smooch. <laughs> is that a... Why is it here? Why now? Of course you're scared. This is the end for you, but it's not the end for me. We've seen these. Uh... We'll just pick whichever one you want then, kid. We didn't do this one last time, so... What is that supposed to mean? Whatever awful thing I felt before, it feels so much worse now. Shut up, powering down our alternative personality. You. Before, <laughs> before I die of a broken heart. <laughs> Approach the mirror. Goodbye, guys. You were pretty funny, voice, voice of the smitten. <laughs> I hope you're there in the final boss battle where all the personalities come by to lend their spirit strength. <laughs> and we'll defeat the final boss with the power of love. <laughs> do you think we can beat it? I don't know. Maybe. What do you think? I definitely think we can beat it. I don't know. Maybe we can. <laughs> the gaze into your reflection. Scream. Silence. <laughs> I said silence. God. Scream. <laughs> Turns up the volume dial on the side of the mirror screen. <laughs> the silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. Oh, I'm a little goopy this time. Ew, gross. Is it going to eventually melt away your disgusting bird body and have a person body underneath it? Oh, maybe. Maybe. You withered. Or maybe it's going to be like you were the monster that was destroying the world. Whoops. You kind of look, you look closer to being a human now, actually, with the face. I would say. That's because all humans are disgusting to me. <laughs> you find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. Cross those planes of silence, kid. But yeah, there she is. At the cabin. Going Super Saiyan. This is the most bad, 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 bad so far. <laughs> yeah. Can I have her back this time, actually? Get your hands off her, Nave. <laughs> it's a good thing Voice of the Smitten isn't here. <laughs> I've almost completed my Pokédex. You're doing excellent work out there. <laughs> there are very few Pokémon in this region. It can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. <laughs> what? How can you stand to be a contradiction? It doesn't matter how many times I go back. At least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? What do you think of this vessel? Still planning to kill you once we're done with this. Seen that one. What happens to the worlds we leave behind? I figured out what you'll do when we finished. You still not care what I bring next. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? Oh, well, how can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you, you are like me, even if you have chosen not to look at the corners. Bleep bloop goes the phone. Bleep bloop bleep bloop. Yeah, whatever. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just every time. Well, she doesn't answer anything with a straight answer. It's always like, well, if you think about it, it's both yes and no. <laughs> You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. They 100% do exist, but... What does that even mean? What does it mean? You should go to my subreddit and watch the theory crafting going on. Go join the conversation. Tell your friends about this video game. Doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? Doesn't giving each of these bodies a German suplex ruin them for you? <laughs> no, it, I'm gonna get really strong from doing it. I don't use the bodies or absorb them or anything. I just get <laughs> swole off of giving suplexes to them. If anything, it makes me like you more. I don't know what 
that says about me. Okay, hold on. What did she say? In order to make me care for you any less. To make me... Okay. Careful you don't give this one a pat pat. Your hand will get stabbed on the crown she's wearing. Pat. Ah! Ah! I should have heeded the warning. God, he just told me. <laughs> it's like being told, don't touch it, it's hot. And the first thing someone does is touch it to see how hot it is. But it's so pattable, though. Oh, the forbidden pat. No, not really. It all seems so distant as soon as I'm near you. I have no opinion one way or the other on this matter. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I don't. <laughs> no. I just want it all to stop. Yes, you're torturing me and I hate it. I think I hate you. It all seems so distant as soon as I'm near you. I think I hate you and she's like, oh, I didn't know you felt that way. And then she weighs her hand. You turn to dust. It's like, I'll get another one. <laughs> I guess I have to start over. Sigh. Sigh. What do you think of this vessel? It's a good thing all of this has subtitles. <laughs> yeah. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. Yay. Maybe. Oh, so you're deciding what they are. You're changing the princess. It's kind of like determining what she does, I guess. Oh, so it's your fault. <laughs> Do you know what happens to the worlds that we leave behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work Yeah, maybe. Is or we'll just be stuck in the infinite void forever, which would be slightly unfortunate. <laughs> Have you figured out what you'll want when we finished? I wish there was one really annoying nut, like hand back there that kept cracking its knuckles. It's like, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> no, they're all doing it uh, constantly. Ah, oh, we've all we're all getting that arthritis or whatever. <laughs> oh, jeez, You just feel like their bones, the wrists like cricking, crackling. I don't know if cracking your knuckles actually does that. I mean, I crack my thumb really easily all the time, and it hurt for like three days when I tried to play that Mad Max game recently because <laughs> I had to use a controller for it. So I just can't play games with controllers anymore, I guess, because my thumb will hurt. Maybe that game is just cursed. It might just be cursed. <laughs> it was melting my computer somehow. It did, it did attempt to murder your computer. <laughs> yeah. The desires of my... Yep. <laughs> Moy awakening. Do you still not care what I bring you next? I care about your gifts, but I have no preferences. I care about your gifts, but they work so well as re-gifts, you know? <laughs> what am I going to do with a label maker? I got to find somebody to give these princesses to. <laughs> Gonna trade this one for that other. <laughs> I gotta fill out my Pokedex, right? I gotta trade these princesses. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? We will know when we near our destination. Yeah, about three ish. A couple. It's fine. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Everything goes dark and you die. I hate that she breaks our nerd glasses every single time. <laughs> I need those to see. I need those to see because without them, I cannot see. <laughs> and at the end of that path is a cabin. These aren't eagle eyes I got. Let me tell you. They aren't elf eyes either. Let me tell you. <laughs> hey, Slay the Princess. I'm Time. He's Cable. Last time we saved the princess uh, and we fell in love and we escaped and went to McDonald's and it was everything was perfect. The world did did not end and we definitely didn't get reset back to the beginning again. We finally got our nuggies. <laughs> they were not as good as I remember, says everyone on planet Earth. I haven't had McDonald's chicken nuggets in a long time. <laughs> You're not missing much. There's actual plastic on them. Oh, good. <laughs> There's a type of plastic they use to coat it in the oil so that it stays <laughs> fresher longer. That's fine. Actual garbage food from a garbage can. <laughs> would be better. But I would also still go for like a 10 piece right now after saying all that. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're here to slay. I'm here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do that's different this time. Uh, I don't remember the last things you chose. It's been like oh, two weeks since we played this game last, so. Mm. Uh, this is, might be a wrench in the works because I don't remember what we haven't chosen and how to get the other stuff we haven't seen. I think we've done most of these. Uh, <laughs> uh, Forget it. I'm not doing this. No, you have. To I do. quit. You say forming a one man union. I think maybe what I was thinking of doing was because uh, the first time we did it, we just kind of like stabbed her and she fell over and died. Right. Yeah, cause she's a dork and loser because she has no hit points. She put no points into stamina. She has like nothing. No hit points. Constitution was her dump stat like a dummy. And then once she dropped below one hit point, that was it. She only had one point in constitution. So she was dying. <laughs> I think what I was because I got options when we did that the first time to uh, be like, surely it couldn't have been that easy. But I just kind of went, nope, she's dead. And she was dead. And then you sat there for um, for a forever and then you got then you woke up in some dark void area and maybe you do something different in the dark void area. Maybe I was going to what I was going to do was go like. Uh, we'll do it. Take me on an adventure. Let's go. Uh, uh Sweet. I've always wanted to offer Monarch be follow revolution. Heck yeah. I, I was going to get stab or get to the options that's like hey that that seemed like it was too easy and then be like take those instead of just being like nah it worked well do it take me on an adventure she will lie yeah she'll do the things she will do she'll steal she'll steal your heavyweight championship belt right out from under you i'm pretty sure i've already made 12 gazillion jokes about that <laughs> i think you've said something to that effect every time we've been here well, it's a time loop. I have to. Yeah. Otherwise, there will be a paradox, right? Obligated. It looks completely normal this time. No, nothing weird. This time you notice behind you a sick gamer setup. Oh, was that always there? Oh, this is going to be the worst iteration of the princess yet. <laughs> but, but how's she been using it if she's chained into the basement and it's up here? I don't like how many empty Cheeto bags there are on this disc. <laughs> we go down there. She's just covered in Cheeto dust. Oh, no, just coated. As she walks, she leaves footprints of it. <laughs> there are empty Mountain Dew bottles all over the floor. You can't get the jump on me this time, knight. Mountain Dew flows in my veins. <laughs> It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Enter the basement. Door to the basement creaks open. Yep, it's the staircase. If we've seen it before, just skip it. Yeah, I guess. Who's there? Who's there? Dangerous. Does she? It's almost as if she's the one in charge. Did we get this dialogue before? I don't remember. It's all part of the manipulation. I don't remember. I'm just checking in on you. It's been so long since anyone's come down here. I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. Hi, princess. You break into a sprint and hit her with a missile drop kick <laughs> directly through the wall. <laughs> oh, leaving a cartoon person shaped hole. Except, oops, that t takes her outside, so now the world ends. Oh, damn it. You're right. She's so coldly beautiful. Hi, voice of the hero. She really a threat to the world. Okay, every time you bring the knife, she she, she sounds dangerous. Focus on the time. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Yeah. I haven't decided yet. How about you drop the knife and the two of us just talk? No, throw it like in uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Look how reasonable she's being. So she can catch it and throw it back and get you. <laughs> Don't you dare. Hmm. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. I mean, it would be rude if she was actually nice. 
That's why I brought a space heater, he says, plugging it in. Ah, she's just like, oh, that's very nice, actually. Yeah, I gave it about 20 minutes. <laughs> well, a little longer because those barred windows are just going to go out and all the heat's going to go out, but whatever. Don't worry, ju just put the space heater next to her and it'll be fine. It's not my electricity bill. <laughs> Where are we even plugging this in down here? It's fine, I can always just pick it up again. Thank you. Slip on it and make a cartoony slipping sound. <laughs> it like shoots out from under my foot and goes directly into her chest. <laughs> And she's like, I can honestly say I was not expecting that. <laughs> Hello, princess. Oh, your arm, detachable arm lad or whatever the hell that guy's name is. <laughs> yeah. Don't know what you're to she did pull her arm off once. It wasn't quite that easy, but you know. Well, no, you came unarmed. Oh, I see. My whole, I just left my whole arm back there with it. Yeah. You just plucked him out and then they floated <laughs> over to slap her. Yeah, it's pretty awkward. A relationship. Are you coming on to me? How would I get you out of here? Time's going to get tickled by all the options again because it's been a while. Yeah. I'm pretty sure those two are new at least. Here because you're supposed to end the world. There's no people out there who think you're going to. There's people out there who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say? These ones we've seen. <sighs> Yeah, it's pretty awkward. You say tugging on your shirt collar. Now, why are you here to Except wait, I'm a bird man. I don't know if I'm wearing a shirt. No, you have one of those Hanna-Barbera shirt collars. You just have one. Oh, OK. Like like Yogi Bear. To cut down an animation cost so that only the head has to moves. You know? You're supposed to end the world. Uh, I've been told things, but I'm not sure what to believe. <laughs> she looks very unimpressed about this. And do you think asking me what to believe is going to suddenly make everything crystal clear? Let's not pretend that's going to happen. As far as you're concerned, and as far as they're concerned, I'm going to say whatever I have to to get out of here. That's just the dynamic of our situation. That does seem to be the case. I'm here because there are people out there who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? Just why not? If she's going to end the world anyway, like, what's the matter? <laughs> she already knew you were coming to do it. Why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. This looks like the face of somebody who doesn't want to hurt anyone or end the world. I don't want to hurt anybody. It's going to be painless. <laughs> I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. How long? Just how long has she been down here? Yeah. If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here? chained to a wall have they told you why i'm allegedly so dangerous it's pronounced dangerous excuse me <laughs> deflect what are you gonna do if i let you out of, out of here head up to mcdaniel's probably <laughs> halfway through a sentence you're already taking off the manacle i was hoping you'd tell me Ending the world seems like an awful lot for just one person to do I wouldn't even know where to start. I assume you'd start with the world. I believe her. Well, I'd start with that giant oversized cartoonish like fuse that leads to a huge planet busting bomb behind this castle. But, you know, whatever. What do I know? Oh, where did that come from? Whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Is it? I guess it is. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. Yeah, he, he sure is awfully cagey, that narrator. And I don't think it sounds right to you, either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. So, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, <laughs> or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? Hmm, what can the narrator's word be po be worth in a situation like this? word isn't worth anything. I can't trust either of you. I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. 
So do you trust me? The prisoner? The victim? The princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything. All for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. What is she monarch of? I'm pretty sure we've asked this, but... <laughs> Bug eyes. Just bug eyes. <laughs> That's it. No elaboration. To the nation of bug eyes, yes. There's a reason why you were sent to Slayer. How long have you been down here? Too long. Again, she offers no specifics. No matter how hard you try, <laughs> you'll never get a straight answer out of her. I hope next time you come down here with a pencil eraser, you just get rid of her that way. <laughs> <laughs> just erase her, yeah. She is a, a, a traditional drawing. How would I get you out of here? You can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Well, we can always put that knife to the hmm. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting. No, it's fine. Right. She is. I'm sure of it. I don't see how playing that knife finger game is going to help us here, though. <laughs> It'll be really impressive when I do it. It'll be really impressive when she does it. She has She's an android, though. She never fails at that. <laughs> That's but I don't know that. So it's just really impressive. Or Her okay. Majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Look, I'm a bird man. I don't have very much experience with androids. OK, we've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? What are we going to do with her? Mm. No, why you're here. Mm. Well, I have already rescued her once, but this is a different path to the rescue than we had took the last time. She has a very clearly different personality this time, so. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. Hey, wait a minute. These are paper mache. <laughs> They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. If you don't have the key, maybe you should go looking for it. I'm sure it's somewhere upstairs. Yeah, I'll go do that. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Mm, if there isn't a key, do you have any ideas besides me cutting you out of here? Well, what you need to do is you need to go outside and check that fake rock next to the door. It'll be in there, probably. Oh. That inconspicuous rock that's just sitting there next to your apartment door and nobody will ever guess. <laughs> they will never think to look there. Never think to look there. I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the key's still lying around somewhere up there. And if not, maybe I can at least find something to break you through. Hmm. Last time we tried this, she did have a different personality, but uh, they locked the door on me when I tried to go upstairs, so... Mm. I'll go upstairs and look for the key. I think it said that it won't let you repeat endings, I think. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. Well, then it shouldn't matter what you choose. Just pick whatever you want. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Is someone else here? Rude. Hey, let me out of here. Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Okay, we'll bend over backwards and go down the stairs like in the exorcist to scare the princess this time. <laughs> I'll repeat. I do it wrong, though, and I just kind of like really awkwardly flop down the stairs instead. It's very embarrassing. You get your arm caught between the two steps and you get a leg caught and you're like, oh, God, now I'm trapped here. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, princess, please, pl please come and save me. And she just rattles her manacle like you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just stuck like this. We just kind of have to stare at each other. Well, she's a lot better at that than you because she has such big eyes. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Shut up, grammar Nazi. <laughs> 
I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Yeah, unfortunate. Pick it up and cut me out of here. You won't like what happens if you do that. I'm sure it's fine. Save the princess. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the princess's arm, just above the massive, unyielding chain. This is a very sharp knife if it can just do this. Maybe she's just a very Maybe soft princess, you don't know. <laughs> Her bones are made out of jello, actually. She's like those princesses in Adventure Time, just candy and food and junk. She didn't so much as utter a sound. Yeah, it's fine. Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you, her fierce gaze meeting your eye. How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she is. She's been down here for a long time. Oh, well, if you jostle the mouse, you can make her do a little dance. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> you should do that when she's talking, like bounce her around. <laughs> Approach the locked door. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I just can't let her escape. Hmm, we did do this before. As the princess approaches the bottom. Yeah, but her personality is different this time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't just do that. What? You have to give her a knife first. You say, handing her a knife. Now we get a knife duel. You tried to warn her last time you did this. Yeah. Do I just let him get her? This time, I think, maybe. Whatever you want, kiddo. Bring the blade Stab. It into the princess's back. Fine. Well, that's not vital, so she's going to turn around and choke slam you. Uh, she just like does a spinning roundhouse kick and like knocks my head clean off. No just doing those spinning helicopter kicks like Chun-Li <laughs> or something. <laughs> Ryu. Though the blade left a deep gash in her <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Cut that out. She's going to punch you in the face with her nub and just stab you with the bone. Oh, no. Are you serious? I don't know what came over you. But Did you not see the skull next to my health bar? I'm way too high of a level for you. Oh, heck, I, I did like one damage. It's already regenerated. <laughs> she says, giving you the five finger exploding heart technique. I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, stay back. I have a knife. Slay the princess. Just give up. Just quit, man. Swing your arm towards her throat, the blade singing through the air. She catches it in her teeth. Oh. She grabs her. Oh, that's a problem. You drop the blade. Is that a problem? This is like the 19th time this has happened. <laughs> My princess, what big muscles you have. I'm just gonna straight up deck you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a ringing in your ears. You're fairly certain you can feel bone grinding against bone where she fractured your jaw, but your body isn't allowing you to feel much right now. Adrenaline. And then she goes for a body slam. <laughs> oh, oh no! Puts you in a figure four. Uh, she grabs me by the leg and puny, but puny gods me. Oh, stop the damn match! <laughs> Blows as punishing as the first. GNWO kicks you. <laughs> you see three more members of her stable come out to help. <laughs> oh no. The other princesses she had waiting in the wings. That's this iteration that we're gonna get stolen by the hands, just her stable from her wrestling group. You poor thing. I'll go ahead and put you out of your misery. She places a confident heel on your chest and pushes you down to the ground. Her knee falls to your throat, your windpipe crushed beneath a weight you didn't think her slight form could possibly... How did you get so cool, princess, this time? <laughs> it can't just end like this, right? I can't get my ass kicked this hard, can I? Sorry. <laughs> Apparently I can. <laughs> Everything goes dark, and you die. What a dork. The tower. You're on a path. Here I am. Woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. Yep, end of the world. Uh, 
wait, already happened. Deja vu. Okay, no. She's going to kill me again. Not again. <laughs> you haven't even met the princess, and I hardly think. She no, she was really cool this time. And courageous as yourself. I didn't stand a chance, and I was armed. <laughs> if he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. What does it matter? What There's my voice. We can do to stop her. Voice of the dweeb. <laughs> I, I see we have the morose, depressed one this time. Wasn't there another one that was sad? Uh, I don't think so. If you spend the whole time second guessing yourself. Mm. Uh, proceed to the cabin. <sighs> A warning before you yep. she will lie. She'll lie, she'll cheat, she'll steal. She will do everything. <laughs> she'll lie, she'll cheat, she'll steal. <laughs> Don't believe a word she says. We might as well just pledge ourselves to her and stop pretending we're capable of doing anything in this We could do that. She probably doesn't even need to try to overpower us. <laughs> she was very strong the last time. Can we tone down the pessimism just a smidge? Nah. Pessimist. <laughs> I'm just being realistic. You're being annoying. Just ignore their bickering and whatever you do, don't pledge yourself. I don't know. Pledging to myself to her sounds kind of interesting and like it, it wouldn't end in her literally curb stopping me again. <laughs> I agree. If she's wrongfully imprisoned, then we should rescue her. But if he's telling the truth, we shouldn't just hand her the world on a silver platter rescue her. Given the stakes of the situation, there isn't really a difference between rescuing her and pledging yourself to her. Either but she's ever. scary. She beat me up. Try to ignore both of those knuckleheads. She beat me up really hard. We call them knuckleheads because they keep getting punched in the head. <laughs> it's just an in, it's, it's because there's just an indent of her knuckles in my forehead now. Permanently. <laughs> Permanently. That's what you want. I guess I don't have a say here. Doo -doo. Just leaves the Discord channel. <laughs> he just leaves. <laughs> oh, it's way up there. Humble exterior would suggest the only furniture of note is a massive marble altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. I can't get that one. I'm afraid of heights. Ironic because I'm a bird. <laughs> Oh, that's why they sent me. <laughs> why do we feel so small? It does look quite large in here. We feel small. We are small. Uh, if I'm a baby bird, I'm extra cute, and she won't hurt me, right? Do a wide-legged gate with your rattle. <laughs> I as well go look at the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. This has got to be the same as it always was, but I'm doing it anyway. That's fine. This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. It's gone. Reach forward and rub yep. your hands. <laughs> you know right Why haven't I ever tried to use these big, huge, giant bird claws? We should count ourselves. Well, because you're a sophisticated species now. You're beyond that. Those are just tools, not weapons. That's why I use a dagger. Why don't I trim them or something? It's like a status symbol. You still <laughs> keep them. It makes, like, fine manipulation a little bit of a problem, but you know. You take the blade it hasn't really mattered. You've been getting your ass kicked anyway. <laughs> yeah, that is true. She's definitely going to just, like, drop kick me through the entire... Uh, structure this time. Guess I'll just add this knife to the collection, you say, dropping it in your sack of knives. <laughs> open, revealing a spiral staircase. It steps almost as deep as you are tall. That is quite large. Incense drifts up from below. For a moment, you almost feel at ease. Take out your skateboard and then ride down the side of the spiral staircase all the way. Yeah! Just show me really extreme with sunglasses on. She's like, oh my god, I, it's the 90s this time, apparently. I'll be so cool. She won't beat me up. You will have to leave your sack of knives up here to do it, though. Oh, no. But I need those. Her booming voice. A booming voice this time. Is that a guest I hear? 
Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness, oh, witness me. <laughs> kidding when you said it was booming. She wasn't like this last time. We need to get down there. She wants us to see her. We need. To oh, we need her. to pledge ourselves to her. Clearly. You be worried about your sudden change in attitude. Just a few minutes ago, you were going on about how pointless everything was. Now you want to go down there. I mean, she sounds really extra cool this time. So what that little voice says. He's not the one making the decisions. Though if his ramblings get you to the princess, they get you to the princess. Oh, let's go. Making your way down the spiral staircase is a time-consuming and exhausting effort. Every step requiring you to clamber over one edge. But Why am I like one foot tall this time? Comes into view you tumble to the bottom, entering the vast, temple-like room beyond. The princess Hi. comes over you, almost glowing oh my God. in the starlight, her figure framed by a stained glass window. Her long hair billows around her, and a chain binds her wrist to the far wall. She's charging a key attack, be careful. <laughs> the chain is nothing to her. It might as well be a toy for all the good. Don't people. worry, I'm gonna stab her in the ankle with my with my tiny knife, and it will all be okay. Pounce on her ankle like a kitten. Has returned to me. I wonder what he wants. Hi. You brought that knife again, even though you know it's useless. No, I'm gonna Such get you. Charming audacity. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna cut cut your foot off, and then I'm gonna when you fall down, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut your just keep cutting layers off until I get up to to your head. Why would she fall down? She's floating. Drop it. Mm. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> She's so commanding. Oh, we do that outside, she says. And yet you did. She's so much more. <laughs> You wouldn't understand. She's so big. She's so big. Uh, look at her. Look at how big she is. Look, narrator, look. Oh, I understand what's going on, and you'd better snap yourself out of it. Kneel. I guess I'm kneeling. I, I, I mean, I guess I can, but it won't really make a difference because of how small I am. <laughs> yeah, I'm tiny. On her command, fall <laughs> to the floor. Knees painfully connecting with hard stone. That's my good little bird. Now, why don't we talk? The last time we met, you told me I was destined to end the world. That thought wrapped itself around my heart. It has pulled at me since the moment I squeezed the life out of your broken lungs. Uh, can, can I just say the, the narrator made me do it, and can you beat him up instead of me? I could feel its fundamental truth awaken me. I would actually like you to like to see you beat up the narrator. He's kind of a jerk. Old is a necessary prelude to the birth of the new, and the world as it is now is overdue for... Alteration. Something, something, something. All shall love me and despair. It's time for me to seize my destiny. And you, little bird, will help me seize it. Well, that gives away the game, doesn't it? It certainly does. And beyond that, it more than lends credence to our conversation in the woods. I don't love the thought that in some other reality you failed to destroy her, but what's done is done. I can only hope it helped you learn a valuable lesson. You are the only one who can deal with her. And if you don't, well, she's let you know what will happen, hasn't she? Uh, what am I going to do? I'm tiny and she's like a billion feet tall this time. You hit a pressure point in her toe and <laughs> cause her head to explode. It's possible. <laughs> it just makes her have an aneurysm. <laughs> Just walk over and go, yeah, and like hit her big toe. And she's like, ha ha, and then just an explosion. Her head's gone. <laughs> or you just punch her like in the knuckle of the toe. Like she's dead, the, the edge of a table, you know, that'll take her out. Uh, she, she'll jump around clutching her foot and fall over. She'll stop floating just to jump around clutching her foot. <laughs> yeah. That'll show her. If you're going to save the world, you have to have faith that you can pull this off. You can't win a battle that you've already lost in your mind. Hmm. What would you have me do? What do you have planned? Trick her into trying to make you really small so she'll breathe you in and then you can take her out from the inside like an evil dead. Like an army of darkness, right? <laughs> like a gazillion of you. 
she's just reenact that whole scene in this little room. She's like trying to beat herself up to get at you. <laughs> it's just because you're supposed to end the world doesn't mean you actually have to do it. You can be whatever you want to be. I have questions for you before I decide anything. What happened to you after I died? I'm not going to help you end the world. I don't care if something new comes after. I just can't let you do that. I'm yours to command. I pledge yourself to her. What would you have me do? What do you have planned? And all you have to do is burn Can't you do that yourself feet. very easily? Set me free. How am I going to do it? You crawl into the lock and then you just open it. Oh, yeah, that actually does sound pretty easy now that you mention it. If you're so powerful, can't you just break the chains yourself? Be rude. Of course. <laughs> it's not rude to question someone who's apparently trying to end the world. That's exactly why it's rude. We should know our place. I can. This rude feels like it was written for a very particular audience. <laughs> yeah, a certain kind of person. <laughs> the story of a terrible and bountiful god unbounded of her own will is no story at all. It's not worthy of everything I am or everything I'm bound to become. It isn't even worthy of what I was. I wish those hands would come in and snatch one of them in the middle of their sentence. <laughs> just, just what, like, they don't even let the story finish. It just happens. <laughs> just like, Bob, if, what, what the, what, what the hell? <laughs> They're just gone. Just, a, just, a, just one reaches over from off screen like a, like one of those shepherd's hooks and, like, pulls them off. <laughs> oh, boy. The song of you, being so struck by my glory, so overwhelmed by what I am, that you feel you must deliver uh, How am I going to break the chains, though? I'm tiny, and I have a dagger. And from your act of utter devotion and submission springs a new dawn, a better dawn. I'm baby, though. Submit now. Submit later. It makes no difference, because in the end, no matter how vainly you struggle against me, my will triumphs over yours. Just because you're supposed to end the world, it doesn't mean you actually have to. You can be whatever you want to be. This isn't about desire. This is about what I am. And I have little interest in discussing destiny with one that cannot see the divine truth that shines in my heart. I have questions for you before I decide to do anything. You know the limits of your privilege, little bird. Oh. There is an empty place at my side for you to fill, if you'll have it. But it is not a place for an evil. Yes. Right beside me in my snack bowl. Uh, how, uh, precisely how gilded will my cage be? I don't know. It's going to be like a little stick you could stand on. Oh, that'd be kind of nice. Can I have like a, I don't know, like a little ball or something to play with? Well, I was planning on just putting a sheet over your cage and walking away and forgetting you exist. But oh. You can make a ball out of the little sawdust at the bottom or whatever. <laughs> Somehow figure it out, I guess. Oh. No, I mean, I have submitted every other time, but no, you say it with your extremely high pitched, tiny voice. <laughs> no, I will stop you. You stand up and hold up your knife and it's just a little teeny toothpick. It's an actual thumbtack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> say perhaps you need another lesson in submitting to your betters I'm just a little guy Up that needle do it it's what she wants do it before I turn you into a sandwich <laughs> don't know what she's planning and I don't like that we don't know what she's planning I really hope it gives me the option to stab her and it just like sticks her in the foot and does nothing <laughs> I hope you do that but then she like does a wail and then just shrivels up and dies <laughs> <laughs> unperceived by your senses, but that manages to push you towards its desires like an unseen puppeteer. Oh, they are locked out. Why? What are you going to try to make me do with it? 
I'm going to kill you. You're not kidding about that divine hand. Who's doing this? Is it her? Is it you? No. Locked out. Pick up the blade. You should have toggled the command console to get those other options unlocked. <laughs> Just turn them back on. Moira had a no clip in God mode. <laughs> this one's easy. See? This isn't so bad. Yeah. Well, I'm already standing. Oh, I couldn't tell you're very small. <laughs> you are very small, yeah. <laughs> I hate you. I hate all hate you so much, all of you. Stop making me do things. I'm going to kneel here forever. Stand. You can feel a creaking tension between body and will as you slowly rise to your feet, like two foes forced into an unhappy truce. The princess eyes you with soft contemplation. The moment seems to last a lifetime, the silent anticipation of what's to come dragging out the long, painful seconds. But all silences are broken eventually. To defy me is to claim we stand on level ground. We do not. You are quiet, Shadow. I'm just a little guy. I'm just a little guy. <laughs> Take that knife in your hand and slit your throat. But I don't wanna. I can't do that. It's just a thumbtack. I can, like, jab it, though, if you want. Is that okay? It's gonna be hard to cut anything with this, but stabbing works. It might take a few tries. End this. Oh, we'll end this all right. Your hand lifts the blade and brings it towards your throat. Okay, I apologize for the unclear language. Uh, you're the, the narrator. You can just say I do the thing, right? Slay yourself. Rist, res, resist. Slay the princess. Can't do those. Uh, sorry. Whoops. She's uh, too powerful. Maybe if you hadn't kept bending the knee to her, you would have had those options narrated. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Just started chewing on the blade. You gotta dull it real quick before you try to take yourself out. <laughs> Just kind of beacon at it. It's fine. Pecking at it. defying a god. It's pointless to resist. In the end, everything submits to oblivion. But you're not the one resisting me. Are you? There's something else. I think this is the first time she's acknowledged that there's other voices, right? No, wasn't there the part no. at the end of that first one when she was in your body and she was like, oh, there's noise in here. But yeah, that's right. She did. Is, is she talking about you? That's impossible. He says disconnecting. <laughs> he just <laughs> leaves. It, he has just left before, so that's fair. He could do it. He's like, oh, the heat's coming on me now. <laughs> Why don't you just take control of my body again, narrator? You can do that. I'm just a little guy inside his little brain. <laughs> just an even littler guy. Look how little I am. Screaming! You slice through <laughs> oh, she's 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 getting the narrator. Whoops! Your blood flowing freely down your body. It's a painful lesson of obedience, but the pain will last forever. No, 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 no. Well. When I see you again, you'll free me from Bleh. the chains and deliver. <laughs> Sorry, can't hear you, Dad. Blat. You will. I promise. I know you will. Blech. Everything goes dark, and you die. Your last oh. act is fixing your nerd glasses on your face. Oh, this one has a chapter three. The first one had a chapter three. Yeah. This one's going for a bit, though. At the end of that path is a cabin. Excuse me? This is the I mean, it's right there. Here, and this is hardly a path in the I've woods. seen you before, haven't I? Big and weird. Another witness to her radius. <laughs> it should have been teeny tiny this time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, those steps do look pretty big. And then when you showed up, the princess is really small. 
But then she just like does an uppercut and like blows your heart out from your chest. And she's like, you think ma size matters not, dweeb? <laughs> oh no, she had the five point exploding heart technique this time. Well, she did that to you the first time I mentioned, but she did it like really fast this time, the big boy. Yeah. This is bad. <laughs> you think, a narrator? <laughs> Do you need a primer, Mr. Amnesiac? No, I'm quite all right, but if all of you would take a moment to settle down, there's something important I'd like to get across to you before it's too late. And that's my contract. We already it's time we renegotiate. <laughs> None of this was in my contract. <laughs> in a new universe where everyone is Rock'em Sock'em robots. It's a good hit and you're just, your head pops up with a little ching. <laughs> to be trusted, that one. No, I, I mean, yes, it's about the princess, but whatever you think I'm going to say, it's probably not that. Is it to go in there and kill her? Because you've said that every other time. Trusted either. Look, fine, just out with her already, yeah? But if I hear the words, you're here to slay her, or if you don't, <laughs> it will be the end of the world, you'll have lost speaking privileges. Uh, you're here to prevent the end of the world by slaying Queen. <laughs> You're going to hear some of those words, but not all of them. Definitely not all in that order. I'm interested. Really? I know. It's probably a bunch of... The voice of the hero is being a little bit sassy this time. Huh? He is being a little bit of a bitch. <laughs> Just a little bit, though. A sprinkling of bitch. I like how it's still just a cabin up there. It hasn't turned into, like, a big fortress or a citadel or a castle or anything. I hope you get to show up and it's just like a, a dang ass Protoss pylon at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta take this princess out with a laser gun. Oh, where am I gonna get one of those? All I have is this knife. That shoots lasers. <laughs> so you have met us. Because boy, were you in denial about that last time. No, I haven't met you, but reality is clearly falling apart. No, it's perfectly fine, everything that's happening here. As if you knew things you weren't supposed to know. What? What the hell are you talking about? He's talking about those weird marble trees and how wrong everything looks. Yes, I didn't even notice that. Whatever you did before hmm? gave her I didn't even notice the fact that trees aren't made of wood. Oh yeah, I, I did notice they looked kind of stony. Get any more out of hand. We gave her power. Why didn't you ever tell us we could do that? We probably would have gone about things very differently if we... Uh, I knew that. Because if I told you that, she would have been the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. I mean... That might be easier than what she is now, maybe. Have you seen the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man? <laughs> it is pretty big, I suppose. <laughs> the only way they fixed that was by crossing the streams. You don't even have a single stream. Oh, oh, oh no. I left my proton back in my car. Again? We keep telling you, bring it. <laughs> oh, are our thoughts doing that? <gasps> make her small, make her small, make her small, make her small. Sh shit, uh, what if I'm doing Language. Wrong? What if I'm making her even stronger? <laughs> Do you hear those two with their runaway thoughts? I'm only giving you the sliver of information I'm giving you now because things are already deep in the shitter. Language. My last card to play, and it looks like it's already made things so hurry, cabin, now. <laughs> Run away. Trip and tumble down the stairs. <laughs> okay, hold on. I have so many questions. I don't have an upgraded enough axe to chop down these trees. We're doomed. They, they are very hard this time. Mental acuity to handle a single response. It's now or never. I'm not going in the cabin until I have answers. What am I? Finish your oh. question. The ground quakes beneath your feet. You feel an unyielding force pulling it to you across <laughs> the trees start to sway and then crumble, breaking apart as everything is drawn towards the cabin. Even the earth beneath you seems to shift, your feet unable to grip solid ground as you're dragged forward along the Oh. Oh dear. The beginning of something new. Oh and then over the horizon, you see her with her giant Katamari Damacy ball. <laughs> the king of the cosmos in the background looking on like, eh, I guess it's OK. Whatever, it's fine. We just have to think straight. 
any, uh... It's not the best Katamari I've ever seen. He says, shopping for new cod pieces. <laughs> Proceed into the cabin. As you step forward, Whoa. The cabin explodes. That's unfortunate. Violently slammed into a tree as debris rains down around you. Oh. Oh, this is the worst expansion. Oh, you are quite large this time. Paralyzed awe and terror. You didn't even need me. Her body unfurling from some vast It's a good thing you gave yourself ribbon clothes. <laughs> yeah. Well, they got all those eyes on them, though. Look at them. It's very spooky. It's very spooky. Very spooky. Giant woman. <laughs> the ruined landscape shifts. Trees and stone and the ground itself succumbing to her gravity, orbiting her like a great black hole. Well, then all those shards will eventually stab her. She'll die that way, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Done and dusted, you say, <laughs> dusting off your hands and walking away. <laughs> Just walking away while she's doing this in the background. But you're walking like in place because the gravity pull is too strong to get away from it. <laughs> I'm not even touching the ground. I'm just like making walking noise motions in the air while I'm slowly drifting towards her. Oh, jeez. <laughs> There's a loud no, dagger. The tree behind you. There's something embeds in its shadow. I told you I wasn't sharp enough to cut down those trees. I mean, it did stick in there. Yeah, but it didn't cut through. It just got stuck. I mean, I guess I'll take the blade. Screw all of this. I'm with you. A real god wouldn't need us as part of her plan. Excuse me. What does a god need with a spaceship, though? <laughs> I mean, it does take a while to get anywhere. It's a, it's a, it's a little more comfortable in a spaceship than just kind of flying through space on your own. Time has no idea what I just referenced. No, I sure don't. We were always supposed to. We'll take this blade and we'll sink it into her heart. This tiny, tiny blade in her giant, giant heart. If we just throw ourselves in her direction. Whatever, a little tiny itty bitty bit of plaque can take out a whole ass human being if it gets to the heart. I guess. We can do whatever we want to do. With a forceful tug, you yank the blade out from the tree. What if I want this to be a buster sword instead of a dagger? You close your eyes. You say it growing to buster sword size, and you're like, oh my. Yeah! <laughs> this one has very climactic music. <laughs> yeah, it does. I guess it is a pretty climactic one. It's a very climactic scene, yeah. Here I come, it says, letting you fly out, and then it just slowly zooms back and shows just how tiny you are. It just uh, keeps zooming. <laughs> you get close to her face, she just like brushes you away like a gnat. <laughs> I'm like a one pixel. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Slay the princess. You launch yourself towards the <laughs> you can feel her gravity envelop you, carrying you from the ground into the violent swirl of her orbit. Even now, you defy This was written for a very specific audience. <laughs> She's already out of the cabin. I'm not sure what I'm even like, what she even needs me for at this point. Well, what if this whole area is the quote-unquote cabin, kid? You're probably in, like, a universe, like a pocket dimension. Yeah, probably. End this. Why do I feel so? Oh. Achoo, she says, sneezing you away. Oh, there it goes. She got hands. Damn. Grabby's got hands. You do not get the chance to slay her, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. Oh. Where did she go? She's gone. Achievement at the end of something. Witness your betters ascension. Uh, okay. Is the end of the world. Did she end herself? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Uh, these are the same options we've had, I think. Yeah, you're just like, hey, whatever. I remember everything now. So... Freshen up. <laughs> I approach the mirror. Yum. Silence as Scree! you reach forward. <laughs> Just extra loud this time. <laughs> mirror always makes them leave. Oh, I'm looking a little... I've unraveled. I'm looking a little thin this time. 
No, oh, whatever. You're a bird. I don't care. <laughs> Find yourself in the long quiet once again. Just, just her, just her head. We had to plant the rest of her. <laughs> Approach her. It's taken a lot of effort to move that jaw this time. <laughs> this should have just been all the hands on the mouth going, oh, God. <laughs> just all of them, very laboriously. You see them, like, straining, and there's, like, muscles bulging. So they're like, oh, jeez. <laughs> you made her too big this time. Please don't do this again. Please, not again. We hate it when you do it. <laughs> do you know what we'll find out there? I sure don't. Is that a rhetorical question? Do you know? Do you want to t want to tell me? There's trees and stars, and there are people, I think. At least there are supposed to be people. Do you think that everything out, anything out is real out there? Do you think that we're real? Do you have our thoughts on this vessel? Do you know what's going to happen when you awaken? Do you ever have a dream when what when you when you could when you think you could believe that whenever <laughs> when you wouldn't? <laughs> yes, all the time. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator and he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? How many more vessels do I need to bring you? If this is the last stage before your completion, then I'm not going back. I'm just going to stay here. Is that a rhetorical question? Do you know? Do you want to tell me? Rhetorical. You should say something that gets them excited so they just like sla slapping her cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> I see that you're as clear as ever. But all of those flickers end where the long quiet begins. I'm asking you because I cannot know your mind. Do you know what we'll find out there? Trees and stars and people. Do you think anything out is real out there? Do you think that we're real? We are real. Nothing is an idea. That but how could we be real if our eyes aren't real? <laughs> if our eyes aren't real, yeah. It's a stupid <laughs> thing. <laughs> Nothing can't exist. There's trees and stars, and there are people, I think. At least there are supposed to be people. on a winter's day they are not like us they do not last uh, we are special for reasons do you have thoughts on this vessel this one is dominance yeah a figure capable of bending everything to her will oh baby was she <laughs> oh, oh boy is she <laughs> do not mourn her for she would not be able to mourn you <laughs> it takes a lot of effort to do that this time. Like a whole forearm's like, oh god. I just gotta get multiple hands to do it. Do you know what's gonna happen when you awaken? No. The point of awakening is to find out. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator. And he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? No. Their thoughts are quiet. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? Uh, maybe. Probably. He does. I don't know why, but I know this for a fact. He does. I don't know what I'm going to do when I find him. He does, and when I find him, you and I are finally going to have answers. Well, he certainly does. That's for certain. <laughs> yeah. He certainly does. That is for certain. He does, and when I find him, I'm going to kill him. He does, but you're going to keep that to yourself. I am going to finally have answers. Do not look to one who fears me for your truth. The only answers worth knowing are those we can find within ourselves. That definitely sounds like something you would say, a uh, strange hands monster. Whatever you're called, uh, I don't remember. What a meaningless answer. <laughs> <laughs> like most of her dialogue. <laughs> You gotta look within yourself so that you can come up with your own answer to this question and tell yourself <laughs> that's the right one. I am wise. How many more, more vessels do I need to bring you? One. Just one. Bringing next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. And then I'll turn into a boat and we'll have our final boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is the last time. Is there anything you would like me to bring you? These gifts are Some McDonald's would be nice. I am a hankering for a Big Mac. An extra big one for this one, you know what I'm saying? You just need to get a whole lot of them. It's just throwing the boxes into the mouth. <laughs> I'm ready to go back. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. Yeah. Oh, baby. Waiting for you. It's going to be the end of the game. Probably, maybe. Everything goes dark and you die. Whoops. Hero and the princess. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay. Yep, her. we're gonna do it if for sure. It will be the end of the world. I wonder what happened if I just walk in there and try to stab her again, like I did the first time. Well, apparently the game won't let you get the same ending twice, so it'll just find a way to make it work. Yeah. She was like, "Whatever, this one made of titanium it doesn't work." <laughs> I'm just Colossus. Silently continue to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. She will lie. She'll cheat. She will cheat. And she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. It's actually an achievement that's a reference to Dustin, is there? Well, it makes sense. Scarlet Hollow is like really popular and same people. The proceed into the cabin. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. Yep, the it's uh, the same. Is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Mm, do I take the blade or do I go without it? Um, um, uh, um uh, eat the eat it and just spit it out when you're in danger. <laughs> just eat it, yeah. Um. Yeah, we'll take it, I guess. Let's go. Hey, princess, I'm here to slay you. Creaks open. Her voice. Who's there? She sounds... Yep, dangerous. She sounds full of danger. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. Full to bursting of danger. Why don't you come down and let me take... And you just hear a pop and she takes care of herself. And it's like, well, I guess she was really dangerous. <laughs> oh... Da so dangerous, she was a danger to herself. Oh my god. That's deep. That's real deep. And then the credits roll while your character stares directly at the camera. <laughs> while we look at the camera, <laughs> yeah. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her yep. to the floor. She's swinging and she's saying, swing in a chain, swing in a chain, swing in a chain. <laughs> Focus on the task at hand. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're just gonna stab her. You said you were here to kill me. Yeah, it wasn't a joke. Silence, fiend. Uh, level two fireball. I know. <laughs> you brought a knife with you and everything, but you don't have to try and kill me. You could always toss that scrap of metal to the ground. No bad stuff happened the last time I tried that. Actually, you should throw this knife on the ground and put on your wizard robe and hat. <laughs> If only. It would be a lot easier if I could just do it from way over here. Don't just a little bit of a lightning bolt or like... You say throwing packets at her? Lightning bolt! <laughs> like from across the room, it just pings off her forehead. Uh, they're not even like reaching all the way across the room. They're just kind of hitting the floor right in front of her. You start throwing those little like popping bags, you know, at the ground in front of her. And like, get away, I've got magic, I'm great and powerful. <laughs> Tighten your grip. Tighten your grip on the No, she's you serious this time, she says. <laughs> you poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. You step forward. Not today, you say, throwing a master ball. She, she looks very unamused about this. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? Because I've got a knife. I'm probably chained up in this basement for... Because this time I brought a gun. And if that knife is oh, wait, a gun. You're not allowed to have that. To Just starts unloading. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So you should. The narrator's like, where where did you get that? I'm not complaining. It works really well. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Just pull out Eustace's scary mask and scare her to death. <laughs> ooga booga booga. Ah! <laughs> that her like head, head, her head explodes or something. You take it off and start laughing, and then it cuts back to where she's in the Family Guy fall down pose. <laughs> she's dead from a heart attack. Are you sure she's not armed? I'm positive. I'm not. But we'll keep our eyes peeled. If she has a weapon, she'll have to draw it before she can use it. I'm not convinced. She sounds very dangerous. Stand back, she has pencils and I think crayons. <laughs> oh, oh no, wait. How sharp is that tiara? Oh no. It doesn't matter because she's going to draw something to kill us with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dropping the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. Humph, she says, crossing her arms and looking away, holding her breath and going blue <laughs> in the face. <laughs> Squint at the princess. <laughs> <laughs> We're just giving each other the silent tre treatment from across the room. For a whole forever. <laughs> Squint at the princess while holding on to the blade. Princess. Squinting. She squinted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for a whole forever. <laughs> yeah, squint at the princess even harder. You squint. you squint too hard. Your eyes have been squished. You are now blind. Oh no, I need those. At least nobody's done. <laughs> Are we becoming best friends right now, Princess? <laughs> we might be. It's fine. Well, she has more surface area on her eyes, so you'll probably win this. But yeah, if I squint hard enough, I won't need to blink. Slay the Princess. Swing. <laughs> you hit her with your dragon quest attack. <laughs> oh, she had a knife. She was a lot better at it than I was. Oh, she's way better than you. <laughs> oh, nice face. Blit. <laughs> die. Finish the job. Haha. -ha! And now we'll die together. <laughs> yeah. Into the princess's heart. Oh. <laughs> oh. I, I didn't expect you to do that after I cut your throat already. The two of you collapse on the <laughs> The staring contest is still on, by the way. <laughs> yeah. But I just got to try really hard not to close my eyes while I'm dying. <laughs> Turn out a little differently. <laughs> but I wonder, do you really think that this was enough to stop me? It's like she's convinced she can't die. Do you really think that this was enough to stop me? You don't have time to worry. That's why I set up plan B, you say, holding up a detonator. <laughs> Dead man switch. <laughs> Blat. Just a little like mushroom cloud outside of the whole <laughs> cabin. Just the size of the cabin, though. That's it. <laughs> the razor. You're on a path. Yep. In path in the woods. Basement. Here, princess. Here. Slayer. Yawn. Get new material. Narrator. <laughs> She's going to kill me again, but I already slew the princess. Sure. She also killed me, but I definitely got her. Why am I here again? The princess is past tense. What's the deal here? Yeah, we've done this. People don't just spring back to life. I've done it many times already, narrator. The very first time. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Uh-huh. This whole thing's a crop. But she did. She's just going to pull a little and stab us again. Stabbed to death. Well, you won't have to worry about that. The princess is unarmed. She was a hundred percent not unarmed last time, the narrator. No, she checked her arms in with the sheriff when she rolled into town this time. <laughs> they just have them in a box. <laughs> we get in there. She's not even changed. Her arm is like she doesn't have any arms, so she's not chained up. She just kind of standing there. She still has her hands. It's just floating there like Rayman. <laughs> like Rayman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the manacle is on her wrist, but her hand is like not actually attached to the to her body. So she can just kind of leave. No, she's like I she like jostles it and can't get out. She's like, I don't get it either. <laughs> Turns out she did, because when we charged her, she started stabbing us to death. Yeah, but then you counter killed her. We did also stab her to death as well, but. No weapons. So there's no reason to fear her. You were made for this job. You'll do just fine. I were. I. I were. I was made for this job, you say. 
I was done made for this here job. I proceeded to the cabin. Uh. Heal your way up the hill. This is going to be really hard to do, actually. Well, you have bird arms. You can just flap your wings to get there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can, I can provide my own thrust. I see. There you go. <laughs> she will lie. She'll lie. She'll cheat. She'll steal. She'll lie. She'll cheat. She'll steal. <laughs> it couldn't be more on the money. But we're really doing this, aren't we? I'd say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. We know what to look out for this time. In it. We know to be careful. Yeah, in it, yeah. Just he does have that kind of voice. <laughs> Proceed to the cabin. Zoom. <laughs> the interior oh, of the cabin is we're a little trashed. Well, somebody had a dang hissy fit in here. <laughs> The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine... I hope this time you get to duel each other with, like, rapiers. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, we could have an epic final duel. It'll be great. Just fence away. I, I can reveal that I'm not left-handed. Right. And then she'll reveal that she also isn't left-handed. <gasps> oh, damn it, you did it after me. That means you're better than I am. <laughs> I'm gonna go look at the, this mirror that uh, doesn't exist again. Walk up to the wall next to yeah. the basement door. There it is. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. Yep, it's, it's the mirror. mirror. You reach for Scree! <laughs> I just, I just gotta pet that specific wall every time I come in here. It's fine, narrator. Don't worry about it. Pat, pat. A <laughs> good cabin. <laughs> You're always there for me, Kevin. <laughs> The one constant. <laughs> okay, I'm taking the sword or the, the knife. The table. It will be difficult to slay the princess. It's gonna go great. I'm sure. It feels a bit better to have a weapon in our hands. Let's make her art for what she's done. <laughs> Let's make her art. In it. <laughs> the door to the basement creaks open. Oh, you're going to get so many splinters going down this hallway. So many splinters. Oh, my God. From their source and violently jammed into the wall. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality. To oh, good. The smell of fresh blood. Oh, good. You, can hear you should go down there and she just didn't get a reset. She's still just bleeding out. She's like, oh, oh God. Yeah, can you come back in like five minutes? I'll be I'll be OK then, please. I'm still waiting for my timer to run out. She <laughs> says pointing up at the respawn timer. <laughs> Scraping. I told you she has something. I told you. That sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am. No, she's really scary. She's gonna be so scary. Her she's gonna have a million knives. I hope she's got a sword. I've been stuck down here a sword forever. is much bigger than this knife that I have. You idiot. We've all got swords. <laughs> She thinks she's better than us, like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. As you Hi, princess. The step, the oh, she's about to do like a river dance on you, watch out. What do you have behind your back, princess? If she remembers us. I don't know, she says, twisting in place. <laughs> Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. In it. If she sounds threatening, it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed. She's definitely not armed herself at all. Then she pulls like a Kimbo pistols. It's like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, where did you get those, princess? Well, I killed you twice in that one timeline. I just kept them. Oh, okay. I probably shouldn't have brought that gun that time. Whoops. <laughs> if I come close to you, you're just going to stab me, aren't you? <laughs> Do you remember what happened last time? She's going to stab you with her toes. Be careful. They are a little pointy this time. She just kicks like me. dinner forks that she's going to stick you. <laughs> Straight through the chest. <laughs> I know you have a knife. I'll let you out of there if you drop it. I'd like to trust you, but you're being so suspicious right now. <laughs> Don't have the key. 
We killed each other last time. I'd rather not do that again. Look, I know you're mad at me, but I think we both just need to let bygones be bygones. <laughs> what if we're both honest with each other? I was sent here to stop you from ending the world, and you slashed my throat last time. Nobody has to die. Okay, what are you going to do if I let you out? Okay, fine. I'm coming closer to free you. You'd better try not not try anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trusting this. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. If I come close to you, you're just going to stab me, aren't you? I don't know. <laughs> no, I wouldn't stab you. I am just a sweet, innocent princess. <laughs> innocent. Innocent human princess. A completely normal princess. A knight who's supposed to walk up to not stabbing distance to me. <laughs> <laughs> You're being very convincing. She's going to stab us if we get close to her. She certainly feels threatening. Just because she's acting like she's going to stab you doesn't mean she has the means to actually do it. Um, I mean, she, we don't know what she has behind her back, narrator. Is armed. It should be like a Joker-sized, cartoony, goofy weapon. <laughs> she pulls out, like, a huge, like, uh pyramid head knife just like looney tunes crap <laughs> but i'm nervous but i'm nervous to jump into the deep end and deal with her right now before you it's a giant mallet stuck in your head. <laughs> i know you have a knife i'll let you out of here if you drop it i know you have a knife what are you talking about i don't even know what a knife is <laughs> what's a knife <laughs> Would I stab you to death? <laughs> I don't know you. You haven't given me a reason. Why do you sound like you're recording in a different studio? That was weirdly specific. Okay, I could have sworn we didn't mention stabbing <laughs> anyone to death. Sounds like she's really out for blood. Fortunately for you, she isn't armed. How do you know? Her hands are behind her back. <laughs> Prove it then. Prove that you don't have a knife. So Excuse me, but the burden of proof is on the accuser. <laughs> you prove I don't have a knife by checking the back of my back. Come closer. The princess. Mm, oh, there she goes. Mm. You just slowly mm. see a knife like slide out from me. <laughs> yeah. But look at this. Hands. Careful, she's gonna John McClane you if you get too close. Her smile stretches into an even wider grin as she shakes her sleeves. And empty sleeves, too. Look at all these stabbing implements I have. It's probably she does it to the other side and like four knives fall out. Those aren't those are practice knives. They can't kill anybody. <laughs> uh, do you remember what happened last time? Last time? If somebody came into my house and tried to kill me and I cut his neck open, <laughs> and he stabbed me in the heart and we both died looking in each other's eyes, well, surely I would remember uh, Well, I'm convinced she doesn't remember anything. Shut up, run-on sentence, princess. <laughs> Last time? What are you talking about? Don't worry about it, it's fine. You were working together on this, aren't you listening to her? lying through her teeth. I'm terrible at spotting lies and even I can tell something's up here. We can't be the only ones that loop back to the start. Someone else has to remember. Right? I get it, she's lying! <laughs> we can all tell that she's lying. The thing she's lying about is how dangerous she is, not dimension hopping or time travel or whatever it is you think you're doing. But what if you're just hiding it somewhere secret? This is just you pointing at each other from across, a, from down a hallway, being like, no, you're a liar, and I'm not lying, you're lying, I'm not lying. For like an hour. <laughs> we we did start the, the last one by squinting at each other from across the room really hard. Oh my god. But what if you're just hiding it somewhere secret? I've shown you all of my hiding spots. What kind of princess do you think I am? I would never hide something sharp somewhere secret. Wait, that sounds like I'm lying, but I'm actually not. My secret zones hmm. are really only they have nothing to do with you or my intention uh -huh. to stab you to death the second you get close to me. <laughs> her smile drops for a moment. She's going to reach to her dress like pulling out a dollar bill, but it's going to be an oversized cartoony machete. <laughs> oh. I assure you, there's nothing hidden there. 
Okay. I'm inclined to believe her on that one. She seems serious. Of course, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have something hidden somewhere. We do know she's armed. She did have a knife last time. In it. <laughs> In it. I'm getting dizzy from how many circles we're going in right now. <laughs> okay, what are you going to do if I let you out? All sorts of things, which is why I think that's a great idea. I would love to not be chained up down here. Being chained up is so boring, and I crave new activities. <laughs> boring. <laughs> She says, like, running her finger down her cheek like it's a tear. <laughs> <laughs> a fresh and new activities, such as a stabbing me, perhaps? Please don't let her out of here. Believe it or not, I think I'm actually with him on this. Okay, but what if all of this is just a misunderstanding? There has to be room for this to be a misunderstanding. Nah. Just wait for the sun to come up and burn her. There's a hole above her. <laughs> nah, she'll be fine. It's okay. Activities like stabbing or cutting or murdering. Yes, I mean, <laughs> yes, of those things, but there is something alluring about the sound of it. I mean, that was your idea, not mine. <laughs> but I'm right here. You're looking at a bird right now, or stab a bird with a tree. <laughs> oh, that would be very difficult, but also impressive. There are small trees. <laughs> Listen. Yes, I would like to look at a bird. I am a bird. I would like to look at a bird. Oh my god. But if we look at a bird now, we wouldn't have to be here. <laughs> the point. Just make it oh, I'd love to go look at a bird. <laughs> Your characters just get distracted by something shiny and just wander off. <laughs> just leave. Yeah, I'm not trusting this. Bye. It's boring if you leave. It's boring. I don't have anything written for you if you don't engage in the railroad. Come back. <laughs> That's absurd. She doesn't get to be bored. Not in a way that matters. She's a prisoner. She's... Whoop. A sudden oh, she hit you in the face was... of the katana, kid. <laughs> oh, it was in there. Okay. Her wrist limp and empty from the violent expulsion. Huh. Okay. <laughs> That is not what I expected. Well, she had like a knife slip out of her dress sleeve, question mark. I guess it was supposed to be her wrist, actually, though. Yeah, I guess. This is the evolution of that. She's still in chains. And those chains stop her from... Ah, time to duel. <laughs> She's just got a sword hand now. <laughs> oh, is this the gosh darn Terminator ending? Oh, no. She's more machine now than bug eye. <laughs> She's just bionic. Oh no. <laughs> Swing! Yeah, that was really easy, actually. Maybe we aren't safe here. I'm going to run away now. Here she comes. <laughs> ah shit. Okay, she's down an arm and we still have a weapon. I guess we'll have to use it. In it. Aha! Perry! But unfortunately for you, Her boss. <laughs> Horribly outmatched. Oh, I needed that. Oh yeah, well what if I grow a sword out of my wrist? Haha! You say standing there like it's gonna happen, but then nothing happens. <laughs> it just doesn't. <laughs> just blood kinda comes out of it. She's even better at this than she was last time. Bloody cheater. Cheater. I'm going to kill you now. Yeah, I figured. Well, she's being honest this time. <laughs> I'm going to kill you now, flat look stab. <laughs> Everything goes to Blah. Blah. And you die. <laughs> okay, that one was funny. I liked that. The arms raise. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Oh. No, fuck that. If we're going to have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we're not starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. Why can't we just do that? <laughs> yeah, in it. He <laughs> just skipped the narration. Yeah, in it. In the cabin, in it. <laughs> I feel dizzy. <laughs> I feel dizzy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I guess I took this to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? Yeah. More like voice of the cheater, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
that's unfortunately how reality works. The circle's getting smaller and smaller. Running isn't an option. What if I want to run? She's very scary. She had a sword hand. Yeah. She'll just have a sword face this time. What if she has a sword face this time? I don't have an answer for a sword face. <laughs> I don't even have an answer for the sword hand. <laughs> but what if that someone is us, eh? 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 Wouldn't that be neat? We were the ones pulling the strings. I'm pretty sure we wouldn't have died twice already. Great, so obviously you've already been here. How many times? This is our third? Uh, a lot more than that. No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realize that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is down to destruction. Still have yet to see that actually happen. Right, that's too much responsibility. That's too much responsibility. That's too much responsibility if these worlds are real. <sighs> Let's just stay focused, shall we? The only furniture of note is a bent metal table, a pristine blade perched. We take it. Okay, oh, sure. okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's just kind of doing it for me this time. <laughs> this feels right. We just have to keep. Oh, voice of the hunted. That's right. We've got to be able to win eventually. <laughs> eventually. <laughs> what if winning is the wrong move? You should get to the princess. He just says, "I stab her," and then you do. Apparently, killed you twice already. Is a good idea. I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get? Yeah, going? there's not much of a door. You do know I open console know. commands and activate no clip. But there isn't a door. It's just that mirror again. It isn't a mirror. You only messed things up. I'm getting tired of you pretending there's no mirror narrator. It's just <laughs> obnoxious now. It's right there. It's reality just fine. Why should we trust his? I can feel the air coming up from behind it. Stinking of iron and steel. I guess there could fit a very tiny door behind there. Other senses can't feel it, then we can't trust it. Like a Willy Wonka door just opens up into a hallway that gets gradually bigger. Yeah. Make your way it's awful hard to squeeze through at first, though. Just in front of it. And then on the other end, you have to sign a contract. <laughs> oh no, I'm not ready for that. No. Just let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. <laughs> Care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. You don't get to scree the window, the, the mirror, the same. Uh, uh. Yep. On the door to the basement. It creaks open, and the mirror's gone. <laughs> How <laughs> surprising! It was never there. Just an illusion. It feels. We like have a lot of voices this time. From us. It's you're, not, you're not even choosing. They're just talking to themselves. That's why it's being kept from us. Guess it's time for us to see her again. Just stay focused and you'll be She's a hundred percent gonna cut my head off with her like knife leg this time. I love it when you get like the right combo and the high enough level of personalities in Disco Elysium where they just have like a whole three paragraph conversation with themselves. <laughs> oh well it was a slippy slide this time. We <laughs> She's gonna kill you with her dress like the king in yellow. <laughs> it's quite sharp looking this time. <laughs> She's also very angular. Look at her shoulders and junk. <laughs> yeah. Her whole, whole dress is made out of swords this time. It looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. But don't worry about how bad you did last time. That's part of the fun. She's toying with us. She's acting like she already knows she's won. I mean, she kind of has. About dying makes us as good as I wonder how many times I can let her kill me. Oh, she's not prepared this time. Smoke bomb. Ha ha! Just a tiny little ninja bomb goes off. <laughs> Except there's nowhere for me to go, so I just have to stand there. <laughs> you drop the smoke bomb, then you sprint to the side and just like run into the wall. <laughs> the smoke <laughs> clears and you're stuck to it. <laughs> Nothing bad has come of it yet. Plenty bad has come of it. You've left at least one entire world to ruin. The people there mattered. The what people? The past isn't real. There's only here and the past isn't real. You've heard it here first. Oh, <laughs> she just she just doesn't do with both of them this time. Twin blades glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. Can you do that with your legs too? She's loose. No, don't tell her she's gonna do a weird like spider crawl at you with her knife legs and arms, <laughs> her knife limbs if you tell her to do that. <laughs> Shit, she's Here she comes, doing a little uh, strut. 
<laughs> yeah. We're fighting her, obviously, and we're going to appeal to her authority. Puff her up a bit. There's no reason we can't talk out of this. We're going to unconditionally surrender. Uh oh, that's easy. I'm going to try flirting with her. <laughs> we're here to fight her, and we're going to have a stiff upper lip about it. She can't hurt us if we don't let ourselves feel it. She wins by killing us, right? So let's beat her to it. You didn't win. All of these ideas will suck. I think up something better. <laughs> we're going to fight her and we'll have a stiff upper lip about it. She can't hurt us if we don't let ourselves feel it. Sure. Why the hell not? Let's see if we can turn off the part. <laughs> if we can't feel things, then how are we supposed to know what's true? You could always just trust what I tell you. Ah, no. She's being very polite and waiting for me to finish talking to myself for this. Well, she's doing like a little dance on her way over. Nah, I'm sick of pain. Yeah, this whole thing would be a lot more tolerable if it didn't hurt so much. <laughs> Do your worst. I bet you can't even hurt me. Sure thing. I love a challenge. <laughs> I bet I can hurt you so much. The princess closes the distance. She comes. And we dodge. And you dodge. Aha, we dodge. Oh, you're fast. And then I pull a gun. Aha! Bang, 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 bang! Dodge the princess's blows for as long as you can. No, we're gonna go. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. But it isn't long before your See, I told you the answer was over console commands, said this is a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> the voice of the cheater, just literally cheating, yeah. So and then I'm dead. She skewers you. You lasted a lot longer than you should have. Uh, no, actually it doesn't hurt, it's fine. Does it hurt? No. No. Oh, Meh. you one of us. I thought that only happens when we die. <laughs> Did we die? <laughs> die? Your honor. No, your you know. Where I think up? we died, but we just kind of didn't. We just didn't feel like it this time. No, not this time. You told yourself <laughs> no. How long have we been dead? Have we been dead the whole time? Dead, 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 dead. If we didn't realize we were dead. Then we made progress. Good job. Good job. We did it. Stop saying dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. Uh, that That's past me's problem. Present me is fine. I wish while you were having this whole narrative going off, you were just laying on the ground, she's just poking you with one of her arms. <laughs> <laughs> we're just standing here talking to each other and like in between each sentence, she like stabs me again. <laughs> this is four. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas, and I love that. But I guess we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. Okay, whatever we do gets us another us. Yeah, how many can we stack? It was just like the last route, right? Let's get everybody in here. Yeah, let's get all of us in on this. Why not? It's not like dying again again is doing us any harm. Let's see. Man, you had to bring back the Eeyore voice. <laughs> yeah. It's going to get so loud in here. How are we going to keep it all straight? Come on. <laughs> Don't make me stab you with my shoulders next. Hmm. I'm going to try flirting with her. It doesn't work and she kills you again and again and again. Your memory blurs as your consciousness leaps from life to life to life, holding only snippets of the conflict that transpires. On those <laughs> There's, nothing better than There's nothing better than a capable woman. <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> You're cute. Well, there's more of us. Let's see. <laughs> we just have to hit her harder. Oh, nice teeth this time. Just scribbled on there. You're getting a little bit more pointy as we go on here. You'll have to be trickier than that. Teehee. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> -ha. I thought we both understood that dying doesn't get you anywhere. No, it's fine. I was just trying something. Ma, I'm really hungry. <laughs> What's the point? It's all the same. No, it's fine. We'll keep doing it until she's only knives and then she can't move. And then she'll just stab herself. Yeah, perfect plan. Oh, don't give up on me just yet. You gotta keep going. It doesn't matter how many times this takes, we can't give up. Yeah. Okay, let's go again. <laughs> Let's 
appeal to her better nature. We haven't tried that. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, this one will listen to reason. Excuse you. <laughs> See? We're getting better. Okay, okay, yeah. That was a good one. Was it? None of this is working. Think. Think. Mark. Excuse <laughs> you. We're getting. The narrator is getting very tired of this. <laughs> time. You're right. One last time. That's all we need. And then everything goes dark. Hey. And you die. Hey, cut that out. Well, you ran out of one ups. Mutually assured destruction. Oh, chapter four. Look at that. Yeah. Haven't seen the chapter four yet. We're in a cabin and we'll take it. Don't lose your head. Everything feels like it finally fits, doesn't it? We're up here, which is different, and different is good. And our steel claw is already. In Do I have steel claws? She had steel claws last time. I kind of like it if I had those. We throw it out the window. Over my dead body. It's time for the game to play itself. <laughs> yeah. I can't say I mind anymore. Besides, what better way to die so very many times than at the shark? <laughs> sure, I can think of a better way to die. Yeah, they're all uh, the same, really. Meh. We stop thinking about horrible ways to die. I don't want us to accidentally manifest anything. I mean, anything we're gonna manifest. It's, it's it's not great this time. <laughs> During this whole internal uh, debate, it's just like the camera cuts to your actual character. And he's just like scrolling his phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? This isn't good. This is about yeah. Oops. Leave skipped it. that on accident. Well, well, now we're not gonna get the true ending. Heck. Narrator. We heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final <laughs> with our star-crossed lover. Time by me. You walk Trip and get skewered on one of those before you even get down there. This whole conversation is just to die from the environment. <laughs> we just fall over and die. Fine, I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs or this room or anything? Feels like I'm hardly a part of this. Oh, good, get out of here. We don't need you. Just want to win. <laughs> don't care, just want to win. I. Where the princess awaits you. You know, this last time I killed you and you didn't pop right back up again? I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. Uh, well, nope, turns out that doesn't work actually. I think the narrator just got bored. That's okay with me. It's good even. I like that. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Oh, good. I'm excited. I'm <laughs> Is it knives? It's a gun. It's worth it, though. Just you wait, and not for very long, because I'm going to do it right now. And this time she pulls out a Tommy gun. Do, do, do. Are you going to say what she does? <laughs> uh, oh, do, do you want me to do that? <laughs> well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about that. Now my legs are also knives. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. Really? Okay then. Uh, she's made of jello. Oh, that's much less threatening than knives. The princess is oh, ah, I see. Of raw meat as it stretches. She becomes a stage hazard. <laughs> Sorry, I can't move like this. Just just kind of walk into me really hard. Oh, whoops. Ah, that's good. Well, this isn't even fair. <laughs> you say like crossing your arms and pouting. I can take it. It's fine. It's no longer like horrifying. You're just kind of annoyed. Like, God damn it. <laughs> 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 she is gorgeous. What are you into, Smitten? <laughs> yes. Behold. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Do you think we can throw her out? But yeah, what if we can't just throw her out the window? That looked painful. How is she still alive? I mean, she's got her heart. That's all you need, right? Still beating that okay, now you say your line, and then you say your line. <laughs> this is all fake. That's all just made up. She doesn't even have a back anymore. How are we supposed to stop her? <laughs> this is all just a sick 
joke. I hate existing. We screw. <laughs> I quit. I'm done. Forget it. And he turns to leave, tossing the knife over his shoulder, and just gets her in the heart. And it's like, oh. Just completely on accident. I don't even notice. I just go up the stairs, and she falls over behind me. It's like hitting the terrasque. It just has to be an accident. <laughs> Empty my mind. It's so quiet. M2. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. Oh, you weren't before? You do not act, and yet through that inaction, your body moves on its own. The princess strikes as you approach, but as her blow finishes its arc, you're already somewhere else. You're incredible. Yeah, I'm really cool. Am I falling in love with you right now, Babaka? <laughs> Your weapons clash again and again, you and her entering a rhythm free of thought and free of self. There is only the dance, the ebb and flow, the shifting of the tides back and forth between you. This would be really cool if it was animated or something. <laughs> yeah. The deeper you fall into your play, the faster your hearts pound, the faster the momentum valley volleys between you. An endlessly building crescendo, and then an opening. Your blade strikes as... Fr as fr Strikes free of volition, and hers strikes too. Both strikes are lethal. Neither of you will survive, but neither of you fear what's to come. This is a good ending. I'm surprised you were able to get that. <laughs> yeah. She must have really fucked up her defense. Uh, she, she, she was very, very metallic and pointy. You do not get to see each other die, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. The memory returns. When this one grabbed that one, it should have been like, ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> Approach the mirror. You do so. Gaze into your reflection. Scream. So, <laughs> Scream. <laughs> it's time to see what's in it. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. They have been gone for a little bit this time. You are nothing at all. Oh, good. And there I go. Oh, bird face in there. But that isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze and then you see it. A figure. Faint and veiled in shadow. Just beyond the reflection. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> nothing at all. <laughs> nothing at all. Are you me? I think you know what I am. Hi, narrator. A crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image of the glass in two. If from the mirror comes an arm ready for a wrestle. <laughs> and then another crack forms, and another, and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. And... So you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. What are you? Are you something like me? If you're not me, then what are you? So many questions for you. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? I'm sorry, I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away or stop asking questions? Every time I ask you something, it's like a piece of you breaks. Are you part of me or are you something else? You're the one who wanted me to slay the princess? Why? Where's the capital S, kid? Yeah, where is the capital S? I've met you many times. Have you been the same you all along? I wasn't supposed to see this, was I? What is this place? Where are we? So you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. Yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? Ooh, <laughs> 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 this bird has teeth. <laughs> yeah, it does. I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. Still haven't seen any worlds end. What are you? Are you something like me? Oh, I'm nothing like you. Uh-huh. I'm an echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. Yeah, sure have. Others like you. You've said something like that before. Has every narrator really been different? Of course. That is by both necessity and design. This construct you in exists in many places at once. Any time you fail, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. Yep. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. Yeah. I guess this is why he always pretended there wasn't a mirror. Yeah, because he didn't want else to look at it and, like, 
actually see him. He's like, I hate it when you see me try to make out with a mirror and it's gross. <laughs> it's really hard to do that with a beak also. Yeah, you scratch it up and then I have to fix it. <laughs> Do you have anything to say for yourself, for all this hubris? After everything you've done to us, do you think anyone deserves to live? Do you have anything to say for yourself, for all of this hubris? People out there are real. Still haven't seen any proof of that. No matter what you enable, I want you to remember that. Have seen zero proof. Does it hurt when, it, when pieces of you break off like that? Hurt? I don't feel pain. Not physically. It does give me one heck of a migraine, though. <laughs> but but that's pain, the narrator. I said not physically. <laughs> Every time I ask you something, it's like a piece of you breaks. Isn't like a headache something that doesn't actually exist? Our brains just trick us into thinking it's in pain or something. Maybe? Because it's not like it's injured in some way. It's just like stressed out or dehydrated. It's like, oh, God. Something like that, I think I might have heard, actually, yeah. Something like that. What is the princess? Did you make her too? She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an Way to hype up the boss. <laughs> What if I just see her as a normal, non-world-ending princess? So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. What if I see her as that one iteration where we fall in love? Yeah, and then we go to McDonald's and everything is cool. And we fall in love, even deeper love, because of McDonald's. Yeah! And I get a cool toy in my Happy Meal. Brought to you by McDonald's. <laughs> That's not true. I wish we were sponsored by McDonald's. And then together we can throw open the dumpster out back after having eaten <laughs> McDonald's. Hmm. Why would you want me to destroy the concept of transformation? Because among other things, she is death itself. To rid the world of suffering, to save untold trillions from being lost forever to the cosmic wind, she must be destroyed. I don't know, guy. I've seen a lot. I've seen a few uh, stories about how it kind of sucks to have death just not kind of be a thing that exists. If I destroy her, how is that existence any better than death or even different from death at all? Honestly, it feels worse. Uh, do you know that things won't just be worse if I destroy her? I saw a glimpse of a uh -huh. you saw a glimpse of a better world and that that's it, right? Anything is better than oblivion. It won't be worse because I'll get what I want. <laughs> ma, 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 ma. <laughs> you said she contains death. What is she? she is Saying this already. Whoops. Apparently it lets me loop that dialogue. Whoops. Way to hype up the boss. <laughs> oh, you've wasted a question. Yeah, I wasted a question. I think you're out of time. I'm not going to slay her, and I want you to know that before you die for good. Dork. <laughs> yeah, dork. <laughs> a lie, rest easy, I'm going to destroy her. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Heck you. I want you to know that before you die for good. That was some harsh language. There's no reasoning with a god. Even one you've woven into existence yourself. I've said my piece. Get out of here! It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. As the final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with a newfound clarity. You are the long quiet, a vast and nascent god, and it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Nascent? I thought it was pronounced nascent. Nascent, whatever, I don't know how it's pronounced. A vast and nasty god. A <laughs> nasty god. <laughs> Proceed to the cabin one last time. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. 
there was nothing for you to find. Uh, Rumbly. And then across the horizon with her giant Katamari Damasi ball. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> Very quickly, it turns out. Hi. I'll censor some parts of this, maybe. I'm going to have to do a little bit. It's fine. No, it's artistic. F*** it. <laughs> it's Hi, princess. So and Since I've seen her. <laughs> and oh boy, is there a lot of her to see. <laughs> I've missed you, too. Do you know about the Echo? Did you hear our conversation? I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Are you sure we can't have this conversation like over like text or something? I want to scroll <laughs> while we're doing this. <laughs> Do you know about the echo? Did you hear our conversation? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. Also, death laser. Pew! <laughs> just like out of every <laughs> single eye, though. <laughs> It's just like shooting in every direction without just hitting random people in different dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the shifting mound. I mean, you are pretty shifty. I actually am. What happens now? Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature. I mean, kinda. Isn't yeah. When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me. I can't believe he managed to level up to becoming the Living Tribunal. <laughs> <laughs> so, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or. Will you open the final doors to our liberation? No, I, I don't know. I think the possibility of change is pr a pretty important universal concept to continue to exist. Man, you don't look anything like a boat. <laughs> yeah. C could you look more like a boat if you tried really hard, actually? I really like boats. <laughs> this whole time, I've just wanted to see a boat. Sad. There's so many stories we've left unfinished. Can we really just leave? Don't you have a say in all this? Why is this all falling on me? Let's talk this through. I still have so many questions and I need answers before I can make a choice. If I let you out, an entire world ends for good. I can't do that. If you were always going to become this, then what was the point of me doing anything? Did it even matter what roads I walked if all of them would have led to this moment? There has to be another way. This can't just come down to me either destroying you or letting you out. I won't do it. I told you what was going to happen when we reached this point. Slay the princess, slay the princess. I think it's time for us to leave this place, but I don't know how to leave or where to go. There's so many stories left unfinished. Can we really just leave? Even as your eyes begin to open, you still hold on to the notions of is and is not, of beginning and end. Pitch black islands in the blinding light of the infinite. There is nothing to resolve, nothing restraining us. Man, conversations between gods must be really goddamn annoying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very long winded and uh, confusing. Don't you have a say in all this? Why is this all falling on me? Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens, just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. If we didn't, the winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. I liked the one where we dated and went to and went to McDonald's. Now oh, we gotta get that McDonald's. I still have so many questions I need to ask before I can make a choice. My very nature is paradox, as is yours. You cannot use very helpful things that are beyond their reach. And you cannot rationalize that which defies logic. Throw a tomato at her. <laughs> Just throw a tomato. Are dances that both of us know well. If this is what are you going to beat me up again? Because I have been beaten up quite a few times. Way to hype up the boss. <laughs> Death beam. Whoops. A 
Hey. Hey, I need those. Aren't you supposed to be a god at this point? Hey, uh, yeah, what the heck? I didn't ask for this. I was just asking questions, lady. Uh, uh, just chill out. Come on. You didn't understand the deep philosophical meaning behind my answers. <laughs> so now you die. <laughs> you died countless steely deaths, and you lived countless short lives, and yet it is all so far behind you. Unjust impossibilities pushed you to become something you would never have been without them. Oh, that's cool. You say scrolling your feed with my hand that's like over there on the ground. <laughs> it's still going. <laughs> if you hadn't snatched that body away, we would have killed each other. We were self-destructive. It felt so good to finally win, even if it was going to cost me my life. Even if the journey was agony, the end gave the struggle meaning. I won't engage in violence. We were self-destructive. He's not going to fight back. He's a pretty fast. You were very pointy, and I was quite good with the little tiny knife that I had. Oh, I heard that rumbling, and I thought it was thunder in real life. <laughs> yeah. When you were confronted with my vessel's apotheosis, you chose against all odds to defy me, to hold on to your inner self with all its flaws, even in the scorching light of the Man, I bet there's a lot of different ways this ending scene can go. With the... things. And it is struggle to oh, she's being overwhelmed by scribbles. <laughs> Get back in there. I still defy you now. I miss when that was you. <laughs> <laughs> you were consumed by your own ego. I won't engage with violence. I get it. There's no need for us to keep fighting. I'll leave. I'll leave with you. I just don't know how. Stop the fight. And surrender. Hmm. You were consumed by your own ego. And you shed your doubts to rise against me. It was only together that we were able to create something beautiful. Your little bird tried to stake into your body. And another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart? Because I can't stand to see it. I notice we're doing this from the perspective of the princess. But the stakes meant nothing to you. You had a desire, and you set that desire. But you were really, really pretty that time. It was very nice. Look at your anime eyes. I think they're gross. <laughs> yeah, get her. Drag her down. Beat her up. Take her jacket. Steal her jacket. <laughs> Steal her jacket. I was blinded by emotion. We both know that. I want that feeling back. That feeling never left me. But I want to see the rest of the scenes. Man, she can slap you like six times in a row. Be careful. Imagine just getting a good spin on like backhanding you three times and bomb slapping <laughs> you three more times. I won't leave with you. Not until you see things from my perspective. If you need more time to open your eyes. Then I mean, I do intend to leave. I'm just trying to get all of the, the things. There is no beginning to them, nor is there an end. There is only the flood of bodies. At every moment you hold every possible sensation at once, and then you hold them all again. Yeah, that one was pretty cool when you turned into like this horrible mishmash and reality broke completely. Yeah, you returned it to me. For a brief moment, you were everything. I don't think this 3D printer works. Okay. It's a little defective. <laughs> I couldn't understand you then, but I think I understand you now. You seemed in pain. 
I'm sorry for what I did to you, but it was the only thing I could do. Hmm. You just got the gosh darn. He won't do it. He's a put fist option every time. <laughs> yeah. I'm a nonviolent person, you say over and over again. <laughs> Trying very hard to convince yourself of that fact. You seemed in pain. I'm sorry for what I did to you, but it was the only thing I could do. There's probably a thing where if you don't try to hurt her like ever, you can pick that and it's like, well, I guess you're right. You are kind of a nonviolent person. <laughs> yeah, you can just not do it. I'm a conscientious objector. <laughs> and there she is. Get her. Drag him down. Beat him up. Steal his jacket. She did steal my body for a little bit that time. Yeah. <laughs> she does kind of look like that. <laughs> nah. Can you enunciate a little better? I can't understand what you're saying. This one is a little bit hard to understand. <laughs> Can you say with certainty what shape a world without you will take? I don't want that world to come to pass. You didn't give me much choice. I'm a nonviolent person. <laughs> I don't want that world to come to pass. Then accept the world as it is now, with both of us a part of it. As the clash between you abates, the princess relaxes, smiling from a distance. The respite is welcome. Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. Yeah. Open your eyes and accept what we are. Ha, how do we get out of here, though, actually? Through the gift shop. <laughs> oh, that's just right over there. <laughs> There's just a completely normal employee in there. Like bored and underpaid. On his phone. Titanic clash of gods in the back of ever shifting gods in the background. He's like, if you're going to steal something, let me know first. <laughs> it's easy to believe in the things you believe in when you get to sit above it all. What do you think happens if we leave here? This universe dies. We call the new one New Game Plus. And then New Game Plus Plus. And then New Game Plus Plus Plus. The stats get so <laughs> big. The numbers are so high, you don't have any idea. Big number. It's easy to believe in the things you believe in when you get to sit above it all. One of the heads can just say big number. Big number. <laughs> big number. Well, I'm convinced. <laughs> OK, I'm ready to go, but how do we leave? We have to wait for my parents to come and pick us up. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Nothing brings me greater joy than to hear those words. The final peace lies with you. I can do it. Free yourself. OK. Goodbye. You fall into yourself. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation, and you feel sensation in limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here, except for, y for her, is you. You feel your wings, spanning a cosmic scale, but twisted and crumpled and bound in agonizing tension to a finite plane. You can feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you, confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles. You push back and strain against it, but it does not yield. I love you. Gross. Ew, cooties. Take her hand. Ow, she says. Uh, she, she's using she's using the tower hand for this, I see. Oh my God. <laughs> All at once, the unyielding tension breaks. She pulls you into a crazy double arm DDT. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look at this crazy. <laughs> it's just grass growing. 
<laughs> it is just grass growing. <laughs> With a kaleidoscope effect over yeah. it. Yeah. It's magnificent. Wow. Finally, my begonias are taking. Oh, I love begonias, I suddenly realize. <laughs> There are no words, no thoughts to describe the absolute reality, something that simply is. What happens now? Everything. Well, I have to fertilize the lawn, so... Just like, choke slams you into it. But let me tell you, the infinite multiverse has a lot of lawns to fertilize. <laughs> it's a good thing you're so infinite, nascent cosmic god thing. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> step into the infinite. It's going to take a while to get there. You and she step forward into a thousand dawns and a thousand sunsets, each of which contains a thousand more. You spin each other until you're dizzy. Wee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Countless realities are destroyed. <laughs> Whoops. At least she had fun. Yeah, it was pretty fun. I'm kind of dizzy, though, now. Let's sit down. <laughs> oh, I feel that McDonald's kicking back up on me. Oh, jeez. And then countless realities were destroyed again. <laughs> oh, no. Those ones really suffered. <laughs> <laughs> you exist and you are aware, just as you have always been and just as you will always be. Though conflict is in your nature, the two of you will never be alone. And the two of you will never know fear. You and she are finally home. I did it. Now we are one. Now we are two forever. The Voices in Your Head by Jonathan Zims. Oh, well, that's Slay the Princess, everybody. I feel like there were probably a lot of like other princesses we could have had for the final like princess scene thing where they all showed up. Well, let's uh, defer to our uh, local expert. Is he at all correct? Yeah. They're there. <laughs> Little creatures, Wednesday, snakes, spoons, cat, and then some other thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, this game is all about replayability, so it makes sense. Because all of, like, Scarlet Hollow, you can play that a bunch of times, get different versions of things happening. Yeah. This one's probably the same, especially since this one's done. They, they did all the work on it, so... Yeah. I only got half of the chapter two princess routes. Yeah, I guess they always did change into like a new princess when we got to a new chapter. And some of them I did only get the chapter two on. Well, then that means there's loads of replayability, kid. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll get this game at some point. And we'll do another run through and I'll try to get different stuff or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Razor was funny. I liked her. <laughs> There's a flow chart. There's a flow chart on Reddit and it's insane. All this. There's all the songs I got, apparently. Here's all this. Turn to the main menu. Uh, well, that was Slay the Princess. At least Time's playthrough of it. Yeah, at least my thing. We're being told there's a whole lot more to this game that we didn't see. So if you wanted to enjoy it, go ahead and check it out. I'm seeing a flow short <laughs> chart being linked to me, and there are many different choices that we didn't pick. So it, it's quite large. So uh, Slay the Princess, everybody. That was pretty cool. Slay the Princess. We might do more of this at some point. At some point. We'll take a break at least. Next time we do it, I might be the one playing. Who knows? In the future. Uh, Slay the Princess. Yay! Slay the Princess. Yay! This game's cool. <laughs> yeah, I like it.